my daddy. is my daddy. My daddy.
Burns is my daddy. Burns is my daddy. Hello? Holy shit! Burns Happy New daddy. Year, everybody! My god. How are we at level 6 hype train? We just started. I stepped away for a coffee. What the fuck were you guys doing? That is my so daddy. Good. Happy New Year! Myself worry. Hmm. Ah. Uh, he's back. That is my so daddy. Good. He's back. We're back home. Burns is my daddy. I've missed it, man. I've missed it. Holy cow. Okay. Well, I got some people to thank, but I don't... Oh, my, my goodness. Daddy. There's so many of you. Rydrek. Think of the 20 gifted subs, brother. Res Evil Babe. Thank you so much for the gifts. Random TV also. Solo Burns Bounty. Thank you for the five daddy. months. Rydrek with a tier three, nine month three sub. Petite Pony with a tier 3 16 month resub. Ran a TV with some bits. Thank you. Grays Lennox. Thank you for gifting out uh, a handful of subs. Appreciate you Burns so much. Happy daddy. New Year. Slum Shady. Oh my goodness. Stephen Blackwood with 10 gifted subs. Turn the more volume up compared to beat. Shut up, man. I'm plenty loud. All right. Like, I know I'm loud. Shut up. Burns is my daddy. Res, of, res evil, babe. Thank you for 10 gifted subs. Cheers. You know, happy new year. Imbasol number one. Gifting out a couple subs. Georgia Blaze. Thank you for gifting. Uh, Zion Tix. Thank you for five gifted subs. Lemmet. We have 10 daddy. gifted oh, subs. God. Res evil with more gifted subs. Holy shit. Res. Res. Thank you. Mikhail. No, no. Wait. Micah like Micah. Thank you for the eight month resub. Immortal. Is my Thank you for the 10 gifts as well, dude. Lemon with a 14 month resub. Matt Chu for the four months. Rez with more gifted subs. Holy cow. Burns Rez is, is in a fucking daddy. mood. Ali is in the chat. Hello, Ali. Good to see you. Rez again with 10 gifted subs. Holy cow. Holy fucking cow. Uh, man, there's so much. I, if I've missed anybody, I do sincerely apologize. I'm not used to having that many gifted subs 10 minutes into the stream. People Usually I'm prepared or at least here when it happens. Um, that's Burns fucking crazy. Uh, Mini, think of the $5 dono. Either your microphone is set too low today or the music is too loud. Uh, Mini. Mini. People think they're fucking... Carsus! Fucking Coming with a 30 month asshole. race. I bet you're doing Carsus. Good to see you, dude. Thank you for sticking around for that long. Dotty! Thank you for giving out five good subs. Georgia! Blaze! With five as well. Five fees with a couple of the subs. Thank you so much, guys. Volume is good. Yeah? Is I know daddy. it's good, man. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for a long time. Sure, from time to time, the music will be too loud. But who cares? It's fucking music. I'm not saying anything important. It's fine. Mm -mm -mm. Can you guys believe today is, is my dad. it marks two years to the day that we did my very first Wallaby Kid stream. Two years to the day. New Year's. 2022. Is my daddy. 
running around looking for titties. Robin Pip. Oh, man. You put your hands up right now. <laughs> First you you can call me the wallaby kid. And here we are. Two years later. To the day. Ladies and gentlemen. To the day. To celebrate the two-year birthday of the wallaby kid. Versus my daddy. And the new year, 2024. There is a brand new merch line for Wallaby. This is going to be the last one, I think. People didn't behave themselves. People if you are interested in checking it out, Rambo exclamation point 2024 in the chat. Check it out. My it's daddy. pretty dope. Oblivion, thank you for the five good subs, bro. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Back. Second of the 36 long months. Let's fucking go, boys. Ah. Uh, my Secretly daddy. hoping Wallaby uses the kid's voice to throw lore off their game. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, man. Don't spam the 2024. It only pops up every so often. But link's there. Check it out. <sighs> Verts is my daddy. Oh, fuck. And this is my second Wallaby Kid stream. Well, welcome, man. Good to have you. Oblivion with another five gifted subs. Rambo fucking stupid asshole. <laughs> Actually, I can get my sub counter back again now because we realized last stream that that wasn't the cause. Right? Right? That's how it works, right? I just got to set it up. Hold on. I got to set this shit up. Hold my bad. My bad. I should be more prepared than this. Happy New Year. I'm a little you. nervous. Wish you all the best. I don't get nervous too often streaming, but I'm getting nervous. Verts is my daddy. Oh fuck. This is a big deal, man. This is a big fucking deal. A lot of anticipation. A lot of people wondering. Holy shit, we're near the fucking goal. The goal. Verts is my daddy. <laughs> Happy New Year, Verts. Thank, Thank you, man. You for everything you do. You're an amazing dude. Yeah, it was a Bert VPN. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't need to be reminded. I don't need to be reminded that it was the um, the VPN. I'm well aware. I'm Bert, very, very well aware. Bloody Brad! Thank you for the fire gifted sub, bro. You know, I was going to say Merry Christmas. No. Happy New Year. Asshole. It is 2024 here in Australia. I'm in the future. I tell you what, the year's looking great. It's looking glorious. Uh, is my daddy. So Wallaby's been out of Sisica now for I think three days. Haven't done a lot of RP. Had a couple scenes, but, is my so, daddy. but I haven't done anything too he crazy. So you guys have to worry about that. You, you're not going to be falling Rambo, behind. Fucking stupid uh, I got Luna in the corner here, hanging out with me. Georgia with another five gift subs. Thank you, Georgia. Appreciate you. So this is uh, this is the this is the modern is Wallaby daddy. kid look. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Also got a bunch of new music for him as well. Bunch of new music for him. But I've made sure that... um That, that his clothes are more tattered. Mm, unorganized. Dirty. Falling apart. Shit like that. It's very important. Is my daddy. How's Wallaby feeling? How's he thinking? I guess we're going to find out. I guess we're going to find out. Looks homeless? Perfect. That's what I want, dude. Birds is my daddy. Like a fucking zombie, dude. Is he wearing shoes? Of course he's wearing fucking shoes. It's Wallaby, but it's Wallaby, right? Every uh, every big arc. That is my so daddy. I'd like to change it up a little bit. He looks better than ever. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, dude. That boy's been massacred. Well, the thing is, he's physically not going to be what he was, which means. He's going to have to compromise that. And he's going to have to make up for it in other, in other ways. 
versus my daddy. He is an intimidating looking motherfucker though. If only he could get to see Cesari. Yeah, well, you know what? Law didn't want that to happen apparently, so. That kind of got halted for no reason. Wallaby is physically and mentally daddy. fucked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's not he's not crazy. However, uh he is merciless. He's cold. Versus my daddy. Um calculated. He's not insane. He's not gonna mindlessly go around and murder people or, you know, chop Bruce chickens' head heads daddy. off and turn into a fucking necklace, right? Morph! 24 months! Thank you, brother. Proven Elk. Thank you, man. Good to see you. Versus my daddy. Are you sure? Am I sure? Insane people never never admit it. Well, I'm not talking as Wallaby right now. I'm talking as me, Verts. I created this fucking character. He's not, he's not insane, but, but he could potentially, because of his Bert health, daddy. his physical health, get desperate in other like he might overcompensate that with his actions right because he does have an insecurity about his eye about his hip and where he's at right so that is a danger because you've got a character that can do really dark fucked up shit in order to strategically make things happen the way he wants Versus it to happen my daddy mix in insecurity and desperation and paranoia could lead to disastrous results could lead that way but it is role play anything can happen Bert's is my daddy oh fuck Whew. he hasn't got the green horn walk anymore he hasn't had that in a long time breezy Versus my daddy. I'm trying to think, maybe I should slow it down to like 70. That is my so, daddy. Yeah. Even more ominous. I think we've uh, going down to 70 though. I can't run. Like, I physically can't. It won't let me run, which is probably a good thing. Actually, is my daddy. it'll keep me in check. Will this be Richard's last stand? Maybe. Time will tell. You don't know. I don't. Man, I honestly, dude. Listen. Bert's is my daddy. Gonna go with the story. <clears throat> so. The eye daddy. damage, as you saw at the Three start, is pretty G -O -O extensive. That's what it looks like. Obviously, you can't make someone's eye look like that in-game. Um, I'll give you a look at what he looks like without the bandage. Bert is my daddy. Dude, he's so <laughs> Now, you can't... Obviously, you can't make it fucked up or anything, but uh, this is... Bert's it is it still daddy. looks pretty decent. Without, we got the closed eye. We got some burning around the eye, which is pretty fucking cool. But we're gonna leave the bandage on because he is very self-conscious about the eye. The only person to see him without the bandage is Dakota. She treats the eye for him, so she has to Versus see it. My daddy. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't show her either. I just want to be daddy. careful. I don't want to go out and um, jump right into things yet. I want to slow burn into it. 
the awesome people can get a white eyes yeah i know you i know that um i know that i think tahoma versus my daddy rp there's like a new roleplay server coming out that has that or is gonna have that the ability to have a blind eye um i'm just gonna hope that that comes into wild at some point while he's still alive versus my daddy that'd be dope but we make do with what we've got right it's rp right so we can uh, we can rp it whatever we like I can use the conditions, but honestly, do I really want to go hunt down a doctor and, and like get them to confirm it? It's fucking weird. I don't really want to do that. It's Versus awkward as fuck. Daddy. I'm going to go to a doctor and be like, can you please? Can you please um confirm my condition? <laughs> I, I, I don't really want to do that. Unless they change the way you don't have to get a doctor to do that. Versus my daddy. But I tell you this much, we're not wearing a fucking eye patch. Um, bandage will do just fine. Just thrown together. Bert's is my daddy. Oh, fuck. Try it, maybe? I don't think it's gonna work. I can try conditions. versus my daddy yeah there's no permanent option so what we'll do is we'll go one month i guess thank you for another great year birth we'll just go Bert one we'll Bert go with one month and we'll just keep updating it i guess that's probably versus what we'll my do. daddy uh critical injury condition blind in right eye happy new oh, year oh permanent you can't you get i can't check but i can't check it Versus my daddy. Yeah, can't check it. So I can do one month. I'll just do one month. It's fine. We'll just, I'll just, you know, if he's alive in a month, I'll just redo it again. Blind in right eye. Versus my daddy. One more. we we'll do one more. Shunk. Versus my daddy. Of flesh missing on hip. Oof. There we go. If anyone looks at that, it's kind of fucked. <laughs> Morph. Thank you for the two years, brother. You can't dance anymore. Now those days are over, dude. Versus those days my are daddy. over. Bro is falling apart. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's uh that's the way of things right though dude like um can't can't live this life unscathed right dude I, i'm such a big fan of this look some people are like i can't i can't it, I, I don't like the beard i can't get used to it dude i'm so fucking used to it i love this look No one is safe, dude. No one is safe. Versus my daddy. I might have to uh, turn alerts, at least not uh, not off, but mute them. So I think Very we're I much. think we're That's so far good. behind, dude. I don't Versus want like I don't, I don't I don't annoy you people. So I'm just gonna put on mute for now. But we are less than 300 oh wait yeah fucking well less than 300 away from 3k i can't we might actually fucking hit that this year that'd be pretty dope he looks like he's on his way out <laughs> well maybe he is man maybe he fucking is did you think about that we gotta check telegrams is what i gotta do who is that down there I, okay, I see Alvin, Harry, maybe Archie. I don't know who the other, I don't know who that guy is. How old is he? Uh, I like to gauge him at around 28, 29, something around there. But again, I've, I've said this before, but um, you can't actually 
RP like time gaps like that. But in my head canon in this chat, that's kind of how I see him. I'm gonna check telegrams. Twenty-eight. Shit, he's rough. Well, he's he's just like an unkept beard, man. But yes, he does look rough, and that's that's how I want him. That's how I want him. Looks fifty. Well, let's be clear. He's lived a he's he's done enough in his life. He's he's lived the life of uh, two fifty-year-olds back to back. The amount of shit he's uh, he's accomplished, and all the bad shit he's done, all that, man. He's lived a hard life. You ever seen those pictures of like the like the twenty five year olds that were in like World War One, and they look like they're fucking forty year old men? That shit affects you, man. Like just different kind of life. They they seen some shit exactly. And then this guy has uh, he's he's killed. Over a dozen people, man. Like, that shit's got to affect... That's got to affect you. He's lost everyone. His entire... His, his entire friendship group. Growing up is dead. Which, by the way, we got to get into. The whole LJ Eddie thing. We haven't roleplayed with anyone about that, really. Like, it, it was brought up in Sissica. Uh, I think I had, like, a five-minute scene about it, but... I've tried my best to um, to hold off on exploring that too much because I wanted to stream it. Um, you missed Duke? He's not going to be using Duke anymore. Um, now, Twitch is down. Oh, of course it is. Of oh, fucking course it is. Out of all the days, of course. Naturally. Naturally, man. My God. Whatever you do, don't refresh your fucking streams if you can still see me. Because apparently people are having problems. They can't connect to the stream. So don't refresh. If you're seeing me right now, just keep me open. And you should be fine. Still here? Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't refresh. You guys are in the bubble. Let's let's keep you in the bubble. <laughs> um, what was I trying to say? Um, where was I? I've lost track of my thought. Duke. Ah. Yeah, I want. I want to. I. I... Now, physically, his hips fucked, right? So. I don't really want to ride a wagon around or a buggy or anything. I think that's fucking lame. I want to ride a horse. But I think, like, a cool little thing would be that Duke's just too... Like, he's such a big fucking horse. He's a burly fucking muscly horse. That might be a bit too much for him. So we'll ride a smaller horse. And Duke... Duke, I'm going to give away. And I don't know who I'm going to give Duke to yet. I'm leaning... Dakota, maybe? Because I think it might be funny just to see her on this fucking huge horse. Um, but I think we should start, like, giving some of Wallaby's possessions over to people. I think that'd be cool. Um, we'll see where it goes. I got a bunch of telegrams. Um, I have to go through these. Um, it's actually not too much. It's actually not too bad. It's actually not too bad. Uh, a lot of these are going to be old news. So it's majority, like, 9% is going to be fucking pointless. Uh, Wallaby, don't worry about anything going on out here. We have it handled. Take care of yourself. Yep. That went well. Braithwaite Christmas party. Please ignore my last telegram. I believe what I was told was false. Instead, I want to invite you to the Braithwaite Christmas party. Well, that, yeah, well. Yeah. December 15th. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Update. Want to go over a collective update rather than sending scattered telegrams? Only pressing matter right now is Eli stopping into Van Horn to look for Matt. Uh, as he blames him for Jojo's death. He seems dead set on killing Matt for this. Eli believes we will not let the dead rest. 
and has buried Jojo far away from LJ. We don't care about Jojo. Henderson's haven't oh, shown. What? I just said hello. Hello. Uh, Henderson's haven't shown their face since last interaction. I'm getting some gun oil. Do you need anything? No. I'll see you back in Van Horn. Pete and Scout held a conversation recently after my release. The topic at hand was the way you had been running Van Horn, but I was asked to leave the room. Wait, what? Whoa! Whoa! Hold on! Big news! Hold on! Let me read this again. Pete and Scout held a conversation recently after my release. The topic at hand was the way you had been running Van Horn, but I was asked to leave the room. Oh shit. Paranoia. Oh, oh, I love that. <clears throat> so I did not know, know how far the matter uh, at hand was spoken about. Scout has not informed me further. But I have also not asked. Dude. That's... That is sick. Love that. Okay. Adelaide, Christmas party. Yeah. Sorry, Adelaide. Couldn't make <laughs> Gorma Quarter Arms Invitational. Gorma Quarter Arms. It is with great pleasure and a sense of urgency that we extend to you an invitation of the utmost significance and delicacy. You are cordially invited to partake in a pursuit of un unparalleled danger and cunning. A hunt like no other. Gwoma, in her time of need, extends a quarter of arms and is with the utmost esteem that we... Fuck, I did a bot right this, man. This is fucking beautiful. Esteem that we seek your assistance. Several deadly uh, disruptors pose a threat to the island's serenity. I wouldn't put serenity and Gwoma in the same sentence, to be honest with you. And despite the meticulous efforts of the noble militia, <laughs> these uh, malevolent figures remain at large. Holy shit. This is not a venture for the feeble nor the righteous. Hunting beasts demands beast a beastly nature. While there will be no retribution for those assisting the militia, the justice of La Madre will be swift and severe for the insurgents. Should you participate, it is with the solemn understanding that the laws of Gwoma shall govern and your safety is not guaranteed. The rules of engagement pursue with unwavering determination. See, employ every resource at your disposal. The hunted may become the hunter. Your honest to partake in this unconventional gathering will be met with further instructions upon your acceptance of the Gwoman call to arms. Only a creature of darkness can track its kin. Thus, this GCA is by invitation only. Uh, you are permitted to bring one hunting partner. No expectations. Should choose to come alone, a hunting partner will be assigned to you unless you opt to hunt alone at your own peril. These enemies of Gwoma are armed, deadly, and extremely uh, vicious. RSVP TP831 by December 23rd to secure your place. Well, I've missed that. But it requires a presence on Saturday the 30th of... So this already happened. i tell you this. Wallaby wouldn't go to this anyway because there's no benefit to him. It's fun RP, no doubt. But why is Wallaby going to go hunt people for fun and put his life at risk for Gwoma. Uh, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Dangerous game, RP. 100% cool, man. But um, Wallaby would never do it. It's a waste of his time. He's not a he's not a he's not a minion to go do someone else's bidding because someone's fucking around in Gwoma. You know what I mean? Though I'd love it, like OOC. I'd love to do it, but would it make sense for Wallaby, even healthy, to do this? But He's obviously not capable of doing it now anyway. Uh, prisoner meeting. Oh, I'd like to schedule a meeting with Mr. Richard East week when possible. Please let me know. Okay, so Love wanted to see me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry.
It's already happened, hasn't it? Harry. Merry Christmas, Wallaby. Hope you're feeling better. I was in the hole, Harry. I'm doing my best, Andy. We've just me and Matt. Jasper died in his hotel room, I think. <laughs> uh, if we could be so lucky. Zip wanted to meet. That's already happened. Met with him. Yeah, done that. Wesley. Out on parole today. That was yesterday. No, two days ago. Okay. So Wesley's out. All right, we're good to go, man. Was I harsh to Alvin? Nah, wasn't harsh enough. <laughs> AKA Jess has been around at all. I cannot believe, I cannot believe they're chopping wood in GTA. Like, fuck me, dude. How the, how my, how the mighty have fallen. The great, the great are peers of our time. Some of the greatest role players known to man. A chopping fucking wood in GTA, bro. I'm fucking depressed. I'll say this about GTA. Look, it could be fun. There's no doubt about it. I had a lot of fun playing in GTA, right? But here's the big problem I have with GTA. GTA, to become anything significant on the server... Hold on. I found him. Yes, you found me. Well, Jesus Christ. You won't. I told you he was big. That is one big fucking beard. You think you're the only man around here, aren't you? Well, you know, I have to look at Alvin. <laughs> Was it supposed to be? Wait, wait. Maybe you should ask him. Um, as I was saying, the the big problem with GTA is that if you want to be a significant player on the server, there's a couple of check boxes you got to tick. One, you got to be associated with one of the other big dogs, and they're usually the um, how can I say this? More popular. <clears throat> people and you need to grind the fuck out of the mechanics what I like about wild and just red dead in general is you can literally just put a fucking mask on on your first day and go make your own fucking future dude there's nothing there's nothing gate kept there's I mean there's grinding but you don't have to do it you can get somewhere here by just role play you can RP to be a big player right then you can do that by being a criminal or you can do organized crime you can go rob banks there's a lot of things you can just go out and do and i think gta it's kind of like it's like an exclusive club almost if you want to get to like the top 10 percent of the server it's like a fucking club almost man and that's fine I just like having more freedom to just go out and do things. And I know that Wild even had that time at one point. I remember like when I first joined, there was some games that held down certain, certain mechanics and shit. And I don't think that was really cool either. Like, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's a different kind of role play, isn't it? And that's not, it's not really better nor worse. It's just different, right? And um, I would love to go over there and role play with my buds. I'd love to role play with Z-Tuck and, and DiCenzo's and obviously Peppo and, and Graham and all those guys. I'd love it. Absolutely love it. However, if I wanted to actually tell a proper story over there, I would have to dedicate so much hours that I just don't have it in me to really put in those kinds of hours.
So right now, Wallaby's thinking about that telegram. What were they talking about? What were, what was Scout and what? What were they talking about where they felt like they needed to get rid of Dakota out of the room? Why? Why? Why, guys? Why? Why? Oh, I can't do this now anyway. Never mind. Caught up on the alerts. Fantastic. Sorry, guys. I'll put the back on now. Um, Frog Knight, I think the four months, bro. Zening Bear, I think the six months. Uh, Link or Link Corporate, I think the 12 months. One year, brother. How you doing, mate? Happy New Year. Swift Fox, I think the tier three, six months as well. Tier fucking three. Thank you, bro. We'll see where this goes. I'm, I'm curious. That is... I don't want the dice, don't care about it. Letter to Wallaby. What was this again? Does it speak with you face to face? Though due to the circumstances, I may be unable. I'm sure you can understand. The last tournament was... Like, oh, right, this is from... Um, Nancy, who... I don't think has been doing shit at Van Horn since, we, since we've been gone. I'm gonna find her. Where the fuck has she been? What has she been doing? She's let down Van Horn. That's what she's done. And now she must die. <laughs> dice was Rufio's? No. That was a dice I found in uh, Cisco. She just made the list. <laughs> you know what's sad? I actually had a uh, Chris Jericho song that I added to the playlist about a month ago for Wallaby. And I was gonna actually play it today. And then I saw him trending on Twitter. I'm like, well, can't be playing that now. Great. It's just bad timing. <laughs> and you know what? It's all innocent till proven guilty stuff, obviously. I ain't gonna judge no one. It's not my fucking job. I'm not a judge. But you know what? I just don't want the fucking bullshit that comes along with all the people bitching. So just to be clear, I ain't canceling the guy. But I just don't want the fucking uh, the garbage. What for? I don't use Twitter. I didn't really read too much into it. But I did get a laugh. I did get... I, <laughs> I clicked on a fucking... I clicked on a meme. Because you remember he had that whole list thing? He's like, you just made the list! And he's like, putting people on the fucking list, right? I saw a meme. And someone put, wrote down... Uh, <laughs> Chris Jericho when the Epstein names drop. And it has the clip of him going, why am I on the list? <laughs> I fucking almost died. <laughs> it was fucking good. It was good. But again, innocent until proven guilty. I got no idea what the fucking guy did, if anything at all. But it was just bad timing for me to add a Jericho fucking song. Because Judas is actually a good fucking song. It's low key kind of fire. Right? Right? I ain't crazy. Oh my god, my horse is gonna kick me. It's gonna kick me. It's gonna kick me. It's gonna kick me. It's gonna kick me. Get on the horse. Get on the horse. Grow a pair. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't have a pair at all. Uh, to be honest with you, though, the vibe that I'm going for right now with Wallaby, it wouldn't have suited now. When... Okay, you know what? Just don't hitch here. It's fucking. It's, it's glitch. It's glitch. It's glitch. I reckon you put my horse somewhere where it's not gonna kick somebody. Okay. Appreciate it. Anyway. The fuck is Nancy? 
Now, I'm going to say it, and it's going to put a curse on things, but we're going to say it. Wallaby is back, right? But it's my first day back. I don't want to do anything too crazy. Hello, ma'am. Alright. Gonna be uh, it's gonna be chill, man. It's New Year's. I'm gonna slow burn this, man. Now last time I said that we shot someone. <laughs> Who's that up there? Oh, it's Alice. It's Alice. You jinxed it, sir. Last time you were out, you murdered someone on day two. I'm already... Wallaby's already paranoid about Pete and uh, Scout. I'm very curious as to what they were talking about, but I don't want to dig too much into it. At least with them. Because I want to slow burn that shit. Let that bubble a little bit, right? What is this bitch doing? Who the fuck is that? Who is who is who is this guy up here with the fucking book? Oh no, it's an NPC. Never mind. He doesn't even have a book. Dude, I'm blind as a bat, bro. So Alvin's with Alice. Archie's hanging around with Harry. Alright. Alright. Is he going to be clean for a week? Okay, listen. We gotta to try to avoid being wanted. Kinda of like what we did during the uh saloon arc. Okay? From now on, if we murder someone, we're fucking digging a hole in the woods. <laughs> That's what we're doing, man. We are digging a hole in the fucking woods. They ain't, ain't gonna be no body. Make them dig it. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, yes. Brilliant idea. That's even better way to force perma. Make them dig the grave. How can they not perma if we make them dig a grave? Brilliant, man. Dude, half of you, half of you would get banned within three days of playing on this server. I'm not even fucking kidding. <laughs> you guys would get banned so fucking quick. We need four cigars. I don't. I think I don't. I don't even think I've paid my fucking rent, dude. I'm broke. I mean, I'm not broke, but we're broke. You know what I mean. Then there were four eyeball witnesses in the shrubbery watching. <sighs> Man, you're not fucking wrong. You are not wrong. I can't even get in. What are you talking about? Probably for the best, bro. <laughs> Maybe that's more of an issue with wild than us, question mark. No, I think taking some up to the woods and making them dig a grave and then role-playing, throwing them in the grave after shooting them and then filling the grave in uh, would piss the person off. Unless you got, like... <laughs> If you got, like, clearance on an OOC level, right? Like, DM them. Like, hey, by the way, is it okay if I dig a hole for your character that no one's ever going to find? Is that okay? Can we do that? Is that all right? But secretly, that's exactly what we're going to do with Wesley. Because I always assume with I what that I can just do whatever the fuck I want with his character. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're not going to do that to him. Alice, Alice, Alice. Alice came to see Wallaby. We had a little discussion. Archie, come with me. I have some work for you. 
if you want to. Sure. Let me know what it is you need me to do. The knowing and metal. You know, I've been called a bull in a china shop before, but I can try and be delicate. something that belongs to me. All right. Navy revolver. Which sheriff? Rabbit. It is black, carved with the reckoning. The reckoning. Yeah. Rabbit intends to use it to play some kind of game, but I'm in no mood for those games with a sheriff. Not anymore. I want it back. Where do they frequent the most? West away. Black water, strawberry. Downed. That rabbit is using it. So you might have to get creative. You give me that gun back, I'll pay you two thousand dollars. Cash. Alright, well I shall try my best. And You gun rubbing down with the same gun, I'll pay you an extra five hundred on top. Yeah, that is the yeah, that's doable. That is that is something I can do, absolutely. Good. There's a lot of work to be done. A lot yeah, that there is. And I'm gonna need your gun. But first, I need mine. I shall, uh. I shall get on this straight away. Mm. Use the $2,000 how you wish. Hire someone to help you split it, or do not do it yourself and get all the money for you. Either way, it means nothing. As long as the job is done. Okay. Sheriff Rabbit. All right. Imagine all the whiskey you could buy with that money. Oh yes, and the eagle eagle coats as well. I'm uh, really passionate about those these days too. So I'll definitely be uh, in a few more. Good. I'll track him down. Mm. I'll get that gun back. And it goes about saying, if you want caught and such, you didn't do this for me. No, of course. Happy hunting. Welcome back.
wallaby? Sheriff's office. I was watching you from the window. Your eye just need something to eat. Oh, okay. I'll get you something. Help me up. Yeah, I'll help you up. And sometimes I forget to eat too. What's happening? I'll explain in a minute. An extra wrinkle in the story. Matt Force, thank you for the sub, brother. Yes, Black Lit Star. Yes. Infection? No. Verts is my daddy. Oh, fuck. He suffers from Happy New Year. chronic migraines because of the eye injury. Let me go get you something. Can you just sit here? Wait until I get um. Do not go. I gotta do this. I hate I have to do this. Okay. I gotta, I gotta, I really gotta, I'm gonna fix it next stream. Promise, gonna fix it. Promise, gonna fix it. Use the launcher. Then I can't use the shader, man. Where is she? I'm with me. Okay. Swear to me that you aren't gonna tell us all what you saw here. No, I won't. Promise me. I promise. Give me your fucking word. And you have my word. I won't you tell you. If you go and tell anybody, you will be going down to the wrong store, and you will not come back. Not even the scout. Do you understand me? Yeah, I, I, I understand. I'm sorry. I don't want no part of this. Go get me that stew. Okay.
he's not angry with her he's angry that she saw that because it's a weakness All right, Kono. Thank you, man. Yeah, I know. Run along now. Okay. Oh my god, she's sitting on the dock. <laughs> Welcome to the, the, the bad guy POV, guys. <laughs> Oki, thank you that once, brother. It's important though. This is that actually it actually is perfect. We it, it's a set, it's perfectly set up. Thank you. Is that Pete? Mm, no. Who the fuck is that? Oh, it's, um, fuck face. <laughs> 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 ah, I'm just kidding, guys. Not fuckface. <laughs> Hathaway? Yeah, it's Hathaway. Yeah. Versus my dad. And I think he has August with 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 him. I was gonna say her for some reason. Shaggy, thank you for 34 months, brother. How you doing? Happy New Year, bro. Happy New Year, is Vert's glad wallaby. Cheers, is back. mate. Cheers. How you doing? How you doing? Number one sleep defender for life, yeah. Okay. Okay. You come all this way and don't even come to say hello. Yeah, I've been doing all right. I knew it was 
this lovely lady you have with you? Her name's August. Have we met before? I don't believe so, no. You need a hand, Robbie? Shun your fucking face. Alright. The name is Richard Eastwick. Pleasure to meet you. Absolute pleasure. You come to Van Horn often? Uh, every once in a while. Lovely. And you're with other way here. And I uh, ride with and work with him here. And what is it that you do for work? Banks, things like that. Things that need to get done. Banks. Things that Mostly. need to be done. Mm -hmm. Very good. Where are you off to in such a rush? Uh, not so much in a rush. Yeah, we've just mostly been roaming today. Didn't want to come and uh, disturb you, you know. Sat by the fire, I figured you were just resting. Yeah. No, I had plenty of time for that in Sisico. I'm, uh... Fair enough. Sorry to hear about everything that happened. What are you sorry for? Not just the passing of Eddie, really. It's surprising news. I know he meant a lot to you, so just sorry to hear it. That's all. You. I can get to know you next time you stop by Van Horn. Of course, I, uh, I'm sure I would like that. Uh, we'll leave you to it. I uh, said Richard. All right. Good to see you out. travel. You can stay safe as well. <laughs> Burns is my daddy. I got, I got your uh, gun for you. No. I'll go get it. No, no, no. Come with me.
How are you feeling today? Good to see you walking around outside. One day at a time, right? Yeah. I saw okay. um, as it was before. Not much change. Jesus. Is it uh, what? Mm, the drums in my head. Ah. When? Not long ago, Harry found me collapsed on the floor. I had to. I'm not sure she'd keep her mouth shut. Sorry that I wasn't around. Not your fault. The risk I take. Moving around out here without you. Yeah. What a cutie. <laughs> um, hopefully it doesn't happen again. You uh, should be good now. Thank you. Of course. And then gone. Where do you mm -hmm. have it? In my hotel. Happy New Year, Nebula. How you doing, man? Just down there by herself. <laughs> no, I've traumatized the poor kid. I suppose we'll be walking from now on. It's Seventy. That might the pick up that? later. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna slow burn it. I'm gonna try to end it at least. No idea. I'll go get it. He looks 70. Well, that's the point, isn't it? Gyrating. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's fucking great. Excuse me. Mm. Hi. Any of them horses down there yours? Oh. Can't no. say so for myself, no. 
I just need a horse to get out of town. Uh, you can take mine. One, 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 one. I just got back to the mainland to make it out west. Mm. I'll just get, I'll give you 20 bucks or something there. 20 bucks for a steed. What's your name? It's a uh, Hank. Hey, Dakota. Hi, uh, Hank. You know this man? I do. Wait. I'm sorry about what happened. The fuck happened? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I just got nothing on me right now. I need a gun. I need a goddamn horse. I need a way to get out west. All right. Well, if Dakota knows you, I suppose that's her business. She wants to give you her horse. It ain't gotta be your horse to go to could be one of these fucking assholes. You just, mm. just don't want to get shot taking it. You mean the gun? I'll let you deal with him. Sure. Burns is my daddy. Safe travels out west. You are just like. Yeah. <laughs> Go sleep there for three months, brother.
How's it trading you? It's like I know how to do it. Mm, I remember how to shoot. But my body won't fucking let me. It's gonna take some getting used to at least. For a long while. How am I gonna defend Van Horn if I cannot defend myself? You got a lot of people with you who are willing to do that. And I told Pete, uh, him and I were having a conversation in Sissica that, uh, you know, you're smart, so. I think you're gonna be just fine. No need to keep practicing. Yeah. I think in time, things will adjust slowly. You're getting better. Yeah, you will. Could have done that. Do you need anything else? Nice old pain. We have a lot to talk about. You want me to go get him? Yeah. So fucking good. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? Um, not having one eye, your right eye, your right hand, you're shooting with your right hand. That would throw your aim off, but also the added like trauma um, to his hip and all that. It, it'd be hard for him to, to function um, shooting. Can he improve? Yes, but I'm going to role play that practicing and, and all that. Right now, he's at the very bottom. He's at rock bottom.
shave that man. Nah, we're keeping the beard, dude. It's sick. Too bad you can't switch left hand mechanically. That'd be sick. Yeah, if you could do left handed. Yeah, that'd be fire. When you aim, when I aim with my right hand, I look out my left eye. When using a fucking revolver, that's fucking weird. <laughs> hey, Elfin, how you doing? Got your uh, Christmas invitation. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Left eye dominant. I use it for everything. That's fair. There he is. What's up, Wallaby? There he is. There, here I am. There you are. How you doing? Come here. It's good to. See you, old friend. I'm sorry I wasn't too talkative last night. Don't worry about it. I didn't blame you, nor did I hold it against you. I know I said this, but you aren't looking good. I'm looking better. Uh, better, but yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot more fit. Goddamn. I let myself go. We have some things to go over. Yeah, we sure do. We can go downstairs. All right. Are the others joining us or is it just us? Uh... Who was running Van Horn in my absence? I was. When that, when Scout wasn't able to. Well, then you will do for now. Where are we going? They look like motherfucking ZZ Top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be with you in a moment. All right. I switch my headset battery. Oh, buddy. <clears throat> Jingles, thank you for continuing your sub, man. Oh shit. How are they fine? Yeah, I'm good. Never seen you comfortable. Oh, you know me. I don't like to smoke and sit. <laughs> Fair enough. Congratulate you. Congratulate? Mm. For what? Not letting Van Horn burn to the ground. Mm. Quite a feat. Considering so many want to see it burn. Yeah, you ain't wrong. I appreciate it. Come on. It wasn't without it. It got now, wasn't. No, it was that. Hard uh, doing your job, Wallaby, turns out. 
getting everyone to into uh fall in line not the easiest fate Let me get down to the broth pack. Why is my best friend and brother dead? <sighs> Kids of LJ, don't kid. mention his name. I didn't ask who killed him. I'm asking you why he's dead. Can't answer that. You don't know. Fortunately, I do not doubt I ever will. Last person to speak with that person was Matt. And me and him haven't had time to talk about it. Talk about what was going through that person's head when he did what he did. And what did he tell Matt? So I'm, te I'm telling you, Matt's gonna have to tell you that himself. You don't fucking know yourself. No, I don't fucking know myself. I thought you said you were running thing. Yeah. The day that happened was the day that Scout took over. After the fact. They left the information you're looking for. I mean, I know what caused it. I don't know the reasons. I don't know what the fuck was going on inside that little psychopath's head. Then why didn't you find out? I have to put hate on him, man. I told you. Matt was the one who was speaking to him. I'm not Matt. talking to Matt. I'm talking I, to I, you. I know. And I was talking to Matt, and I realized quite soon that Matt was fucked up by this whole ordeal. He didn't indulge. Mm. 
He did an indoor. Look, I don't know what you want me to tell you, Wallaby. I ain't no fucking psychic. I, I do not have an insight into that fucking idiot's head. Maybe if we did, this has all been preventable. You know, when, when all this happened, there was a fight night going on one of these silly little <laughs> fucking events. Eddie was supposed to be helping me, and I thought that Eddie was helping me. As soon as the event was over, we received word that Eddie was injured. Up until that point, I had no idea that he was even out of town. He shouldn't have been. He told me he wasn't. He said he was going to be there. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, God knows where him and fucking that person were. <sighs> Settling things. When we found out, we went out searching for him. We had word that Eddie was in custody. There was nothing we could do for him at that time. We were not aware of just how severe the situation was. So we went out looking for our answers. After a while of searching, we Matt managed to make contact with him through telegrams and organized the meet. It was supposed to be just him and Mel J. But little, sorry, that guy. But little did he know, we were all we were all following him. Matt knew, but obviously the others didn't. We waited around the house until they emerged and then we surrounded them I wanted to take him back here I wanted to question the motherfucker to get the answers that we all fucking deserve but a gunfight started and before he knew it uh, he was dead didn't tell you a damn thing just a whole mystery unsolved Matt had some answers I'm sure you know you know I do not know them so fucking grief about not knowing things coming to me telling me you don't know enough as lead on sometimes I Do not share everything I should. But do you know what the difference is? I at least myself 
fucking no. Where is man? Still got a clue. I uh, last I saw him it was the day before yesterday. And uh I think he might be out west for a couple of days. Might not see him until tomorrow or the next day after. We'll send him on the gram. This airline situation. What do you know of that? Are you talking to both of us or me? You. In, in that fight, Jojo died. Eli's wife. Ever since then, Eli has made it quite clear that uh, Matt was going to be hmm, targeted in some way. Why did Jojo die? Because she started the fight here. First to shoot, first to go down. And he wants Matt why? Because he blames Matt for betraying it. You know who? For betraying Jojo, I suppose, for turning his back on them and making his choice. Anyone else there? Yes, uh, a, a woman named Dahlia, is that right, Coda? Is that, is that yeah. her name? Dahlia is a fucking snitch. And yep, maybe, well. as you all arrested for it, yes. Yep. Everybody We're excluding Wesley. He didn't get charged for it, apparently. Dahlia needs to be dealt with. However, I already told Dakota, Eli is a threat. He is resourceful and dangerous. No one is to harm Dahlia until Eli is dead. fan the flames of his rage. of shit buried. Matt knows I don't. I a uh, little shack area in the swamps near Saint Denis. Uh, he told me the name of it. We did a the business dogs. meeting. Yeah, there. Eddie, 
I will erase any memory of that coward. He will not be spoken of. He will lie in an unmarked grave. Those that keep his memory alive will die as consequence. We do not utter his name. I intend to keep my promise. Very well. We will make it so. Speak more about this when Scout and Matt are around. Is there anything else that we need to discuss? There probably is a lot, but right now, I can't think of anything. Well, then we have a little ride ahead of us. The vibes, man. The vibes. Portuguese rebel. Thank you for the 10 months, brother. How you doing, bro? Poor Pete. <laughs> it's all good RP, though. This is, this is all juicy stuff. <clears throat> I did find it interesting though. I took note of it that he uh he said that Bert he wasn't in charge daddy. that Scout was in charge. That's very interesting that he said that. <clears throat> Macho style, I think the 21 months, bro. Happy New Year. By the way, guys, if you just got here uh, to celebrate the return of the Wallaby Kid. I'm doing Bert one more line of merch for Wallaby. Bert this is Glorbert probably Island. the last one. I'm not going to say 100% the last uh, merch line because, you know, I don't want to just lock that in. Because you never fucking know. Some, something crazy could happen. And we just have to do it. But for right now, it's pretty much pretty much the last time I'm going to be doing it. If you're interested in checking it out, it's kind of fucking dope. Just put in exclamation point 2024 in the chat. <clears throat> Check it out. Buy your wallaby beard today. Bert is my daddy. 
Pestomy! There he is. It's fuckface. <laughs> Sorry, dude. How you doing, mate? 15 months, brother. How you doing? Happy New Year, mate. Cool to, uh, to run into you. Running into a uh, scary wallaby. We're going for a ride. Oh, no. It's a fucking fire shirt, right? I've avoided meta, mate. I was not expecting to see him like that. Was caught off guard. Yeah, man. He's dark as fuck. I mean, he's always been—he's been dark for a long time, but he's uh, he's next level. Good. You got to make sure the other team. Whoever knew there was another level? Oh, I did, man. Which is why I was trying to tell people, like, I got more in me, man. I got, I, I got, I got more in this story. Thank you, Casper, for the 15 months. Hype train. Appreciate it, guys. Push it towards 3K. So fucking close. Did you know how his look was going to be when you clean him up? Wait, do you know how his look is going? I don't think I'm going to clean him up. I'm very happy with the look. The most he might do is maybe, depending where the story goes, I might shave. But right now, I've got no interest in doing that. I think he's perfect. The thing is, it's not Pete's fault that Eddie's dead, but it's his fault that he doesn't know. Unicorn's backbone. Rambo Appreciate you, mate. Thank you for the five kids of subs. Love you, mate. Anything that happened after the death of Eddie, everything that happened after that is whoever, whoever was leading, it's their fault. In, in Wallaby's eyes. In Wallaby's eyes, that's absolutely... If 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 they, if JoJo shot first, that's because they did something wrong. Because if you do it right, it wouldn't have happened. Thank you so much, Unicorn's Backbone, for the five gifted subs, mate. We are now two hundred subs away from three thousand. People think they're fucking... Holy shit. Black, white star, lit star, sorry. Thank you for the five as well. Appreciate you. Versus my daddy. And if you just got here, this is uh, Wallaby's new... I, I got a whole new soundtrack for uh, this version of Wallaby. I hope you're enjoying it. It's a different Versus tone. My daddy. But I'm kind of digging it. And this is his theme song. This is the main theme. Hey, since no case, since that has, uh, didn't do this music, no. Birds is my daddy. Sarachu, think of the five months, man. Birds is my daddy. Hey, Luna, what are you doing? 
It's over here, right? Birds is my daddy. Birds is my daddy. Glad to see the kid back. Ph one L love. Thank you, mate. The free state! Fucking Rambo fucking stupid asshole! Oh. oh! Oh! I can't Birds fucking read this. I cut off. What the fuck? No, no, no. Not the day! <laughs> Is my Matt, daddy. we have 10 gifted subs. Thank you, Matt. Closer and closer to that goal. Thank you so much for the love, guys. Look for a grave. Birds is my huh? daddy. If I had to guess, he'd be over here somewhere. I know they used to hang out around here. Birds is my daddy. Birds is my daddy. Is my daddy. TMI dot twitch dot Not for any kind of marker. R N O T I C E hashtag vertigo gaming. Birds is my daddy. Holy shit. Under 200 now. Thank you guys. Seeing a little toasty. It's actually not too bad. But it does get warm. I'm going to put the air con. Just for a little bit. Not for long. Not for long. Where have you been? Okay. Birds is my daddy. We're not going to dig him up if we find him. We're just going to remove the marker. Check to see if Jasper's sister is still alive. No, but we'll do that. Just not today. We'll get to that stuff. I'm very hesitant to do too much with Jasper right now because um, I think he's. I think I think he might just be doing GTA. I don't think he even. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be around or what. Happy New Year, Lucky. Hey, he's coming back anytime soon? Yeah, it's sad, man. Oh, okay, let's not walk into the mud. Fuck this. Hmm. Well, nowhere to be seen. Interesting. Did you have any luck? No. No luck. Mm. Are we sure that he was buried here? If Dakota knew, uh, like I said, Matt took him off and dealt with it himself. Let me ask you something. Mm, 
said to me that Scout was in charge when this all happened. No, I said that Scout was in charge the day, it, like, he basically took charge. Right. Uh, after my the question fact. To him. Do you think that he made the right calls? Scout? Mm. In regard, yes, I do. Sometimes I questioned it. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. I wanted us to work hand in hand uh, to help lead, lead Van Horn, but he so, wanted to take it on for himself, so I, so I obliged. So what you're telling me is, correct me if I'm wrong, is that everything that happened was unavoidable? I don't know if I go that far. Well, if he's here, they did him well. Did you find anything, Alvin? Uh, no. I looked all, well, all the way back there. And you're sure she had the coat up? I didn't say nothing. Then we must wait for Matt. Matt seems to know all. Yeah, it seems so. Why don't we burn the boondocks? Daddy. Dude, that might actually be an option. Just burn the whole fucking thing down. That'd be sick. Sicko, how you doing? Thank you for the five months. Happy New Year. How many hours are we away from 2024 in America? Is that a dig? <laughs> Slightly. Where's Scout? He gets, well, he gets out tonight at some point. At least it's unmarked. Mm. For the time being. Kid, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I haven't been dishonest, but I'm gonna be even more honest. I think that maybe, maybe, if I'd given that little shit, I don't know, a hug and a kiss at the end of the day, maybe this wouldn't have happened. I don't know. Ever since it happened, I've, I've been pointing a finger at everything including myself thinking what the hell could I have done differently the fact of the matter is that when it all happened I had no fucking idea not a single fucking shred I had no clue that, that uh, he was going through shit that he was planning something like that. And I had no idea that Eddie had gone off to find him on his own. I wish I did. I wish I, I wish I'd not fucking fucked around with a fight night. Not my scene anyway, but. Someone. I don't remember who it was. Whether it was you, Dakota, or Scout, mentioned something about the barkeep and LJ. Yeah, that was me. Tell me that again. There was a night 
Um, I forget what had happened, but we were all standing around, uh, Van Horn talking. Uh, Wallaby, I think you were up on the balcony of the hotel, and I was down by the docks having a conversation with I forget who. Um, and we were riding out of town after a little while to go to Annisburg or somewhere, and uh, LJ got on his horse and he was trailing behind a little bit. Um, so I stopped to wait up for him because he seemed like he was hesitating, like he wanted to leave. So I stuck around to make sure that he was coming with us where we were going. And uh, he seemed shaken up, so I asked him what was wrong and if he was all right. And he told me that uh, he was speaking to Drummer. And uh, he asked me if I remembered the time that he told me uh, that he wanted to go to the theater or something and scream at the moving picture, hoping that the ending would be different. I said yes, and then he told me that a drummer was one of the fellas that was screaming at the moving pictures, and he was a fellow who did that, and uh, he seemed scared and absolutely shaken up. He could barely speak, and I still don't know what that was about. Was anyone who's in this drama? Not in some time, mind you, we have all been locked up. Yeah, not since uh, I got out of Sissica, but right before. I want to yeah. see him. Let's go back to Van Horn. Also, uh, that Dahlia lady, she's on Gorma, or she was as of yesterday or two days ago. Does anyone have a drummer's telegram in the morning? I do not. I believe I may, but I'd have to go to the telegram station. That's fine now. I don't know about Drummer, man. He's, um... He's been sus for a while. The reason why I kept him around, like, for OOC reasons, is because I find it interesting to have someone that's sus around. Um... Because OOC, I think, and I feel, that he could potentially be someone that works for Bradshaw. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. There's, you know, we'll, we'll find ways to find out. But it's one of those things where Wallaby, as I've been saying this whole time, he's ve he's a very paranoid character, right? He might just do something just cause, just to make, you know, it's, it's better safe than sorry, right? And that goes for his own people as well. Sometimes it's just better safe than sorry. Like maybe suspicion is just enough. But I definitely want to see him. The Gwarma connection is what fascinates me. Sully! Yeah, dude. Be back. Law wouldn't know yet. Matt isn't safe, dude. No one is safe. No one is safe.
I mean, Eddie's dead. Like, somebody is going to get hurt or killed for that. Or plural people. If you think that Wallaby's gonna come out and be like, you know, Eddie's dead. It was LJ. LJ's dead, therefore, you know, GG. <laughs> then you, you haven't been paying attention to the character. But I want to do it in a way that doesn't engage law into siege us again because i've done the siege thing with law multiple times now um i want this story this particular arc to be very nuanced within the group like in a turmoil in a conflict Oh, yes. Oh. I think it's time for a war. Wallaby physically is not capable of taking part in a war, man. We just had a scene Yo. an hour ago where he can't even shoot straight. Why would he... He, he avoided... Yeah. Like battlefield war his entire life why yeah, would he is. wage that now that he's like physically broken doesn't make any sense he's not a war type of character he will do mental warfare strategic stuff he'll do assassinations but he's never been a i'm going to war with you let's fight in the fields kind of character he just isn't that he's never been that Terry is. Terence is, absolutely. Like, Terence Kerrigan, he'll fight. He, he, he'll, he'll wage war and shit. Like, he'll go out and, and fight. Wallaby is like, how do, who do I kill to avoid a fight? Like, I'm not going to go to Gwarma and war with uh, Bradshaw. So how do I poison his fucking food? How do I cut his head off? How, how do I make him trip over the stairs and break break his neck? Or, who do I kill to weaken him? Who, who, who do I cut off from his trust group? How do I make him turn on his own people? Shit like that. That's that's where Wallaby's at. Excuse me for five minutes, Wallaby. I'll be in the uh, bar. Yeah. honor playthrough well he's bro he's never been an honorable character he's never been like i'm from like like the western kind of thing right with the principle like we do this honorably we fight out in the street man to man like no he'll find your weakness he'll focus your weakness he will destroy you from inside he doesn't care if he kills innocent people if it's going to if it's going to get the result that he's looking for. He took... He took Jasper's group and destroyed it from inside without once having an open field battle. That was a war. Like, the, like Jasper's group was in war weeks before they even knew what was going on. Like, by the time they were killing each other, like, they had already been in war for, like, a month. Quiet for now. Nice. 
just as a nod. It's always nice when it's quiet. It doesn't happen often. No way. Luna's snoring so fucking loud. Sorry to hear that. How are you holding up? I am recovering from my injuries, but I am well. I don't know. I guess. You guess. I just don't. I don't know. I, I don't know what I want right now. I know what I want for the future. I just don't know what I want right now. Well, to get what you want in your future, you're gonna need to forge a path. Waiting in the wind like a leaf will not take you where you want to go. I can help you get them. I can help you both. This is my daddy. <laughs> Shadow King. Tension breaker, man. Think the 26 months. I have such a hard time asking for help. It wouldn't be a favor. Happy New Year, Vert. You'd have to work for it. More gunshots than usual. More gunshots than usual. They might need your help. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Jesus. Oh my God. Oh. Winning! Jesus fucking Christ. I can't fucking shoot. You know, I think they're fighting each other. Oh, no. 
Jesus. It's a fucking war. Oh my god. That's a lot. Jesus. Oh god. Yeah, come this way. Come this way. Yeah, there you go. There you go. back man Go to stay helpful. Hey, at least she's alive. Dude, she had like fucking 30, 30 NPCs charging her, man. Uh. All good? Mm, how is it going? Uh, terrible. Perfect. Well, it's not going terrible. It's but I can show you how it's going. Don't be so fucking negative. Listen, I have. Look, stop there. Let me show you. If he has the gun, I swear to God. I'm trying to infiltrate. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus Christ, indeed. This is this is gonna be a slow thing. That's what you look like. No, this is what I look like without a fucking beard and hair, and I hate it. <laughs> yeah, it is a shame. Take a bit of time. <coughs> like, they want to take it slowly. Yeah. Well, that's why I got him, man. Happy New Year. Yes, think of the 13 months, Love brother. You and your characters. Thank you, man. I don't think Alice is back up here. I should probably get myself another coffee. Sorry, did anyone answer how many hours till New Year's? You want to see how since the fight broke out? Uh, no. All right, let's do a quick search because I've got a feeling. What, like? Who's this? Who is that? Oh. No idea who the fuck that is. Shit. Bert is my daddy. Ten hours from Happy western. I'm talking about eastern. Seven, Seven hours eastern. Bag? Seven hours from now. Oh fuck! I might have missed time this whole stream. Thank you. I might have missed time the whole fucking stream. Oh, let me just get myself a coffee. Baby, baby, I'll have you. Uh. 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 Oh boy. Fishies. Back in a minute. Give me one minute. Everyone else okay? <laughs> Making a coffee. 
Long wallaby stream? Hey. Oh fuck, I'm gonna make the fireworks. I slid early as fuck, yeah. I was really excited. Non toxic, thanks for the one year. Well, man, that's our goal then. 3,000 before New Year's. We can do that. That's. That's. That's gonna be a thing. We're doing it. We're doing it! We're doing it live, man! We're doing it live! Hey, what's going on? Might be the you started in a while. Yeah, I was excited for Wallaby, bro. Fun. Sue, how are you doing? It's been fun. I'm Pete. Sweet Pete. I miss this calculator, son of a bitch. I got to get into a whole different like headspace when I play him. With uh, with Sleek, it's like I don't have to. I just turn my fucking brain off. <laughs> but Wallaby, I've got to like pay attention to shit. It's like so anti what I usually do. They're gonna be doing fireworks, yes. They're gonna be doing fireworks. Toxic with 25 gifted subs, brother! Holy shit! Burns is my daddy! Whoa, 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 whoa! And term of 25! 50 subs? Okay, guys, you can take your time because fuck, like, you gotta put the carrot on the stick for me, like, Vert, you gotta stay for New Year's because look, the 3,000 carrots in front of you. You can't just give it to me with these two fucking uh, it's minutes. My daddy. <laughs> Don't make me fucking earn it, man. Holy shit. Thank you, guys. <coughs> Terminal with 25 gifted subs. Thank you, Terminal. Happy New Year to you. Non-toxic with 25 as well. 50 in total. And then Ride Trek. There you go. That's 100 subs. So we're less than 100 away already. Ah. I mean, I'm not going to complain. Versus my like, daddy. At, at all. Non-toxic with... Ah, oh, there, there you go. Not the day! <laughs> you guys... You guys in your premature goal-setting things, man. I've heard that about you guys. You got Versus no patience, man. <laughs> this... Uh, Non-toxic. Thank you for the 10 as well. And Ryadrek with 50 gifted subs. Holy shit. Happy New Year! Reset the goal to 4K. <laughs> ah, man, I'm not gonna. I'm not greedy, dude. I'm. I'm just happy that anyone fucking Bert subs. Honestly, daddy. I appreciate the hell out of yous. Thank you so much for the gifts, guys. Happy New Year. We, I, I listen. Jokes aside, of course I'm gonna be here for Bert New Year's. Is my daddy. Even if I've got to do Wallaby's voice for fucking seven hours, which is daunting, but should be fine. I got a coffee. I got my dog. I got my aircon. I'm good, man. Tess, thank you for gifting out a sub as well as imbecile number one. Love you guys. I'm sorry. Where was I? Oh, right. Bert's is my dad. It wouldn't be generosity. I know you don't do handouts. Neither do I. But. Maybe we can work together. Burns is my daddy. And as payment for your services, I can help you get what you want. My cigars glitched. Oh, shit. She's covered in blood, man. Burns is my daddy. She's covered in fucking blood, man. Is she even here? Am I talking to myself? I think I'm talking to myself. There we go. Uh, by the way, guys, the sub counter, it takes a minute to uh, register new subs. Versus so just, my daddy. It, it will definitely change. Alice. Alice, sweet Alice. Has anyone seen that movie? Yeah. Alice, sweet Alice? Just thinking. Yeah. Well, well I, with all due respect, could use a lady of your expertise. Delicate, is my daddy. Yet violent. 
Spanish mod. Roberts is my daddy. Oh fuck. Sixty-seven more. Hell yeah, guys! Thank you so much. Well, you do know how to compliment a lady, don't you? Roberts is my daddy. Oh fuck. They do say that I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> do they say that? Oh yeah. Okay. I am known for it. Roberts is my daddy. Oh fuck. Oh my god, I gotta mute the fucking alerts again. I was gonna hear Dispy saying that I'm her daddy for the next fucking 45 minutes. <laughs> that won't help you. It's not going well. Uh, helping. Let's call it a business arrangement. God damn. You're gonna need money to get where you wanna go. You need a life of freedom for you and him. $1,500 for you to find someone for me then bring him to Van Horn. You guys talking privately? Yeah. Okay. It's against your moral code. If there's one thing I don't want to lose, it's... <sighs> Let me ask you something. What are you willing to give to get? What do you want? What are you willing to sacrifice? Almost anything. But I wouldn't forgive myself if I lost myself along the way. Alice, you've already lost yourself. <sighs> that is why you are here. I don't want to lose more. Because then what is he to come back to? At that point. Freedom. A wife. A future. He's manipulating her, by the way. Mind me asking who it even is? Not until you decide. Fair enough. <clears throat> Couldn't tell. <laughs> well, some people need to be, you know, I'm, listen, I'm just trying to be a content creator here, okay? I'm giving you the inside scoop. I'm giving you the scoop, man, like a big strawberry ice cream scoop. All right? guys love the scoop yeah man. 
the old fashioned way. Best thing to do when you're alone, I guess. What do we have here? This is Sue. And then this is a woman I found eating out of the trash like two months ago. This is Hades. Wayne. Hello. His name is Sue. Uh, this uh, one this right here, the fella. This is Mate my right friend here. Sue. Speed Venom, thank you for the 10 gifts, brother. Hello. Oh, well, uh, I was strolling on through. I'm a friend of Harry's, and I don't know. I guess I'm just meeting people around, seeing what's going on. Oh, yeah. Whatever no. opportunity presents. Your head again? Yeah. Does anything uh, happen to your vision when this happens, or it's just your head? Well, it's been it's going away. That's good. No one followed, right? No, they didn't. I'll be sure to close the door next time. That's all. We can wait or I can change them now, it don't matter. He's a damn bottom wall of his eye hole. I don't. Well, number one, he hasn't got an eye hole, you idiot. <laughs> man dude I swear to god I am what was it? here oh nothing really why does he not try to find an outlaw doctor he's stubborn and also he doesn't want anyone to know his weakness man you, you saw what he did to Irene to hide his weaknesses are you fucking hey. kidding me he's gonna go to a doctor and say yeah this is my weakness I struggle to fucking, like, stand. 
I can't fucking think. I gotta like any kind of weakness. Like his his whole attitude is survival of the fittest. If you're not fit, what? you die. Right? Just looking at your outfit. All right, I I need some. Uh, we need to get some money. All right. Let's take mm. a trip down to San Denis then. Yeah. Take Harry. I'll be with you. Come on, Harry. I'll be back soon. Where's me fucking horse? Don't hit me. Where are you going? Does he really think people cannot see what's going on? I want people to know. I want people to see what's going on. Yeah, sure. I want them. I want them to plot. I want them to doubt. I want all that. You know why? That's fucking juicy, man. I love that shit. He's jumping off the roof. It's. Oh. oh. That didn't go and how I thought it would happens. go. You're able to do that when you don't have a dick. When I don't have a what? <laughs> didn't have a dick? <laughs> Someone cut his dick off? I resent that statement. <laughs> He's right, though. It's Char kind of true. Charlie cut your dick off? <laughs> no. That wouldn't surprise me. Is she doing it like experiments on it or something like that? Tying it in knots. No. Uh, rare, 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 rare ball intact, busting totally. from all of you. Mm. Whatever you say. <laughs> intact is a loose term. That can mean a lot of things. Mangled. Uh. Perhaps. Tell me, has anyone seen Nancy? Hello there. Why is she uh, abandoned nope. Van Horn? I haven't I seen have her. I've not seen her in a fucking long she, time. She did say that uh, they were putting like a pause on like the events until after the new year. Mm. I did see her once, I believe, in Armadillo. That was like three, three four weeks ago. Mm. I think uh, before I got locked Dude, up, I, I saw I'm her so glad being riding back, around with so... it. Oh, I love fella. this. Oh, there he is. Here, Emerald. Saint Denis or Rose. Mm. Saint Denis is closer, but. Depends. Do you want to be seen? It's probably Rose. Usually, Rose has been quite uh, busy lately. Rose I'll be honest busy. with you. Mm. I rode around for a while earlier. Yeah. I probably saw one or two people. In Rose. Yeah. And rooms it is. What the fuck is that? Well, someone kicked off in Van Horn. <laughs> Good luck to him. Van Horn's just fucked. <laughs> Though many are missing. Uh, well, we know that Matt's just not available till after New Year's. We know that Scout gets out of Sissica today. Wesley has been around. Not sure if we'll see him or not. We, we're good, man. We're good. We're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. I love this shit. Plus, I want to do some recruiting, too. Got a couple of slots opened up. Guess we're going to Rhodes. Fuck it. Is it meta to say if a character will be around? Eh, no. No, no. No, not really. That's not metal. That's got nothing to do with RP. Like, that's got nothing to do with, like, in-character shit. It's, like, OOC. Yeah, I'm not going to be around because I'm busy sort of thing. That's not, that's not metal. Billy Boston for DEG. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, bro. Hey, Haxi, my boy, my boy, TC me, think of the 20 months, appreciate you, my friend, and Captain Dre again, think of the 16, happy new year, do it, blah, 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 yeah, we are 57 subs away from 3k, I guess I just, I mean, fuck, we just keep moving the goalpost, right, obviously, <laughs> that's exactly what we do, who are all official members at this point? I don't fucking know, dude. Um, I consider 
Archie as a merc or merce. Uh, he's a mercenary, in my opinion. I don't. I, I wouldn't consider him fully fledged dead end gang. He's more of a hired hand. Anyone that I'm offering like cash jobs to, like Alice or, or Archie, are a mercenary more so than gang members. One of your straps are loose there on your saddle, Harry. Okay, I'll switch this. What is... I desperately want to play the theme song, but I don't want to overuse it, you know? for DEG. <laughs> Does Wallaby still care about Alice or Mills? Um, it's complicated. Does he care? Yes and no. Oh, wait, the way I ask you, Wallaby. He hasn't forgiven Mills. Whatever happened with Henderson, how'd you get him to back off or... Name. Is it? Yeah, he don't seem like the type of person to just sit back and wait after his daughter got killed. It's my superior negotiation skills. Of course! Howdy. Oh, howdy. Hello? <clears throat> know that headache that migraine is going to hit at some point that's really important i might start rolling for it i don't know Imagine if he's in like a really important meeting with like a rival gang or someone that doesn't like him. Coder, have you seen your, And then he um, just collapses because Dakota's name? not around. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Darlin? Yeah, yeah, Darlin. Uh, By the way, you... the migraine my idea of having someone have to be there to massage the back of his neck is inspired oh, by around. James Cagney yeah, in well, White Heat. Like, if there's any yeah, old school yeah, movie uh, buffs out there yet, that no. know that movie, you know what I'm talking about. Tox, thank you for the tier three. Yeah, 24 yeah. months, two years, dude. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Who? Fuck, man, it triggers me that no one knows James Cagney. <sighs> but they know Humphrey Bogart. Bullshit. <laughs> I think I'll do rolls for the for the migraines. That movie nerd come back out, man. You know it. Love movies. I, I, if I was going to do like a podcast or something, it'd be about movies. Up of the world, Ma. You misquoted it. We gave your fucking time to shine, and you misquoted it. It's made it, Ma. Top of the world. You sound like a damn fool when you say it wrong. All right, send Harry ahead. Pete, I want you to see if you find his telegram. No. Okay, Biff Tannen. <laughs> How old am I? 34. Archie, do you have it? Oh, rabbits? Oh, yeah, of course I do. I think. 
No, I don't. Uh, I don't have it on my contest. Let's see if he sent me a telegram at once. See, I've got... No. No, I'm afraid not. Fuck. He might have sent me a telegram. But I've got a feeling... He... Hmm... If he, if he sent me a telegram before, it was unmarked and it was just information saying, you know, don't come to Van Horn. He didn't put a it's name fine, or anything, so yeah. It's fine. He's got no reason to avoid Van Horn. He'll pop up sometime. Yeah, he will. Not you. I sent you that telegram you requested. Appreciate it. Is this my horse? He sent you like a drawing of a penis. So you can get your dick back? <laughs> I want to say a joke, but it's too lighthearted. You got a question, Pete. What's better, having no dick or your dick? That's, a good oh, question. that's questionable. That is, uh, that is a question. Uh, I don't know, though. I feel like I still rather have a dick, even if it is a little, little tiny little, little, is little dick. Is what you have, is, could that count? Stop or? talking about it now. What, my little dick? Want me to stop? Okay. All right. Little Pete. Yes. How much On the did street. you get out? I was waiting for you to tell me how I much you needed. I want $500. Town is fucking empty. <sighs> I need to stop at the uh wait, wait, do you get knives at the general or the fucking gun store nowadays? I don't remember. Need to, get, need to get a knife or a hammer. I feel like that's going to be more of a weapon for Wallaby than the gun right now. At least until he's, uh, practiced. Archie, let me grab with you for a moment. Oh, actually, we're not going anywhere. Yo. Hey, cool. How many people on the server? Let me check. It is New Year's. Yeah, there's only 67 online. I don't blame it. It, yeah. is, it is New Year's, man. People have lives. It's only us. They're the delinquents over here. <laughs> We're a bunch of fucking delinquents, man. Oh, do I get a knife or a hammer? Machete? Um, oh, I've never used a machete. That could be cool. Yeah, a little bit of that. Too. Let's get a machete and throwing knives. Throwing knives. Throwing knives. Wait, do you get? Them? You might have to get them at the gun store. Yeah, I'm right. It's booked. It's booked. Okay. Damn. Potentially. Yeah, I think maybe gun store. You gotta respect the kind of thing. Damn. Are they still talking about his fucking dick? Oh my god, I shouldn't have brought it up. My hips and knees cracked just walking upstairs, yeah. dude. My my fucking knees cracked just getting yeah. out of bed. <laughs> I get up, dude. I wake up, I get out of bed. I'm already fucking done for the day. It's enough for me. How many can you carry? Is it five? Give, me, give, give it, give it to me. I'll give it to him. Oh, he's right behind you. Okay, never mind. I thought he was on Get out of bed. <laughs> Then again, I did say 67, which isn't a lot. However, prime time is still start. It's just starting now, so I think we'll get over 100. Which it doesn't really matter because we're not going out and doing anything crazy anyway. It's a lot of internal stuff. 
So we don't need, like, it, it's, it's totally fine. I mean, it shouldn't affect us really at all. What's the plan now, kid? I have somewhere to go. Major back in Van Horn. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, we stick together, kid. Even from a distance. Is that August? Do we have dynamite? Yep. How much of it? Uh, we have one prepared and we have, uh, I believe three or four nitro, uh, all scattered around people. Some issue with profanities and comments. Um, yeah, man, this is a PG-13 stream. Never swear here ever. I thought he's right next to his dad. Is he not? I know Emmett's here. Oh, wait. They put him here, did they? Oh, they put him here. I thought they put him next to his dad. He's facing the clubhouse. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Because when the funeral was happening, they had his body up there. That's what confused me. My bad. Actually, no. No, he wouldn't stand this way. He wouldn't stand this way. He'd stand this way. You know, you're a motherfucker. Leaving me out here. Promised me that you would never leave my side. I 
You were my best friend. And you were meant to be here. And I wasn't meant to see you die. I'm gonna give my word to you. And I know you'd probably tell me not to worry about it. You'd probably convince me otherwise, but it's the only thing I know to do. I can't avenge you, it's too late for that. Shop, I knew you were there. I don't know why you're dead or how it happened because apparently no one fucking knows, but I can guarantee you that it wasn't because you weren't good enough. There's no way that coward could get the best of you unless you let your gun down because you loved him. He was not better than you. This time it's on me. Hmm. See, nah, I'm, uh, nah. 
for me, I'd rather have a chicken over beef. Like beef, I find gets a bit old. I. <clears throat> I won that dynamite. Say more. Had a feeling. Mhm. Mm Hold on, to it. Hold oh, on to me. Okay. Trying to destroy this once, Eddie. And everyone's name on this wall would be ashamed to be close to it. Any particular spot right here? Plan to shoot it, right? No, you're gonna light it. Okay. Go ahead. Get it done.
That was uh, a very uh, important moment. What? Very what important say? moment. Nothing. It was gibberish. No death, he's killed yet. Oh. <laughs> uh, for those wondering why we didn't just... That's Alice's hat. That doesn't seem fucking good. Why is Alice's hat there? Oh, there she is. Uh, why we didn't just scratch the name out? Um... One, because then his name is still technically there, just scratched out, and he doesn't want anyone's name associated with him. He wants him completely erased. But also, more importantly, Eddie shot up the wall because he wanted to show that LJ didn't give a fuck. Do you remember the whole reason why he shot the wall was because he thought he was the only one that actually cared about the dead-end kids? And that LJ didn't care? And he wanted to prove a point? We finished what he started, man. He was fucking right. LJ was a selfish motherfucker. And all that was bullshit. So to honor Eddie, we erase the fucking name and we destroy the fucking wall that he tried to destroy. Symbolically as well. That was very important. You thought none of them cared, if I remember. Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, that was very important. Oh, fuck. Um. Do I do this now? I'm waiting a little bit longer. Old LJ loved the kids. post what LJ was a different person. Nah, man, thinking back, even like young LJ was like doing other me. shit with other people while DK was struggling without Wallaby. And I, said that. I remember, man. I remember he was always half out the door since the fucking start. That was a constant thing with LJ was he was always halfway out constantly. What the fuck are you doing here? Getting a whiskey! Alvin. Where's Alvin? Pardon? Fuck it. Can you two get that fucking furry piece of shit in the saloon game the fuck out of Van Horn? There's a furry in the oh, saloon? Oh, for God's sake. Is, like a wild hey, animal? Hey, hey. What? Is it fucking cabbage? I don't fucking know. But I don't want him in Van Horn. I brought him here so... Well, I didn't bring him it's here. It's not cabbage. I told... Oh, okay then. I need to get my fucking stew. He distracted me with his nonsense. <laughs> Fuck, I need some, uh, I need to get some new water as well. Time to get some clean, fresh water from here. Button. Right next to the dead horse. That looks like my horse. That's fucking disturbing. Definitely not going to die from this. Yum. <laughs> Me fucking machete. <laughs> that was a cool scene with the uh, the dynamite. That was fucking sick. I loved all of that. Oh, he's gone. Fantastic. Oh, I can put the alerts back on. My bad, guys. My bad. I, Silda. Thank you for the tier one sub, brother. Brand new subscriber. Thank you, mate. Nom, 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 nom. That was so sick. Pig getting clothesline by the pole when he ran. Spurs is my daddy. <laughs> yeah. 
Happy oh, New that's kind of DG in a nutshell, right? Like it's serious RP. You know, we got some humor as well. You get a splash of laughs, kind of all be fucking dreary and depressing. You know what I mean? You have the bandages over the eyes. Oh, thank you, man. If I could, if I could, I'd have it so it's only over one eye. Um, but for now, this is the best thing we got. We might get new clothes in the future. I don't know. If we do, that'll be hype. But you know, till then, this is this is sufficient. It works. <sighs> Drinking it up, aren't we? <laughs> Dude, just work for me, Alice. Just work for me. There he is. This fucking fairy guy still there. Okay. You. Yeah. There's a furry motherfucker in the saloon, I told Dakota and Pete to get rid of him. They're doing it too fucking calmly for my liking. Could you get this motherfucker right. out of Van Horn? Go who? on. Right Go then. on. Good luck, Stank. Hey. He's going. Actually, he's, going. he's going. He's going. Don't he's keep going. him here. He's going. Okay. Keep him going. We're going to hurt him like a sheep that he he's, like he's, 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 Yeah, he's going to get him out of town. This is perfect. Keep this moving. is fine. His name is Stink. Yeah, why am I not surprised? Oh, stink? I thought you said sink. No. Stink, like stinky. Oh. I wish, I wish you hadn't told me now. I would have been calling him sink. That was like a rememberable name. <laughs> stink is pretty rememberable as well. Kicking him out of Van Horn. Uh, fuck. I'll probably never see him again. Let's hope. We can probably hope. going to round that corner and catch a bullet. Hopefully. Oh god. Do you not have a horse? Oh. He's, he's gonna have a long walk. Yeah, we sent him to Blackwater. Mm, Dakota, I want you to join me for a moment. I need to give you something. Sure. Don't fuck me up, man! Should I call mine or can I just ride on yours? Just ride on mine. Aren't you cold? Yeah, but it helps me. It numbs me. Yeah. Six minutes until New Year's here? Oh, hell yeah, man. Happy New Year. Seven hours left, yeah. I really timed the fucking stream really poorly.
sign you. What is it? The sign. to Duke. I am unable to ride him, but he is my best horse. And it would be a shame if he was to waste away here in a stable. He is strong. He is fast. No horse has gotten me away from things that I've done more than him. And I want you to have him. Thank you. Yeah. I'll take good care of him. Come with me. And I want you to call him over. Sure. Just give me one minute. strong horse, so you need to be careful, otherwise he gets a little excited. Yeah. There, there. He likes sugar. I remember. Yeah. I think he's the most well-fed horse in the crossing. Yeah. He always took good care of him. He, he's got me out of a lot of trouble. Jump one up. You know, sometimes after you would go to sleep for a while and then he'd be kicking around town, I would take him for some rides. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he will do for you what he's done for me for so many years. I'm and sure that he will. Been through a lot with him. You have? I rode him with the kids. You sued him. Thank you. Take him for a ride. And I'll see you back in Van Hall. Bye.
Whew. In Arabian, I think. I think Omen's a, a, a good size horse for him. Duke was just a fucking tank. He was such a such a big fucking horse, you know. It was like it was too much. It's too much. This is a good horse for him. Ah, oh, boy. Not gonna kill Sheriff. He was gonna kill Sheriff to get to heart, but that's not really a thing anymore, so there's no use killing it. Might as well keep it as a reminder. What am I gonna do with Pilgrim? I don't know. I don't know, I might give it to someone else. I'm not gonna give away everything in one day. Pilgrim, I don't wanna ride Pilgrim because I think he's just, he, I, I like to roleplay that he's a really old horse. Dotty! Thank you so much for the five kids subs. Same thing. It's like where you Happy New Year! To the point where Happy New Year! Thank you so much. We're now less than fifty away from three thousand. Thank you so much for the love. Happy New Year! Give him the Alvin. <laughs> Give him the Alvin. Versus Not my the daddy. Day. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Make that less than 40. Thank you. Bert is my daddy. God, he looks terrible without a fucking beard. <laughs> Where's the code at? Show me map. Why? Okay. Just asking. That's how. Wasn't worried or nothing. You smell like you've been <laughs> I um I might put my head down. You'll put your head down. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna be here for the New Year's festivities. Uh, no. Why, what you got planned? That's fair. Nothing. Go to sleep. Alright, I'll see you guys. Boy, oh boy. News for Riley is like an hour. Yeah, yeah. Happy New Year's! Three minutes in. Hell yeah, man. 2024, welcome to the future, bro. Only one around who would remember Pilgrim would be Lucille, I think. Was I riding? I think I was riding Lucille. <laughs> yeah, I was riding Lucille as I was riding uh, Pilgrim. My bad. <laughs> uh, that was an accident. <laughs> Have fun. Get really fucking drunk. Mm. Goodbye. Has my sub counter frozen? No, it takes it takes about five minutes to update. It doesn't do it live on like the uh, on the spot. It, it takes it takes a little little time. It'll update. Don't worry. Not the day. My day. Oh, score stupid. Da -na 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 -na. Holy cow! A first time gifter, gifting at ten. That's a lot of gifts for the first time, man. Thank you so much, score. Happy New Year, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for helping march towards 3K, dude. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Versus How far are we daddy. away now? I don't know, like 30, 20, 30, something like that? I don't know. I know that Scout gets out at 10 p.m. Eastern. What time is it Eastern right now? Oh, God. He's looking at me. <laughs> Oh, shit. There it is. Rydrek with the 30 gifted subs. We hit 3,000.
thousand, dude. Thank you so much, Ride Direct, dude. Ah, three k. Do you have something to say, Mr. Larson? Oh my fucking god! Not really. You're just staring. Yeah, don't worry. No, oh, I'm not worried. You know what? Let's go have a talk in the wrong store. Would you like? Yes, I would like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Level four hype train. How did that fucking happen? You're so mean. You're so mean. It's Dakota. Oh, the. F Sorry, I took a while. Fucking jump scare. You're right. Holy shit. Thank you so much for the love, guys. Mr. Last with 20. You guys are too much. Thank you so much. Appreciate the love this year. It's been uh, incredible. I think it's been my most fun year of streaming. I've had a lot of fun this year. And here's to another another fun year, I hope. I hope. Been doing this for three years now on this server. Three years, right? Fuck, man. Well, we're approaching three years. Hox, thank you for getting out a sub. Going for 10 years here. Yeah. Dude, I'd be lucky to be a streamer in 10 years, let alone be on, you know, on the same server. But yes. ATV. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the 10 as well, bro. Shit. This oh. is my daddy. Give me one minute. I'll be right there. All right. Holy shit. I'm waiting for the update. That's fucking hype, guys. Thank you so much. Cannot thank you enough. Versus my daddy. Go to the throne. <laughs> you sub goal. <sighs> nah, man, we've reached the goal, bro. I mean, I'll change the number just for aesthetics, but I do not. I do not need anything more. You guys stuff. have more than enough supported me. Thank you. Rambo Lord be good. Super Thank you for the daddy. five gifted subs as well. Top of ATV subs. You know, we've reached the goal, guys. We've reached the goal. I know the number's not there yet, but we've 100% surpassed it. Thank you. For how long have you been streaming now? It's been many years. I started... I think I started in... Tw is my daddy. Oh, 2016? 2016? I believe my, when, when I first streamed, but I wasn't a streamer. I was a YouTuber. I didn't start doing like proper streaming until three years ago. Uh, I, well, then again, no, I no, it's been daddy. more like five years, but I've been a lot more active the last three years than I ever was before when I was juggling both. Ugh. Today's been a very uh, important day. A lot of very key moments and stories and um we're setting we're setting the the chessboard right now um i think it's i think it's playing out perfectly if i do say so myself i think it's intriguing where this is all going i've been following since reign of king's days i don't regret it oh my god it's a long time ago i streamed that as well yeah that was a lot of fun back back in the day man That was a happy new year. Thank you, man. Happy new year to us, to you as well. I'm going to try my best to be here Versus for Eastern daddy. Standard Time New Year's. I mean, I have to reach the fucking goal. We're on 3,038. I'll update the number. However, that's the goal, man. That's that. We, we hit the fucking goal. Appreciate that the love, guys. Daddy. Happy new year. We're going to be here till uh, to midnight. It's going to be a long stream, but that's my fault because I started way earlier than I should have because I wasn't using my brain. <laughs> wasn't using my brain. Burtz is my daddy. Fuck you. Yeah. 
I have a normal size head. Thank you very much. This is my daddy. <laughs> what did he say? He said I have a fat head. That's rich. What you mean that's rich? <laughs> you saying I got a fat head? I said you got a fat everything. Not true. My penis is not fat. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. I mean, it's not long. Nor is it fat. <laughs> Burns is my daddy. <laughs> I can't with these people, man. No. Window scout and get on. Today. Today. I don't know exactly what time. What time is it Eastern, guys? At I can telegram him and ask. In four hours? Jesus. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I fucked myself. <laughs> I see. I appreciate the dynamite, Pete. I know you work hard for it. I don't worry about it. I had a feeling you'd be needing it. You're very welcome. <laughs> mm, not the most plain get away uh yeah <laughs> well not gonna lie while i'll be i'll tell you the truth a little bit embarrassed by this but while you were away i had an accident oh god what in a bank what? i forgot about that fucking thing what happened we were in Blackwater Bank doing a job. Job went reasonably well, apart from the fact that I uh, didn't get out of the way quick enough. And I was caught on the tail end of the explosion. It blasted me into a wall. I had a concussion. I didn't know where the fuck I was. I, wo I woke up and, like, I was confused. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I yeah. see. You have done yeah. this many times. How do you... How do you let that happen? Well... <laughs> I think what... What, it, what they told me was that the door hit me. Like, the blast slammed the door open and that, <laughs> for, like, hit me and blasted me into the wall. Because I stopped to tell the two people who were right next to the door to get the fuck out, and then it exploded. I made a very short fuse this that time. Ron. I am... But wasn't my smartest, or wasn't my best day. I my finest moment. Dabbling with the idea of... hiring Alice. All right, for what? Find Eli. Sorry, say that again? To find Eli. Ah. That would work, probably. We have our own priorities here to build up Van Horn. Matt is too invested in it. Too dangerous to let him go out. But if I hire someone else from the outside to do the work, bring him back here, I'll pay her. Gives us disconnected from whatever happens out there. Let's us focus on what's truly important, Van Horn. Tell me. What is your vision of Van Horn? Huh.
Hmm. Suppose my vision of Van Horn is... Glad you enjoyed the VOD. Is somewhere free from the state. Somewhere that all can come. But they know exactly what they're walking into. There ain't, no, there ain't gonna be no law around here. Man, on his freedom. Van Horn is everything. There is nothing more important than what we do here. We are doing great work. Everybody to be dedicated to the cause. To fight. To die if need be for freedom. Because nothing, Pete, is more important than a man's freedom. Would you not agree with that? Right, he think for 25 months, man. I do agree with that. Good. I'm gonna be bringing in fresh faces. We are low in number. Find dedicated souls, lost souls looking for purpose, and we will show them the way together. Agree. This, this place. This sanctuary from the laws outside. This is our legacy. They will speak of those who built up Van Horn forever. People who govern protect the weak. 
the weak grow in number as the strong dwindle away, protecting them. Halo? No, 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 it's not, it's not Halo. Dude, they're just so quiet listening to this fucking maniac. <laughs> you know what he's thinking? Fuck, By the man. Way, Wild, I got to bed with this way. guy? Uh, not sure you've been made aware, but... I made the decision, we all made the decision to bring Wesley truly into the fold. There's one of us now. Really now? And you decided this without me? Yes. Why? You did that mm. boy no favors. Once because you we... are in, you are in till the end. His father has disdain for us, a hatred for me. His loyalty. To the cause to Van Horn has not been tested. Sure, he is capable, as many are, but is he truly dedicated? I believe that what you're saying is right. We have not particularly tested him on this, but his general dedication to us and to he's Van good Horn oh in no the past. he's good you don't understand where God I'm coming knows from how many months how many years mm, always you shown dedication to doing work there's no doubt about that but I had one last test for him and you decided to bypass Who voted this I decision? Did. We all did. You voted for this. I wouldn't necessarily say that it was a vote. And I think that saying we would include you. She says it wasn't a vote. Interesting. <laughs> How so? Dude, I just want to zoom in on uh, his face when he says that. The time that I heard about it was a conversation that was going on between you and Scout. Um, and it was brought up as uh, an idea. And then I went to sleep and the next day I woke up and Wesley was already been telling me the good news. 
<laughs> Just throw him under the wagon, Dakota. Love it. So this one's a. I don't no, 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 no. <laughs> Dakota. I'm curious because I know I've asked you about Wesley before. <laughs> sure. I've asked you if you would support that, and you've said yeah. Yeah, I think that Wesley so is. So you voted. <laughs> so you so voted. don't tell me that I didn't <laughs> take your thoughts into account. So you voted. Thinking a man for is good for something is completely different than absolutely agreeing <laughs> to something, Pete. You said you liked him, so you sure, voted. Sure, I think he's <laughs> capable. Sure, I think that he's fine. That's gold. Right, right, right. Okay, well, ain't fuck, no it vote. Then. fuck it then. I made the decision. He deserves it. More than, more than fucking most. More than. <laughs> then who? Oh. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Exactly. Then who? You know fucking who, Wallaby. And don't act like you you always bring us into the decision to make Jasper part of the group. To make fucking you know who part of the fucking group. We concurred. We never were asked. At least I fucking did the fuck the people the satisfaction getting their opinion. Mm. Whether it was a vote or not, Coda. You know best, Pete. I know you do. No, you do not. I don't know your plans, no. But I know you do have plans. Because you told me that. It's going to stress Davey out. Oh, I don't want to stress Davey out. Don't tell me, me that, man. Father, and I'll welcome him 
with open arms. That is the cost. He does that. Then I know that he is fighting for the cause and not for his bank account. So be it. Do you think he'll get it done? I have no doubt. him in prematurely so you give him the job very well he does not talk to me about it I do not trust anyone other than all of you I will not be connected to what he has to do make it happen Will do. Good. You have faith in the boy. I understand that. I think he's rash. I think he sometimes makes uh, decisions for himself without put it, putting us first. However, however, there have been many times that have proven the opposite. Many times that he has gone out of his way for us, made decisions based on us. And in my eyes, he has proven himself al already. However, I don't disagree with you, Wallaby. If, if you had this in mind, then uh i yeah i don't have no problem with that i understand your urgency given the circumstances involved in my arrest and uncertainty i do not blame you but for future reference whether I am here or in Sisigo, you want someone in, I will hear you all out. When you come to me, I will not be overstepped. I understood. I'm sure the kid will do a good job. Wesley's dead ass stone cold super super lol. Bro, this is 100% more interesting. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. It's RP, man. It's all story. Right. Any other business? Uh. Yeah. Uh. It's not too important. Darling. Have you met Darlin? He hasn't. Okay, he hasn't. Well, Darlin is an Irish fella. He, he's Irish, right? And no, uh, right. Just fucking <laughs> fuck that up, right? He well, actually, he, he's Canadian. Okay, well, he's a Canadian Irishman. He's, he's definitely got an Irish accent. Goddamn. Apparently, that's a Canadian accent, actually. What? Who the fuck is Darlin? Oh, I don't question it. Like the Dalek? Oh, okay. Well, exterminate. He, uh, Sorry. He has a. Uh, we, we've given him the go-ahead to basically run out of the trading store, the general store. Sort of like what the Pavi did before they, uh... I've been a few times. I've got They decided that their time here was over. The Pavi. Mm-hmm. Yes, we... 
went into Rhodes to ask to make sure that they were not going to be operating it out of there before we uh, offered it to Dolan. He's the fellow with the the pump action. Mm, the clean one. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that us lending that shop to him will will be able to pump the price ahead? down. Like eleven thousand, twelve thousand dollars. They're trying to sell a fucking bomb action for twelve thousand. Because some fucker that, that, is it, buying it for fifteen thousand, and he wants yeah. to give it to us for twelve thousand. People are paying it. I, th well, this then. is the crazy fucking it's thing. It's stupid. It makes we'll me run. upset. We'll run. Well, then we you know why? No, you know why? Because <gasps> that's ridiculous. Because while we're suffering down here with our jobs and our bank jobs and our fucking moonshine mm. runs and whatever the fuck we do to make money everyone out there doing fucking delivering planks of wood for hundreds of dollars hundreds fucking thousands they probably make so much money <laughs> we should just rob everyone from now on we should just rob everyone because they're all fucking hey calm down rich. you're gonna start dry heaving oh, what we're doing we make a deal with this darling fellow. Tell him to make the sale of whoever wants to pay $15,000. We'll crash that little meeting. We'll take the gun and the money. We'll pay him $8,000 plus. Jesus three quarters Christ. of the money that the fucking guy has. So at the end of the day, he makes over twenty thousand dollars. We get the shotgun. What, uh, uh, what? That's painful. Fuck him. <laughs> no, it's I don't. I don't give a fuck about him or or fucking then over what whoever. Is painful then. The fucking twenty grand for a shotgun. You didn't hear what I said. What do you mean? I did hear what you said. You the said guy you is gonna pay fifteen thousand for a shotgun, yes. Right, right, yeah, so absolutely. Darlin take the makes a meeting. We right, crash right, yeah. the meeting. We take the money and the gun. We leave. We then meet with Darwin. We'll give him 12, eight grand 000, plus twelve thousand, and we'll also pay an extra eight thousand dollars out of out of our money to make twenty. Exactly. Right, but we're paying eight. The 15 is in our money, Pete. Plus 12,000, 15. We're only paying five. To be honest with you. We give him the $15,000. Five on top of that. We pay 5,000 for a shotgun. He makes 20 grand. Uh, so yeah. No, I, I, get, I get where you're coming from. Mm. Or we I was could just, just thinking kill about this darling fella yeah, and take it. that, <laughs> or just like completely fuck them over, take the shack. Yeah, mind you, the darling does seem all right. I don't care. Dakota, you like him, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like him all right. I like shotguns more. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can convince him. Some things are more important than money. Yeah. I don't, I mean, you're not, you're not wrong, you're not wrong. Still says the Discord link doesn't work. I put a new one in this morning, man. I, I mean, I think it's insane that people ain't that much money. I've been like, and everyone who's coming to town with an elephant rifle, I will pay you free grand. Mm -hmm. That's it. Not budget. That's how much the elephant rifle is worth to me. And I believe to it, it should be to everyone. Unless you're going to put it on a mantel piece around. and look at it. Okay. Wow! Great. I'm sure you'll have fun with that. Right. Whoever is putting it to use, which I think you plan to do with a shotgun. I don't know. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't, I don't think you should be paying a fucking crazy amount. But anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll get the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Thanks. It's Wild RP whitelisted only. What? Uh, is it? I got no idea. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you're talking about the meta chat? Davey's just ranting about Sooner the economy. Sooner or later, we're bound to come across one in a bank. Hmm. 
We should be more careful who we put on those jobs. I want to outsource. We raise the dynamite, the long picks. We can go on the banks, but we do not do the safes. That way we do not leave evidence against us. We find safe crackers. Give them a small cut. Cost them nothing. We provide the dynamite. What do you think? If we do not play things smart, law will find a reason to destroy this place. We know how fast Agreed. things roll and get out of control. Agreed. Sorry, I'm a little bit confused. Could you, could you just say that whole Is thing about the lockpickers again? <laughs> or the I banks in general? We uh, you, I got confused. Safe crackers. Right. So we do not leave prints behind in a bank. So <laughs> you, that's we hard. provide the dynamite. We provide the lockpicks. Safe crackers gets a small percentage of the take. We get away from the crimes without being connected. Mm-hmm. I, I, I agree with that. That's clever. Excuses to raid Van Horn. Agreed. Oh, uh, I'll meet some people, some ambitious gangs like the Black Hats. See what we can muster up. Plenty of young crooks out there looking for an opportunity. We need it to be known that you want a job, you come to Van Horn. Sleek. Sleek would be perfect, but no. Sounds good. Good. Also she want to do something with moonshine, but that's not my speciality. We have that what, wagon. What do you want to do? Correct. Yep. Well, the wagon is intricate, very important for the moonshine business, right? Yes. However, we have not really been able to put it to use. Mm. Well, what I'm saying is perhaps we can use that to our benefit. Maybe young up and coming criminals can't afford wagons. Maybe we can provide that. Hire out the bitch? That's right. I don't know about that. Well, I don't know if I can let another man handle my bitch like you that. Come on now. You can go along for the ride. I don't give a damn. We can all go for the ride. Maybe that's part of the service. You get a wagon and protection. Mm. We need money for that wagon. We invested too much to let it sit there and rot. True. I'm True. just trying to find ways to... I mean, get more RP. This do be a bit rotten. For people. Like, be more of a quest giver. You know what I mean? We'll fix her up, though. Alright. Make sure she's in good condition. I want you to run the numbers. How much people can make from moonshining. Maybe we have a day where we provide a service to multiple people. It is a big wagon, after all. Maybe we have multiple jobs at the same time. Let's say four people have moonshine work. We provide the wagon. All those people give mm. us a cut. We might make a few hundred dollars just by escorting them around. Do you see what I mean? 
Yep, yeah. I agree. I do have an idea regarding, like, well, hmm. Basically, us, us being a bait wagon for the Shine Run, but that would... That could ca cause us some problems. Essentially, we would pay for the rental of a smaller wagon, load it up with all the moonshine, set the motherfucker on their way, and then we would ride down the most obvious route in the biggest wagon, all geared up. I think you just put it all in one wagon. See us. They'd think, oh, look, it's the Dead End Gang doing giant. Let's go harass them. Mm, honestly, I think we put it all in the bit. All of it. Okay. The way law uh, respond to moonshines are very rare. They ride down six deep. They see us, four or five of us, on a wagon. They're not going to bother us. Not worth the risk. Actually, I've just had a great idea. Mm. Uh. I mean, you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, is what you're thinking? You were thinking about outsourcing the guys who were going to actually deliver it for us, but give them what the wagon. I'm saying is, provide. What I'm saying is, let's say we make, I don't know, Thursday moonshine day. All right. Right. Then, in that circumstance, we would provide a service to multiple yeah. people that if you want to partake in moonshine day. You come to Van Horn, we can bring up to five. Those five get on the wagon with you. You take them, you let them make their shine. You then have them put it all on the wagon. You then drop it all off. Could be all over the place or it could be similar spots depending mm -hmm. on what jobs they pick up. They're going to all make six to seven hundred dollars each right something like that depending on the number of stops uh yeah and depending on like how mm. long they stick around for obviously because all right, we'll go each of these runs is timed individually so mm. uh, but all of it could be the same kind of area though is what i'm saying so let's say you have four let's say five hundred dollars per person Right now, that's a lower number. It's going to be more like 600. However, 500 per person, five people, that's two and a half thousand dollars. Now you tax them maybe a hundred dollars each for the protection in the wagon. You're making five hundred dollars just by riding around on a cart. You don't even have to make fucking shine. Do you see what I mean? Yep, I do see what you mean. Uh, I don't see any benefit in us gathering a bunch of people to do it all at once. Uh, How does he not see like that? Well, like individually, because like I said, these 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 time uh, these runs are time. So if they, as soon as you pick up a run, like one of the big runs, you're on a time. Mm -hmm. I know. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But if they're all the same job. Well, it won't be. You don't know that. Well, I mean, you can't... Yeah, but you can't, like, base the idea on the fact that they might be, either they... they well, then you take it by de case definitely by case, won't be. You, you find out where the deliveries are, and if that case, you could rent out a second wagon. Whatever the fuck you gotta do. We can figure it out. Well, we can figure it out. We are providing protection in a fucking wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many fucking shine is good? All their shit taken. All their wagon breaks down or whatnot. Just I'll leave it with you. You're the shine man. You can run the numbers if it's even worth it or not. Get back to me on it. Asian guy, thank you for the 43 months, brother. And Ben no, Tilly! I think it will be worth it. Happy New I'll Year, brother. Good. Happy New Year. So, like, say, say. I don't know, so-and-so comes to us with I'm just thinking RP -wise. his crate or maybe multiple crates full of fucking mash. 
we could essentially take it you know use an entire day yeah it would be an entire day but we could deliver all of that and provide protection and we would make uh, well yeah we, we need i need to think about the numbers but, we, but i'm pretty sure this would be good mm. all right well you can screw over that and let me know in the new year uh, have either of you heard of someone named Barton? No. Yes. What do you know of Barton? Uh, they're a dead little orphan or something like that. The, uh... Oh, well. There was like a button and a... I wanna, I wanna say mittens, but I don't think that's right. There was button and another super name, and apparently they were two little orphans, and they both got murdered. How long ago? Um... Maybe... Two, three months. It was during a whole, uh, what was it? The Bartons or something? They were killing orphans. I see. Well, then, the law were interrogating me in Sissica, and they seemed to know an awful lot about some murders. They specifically knew who killed your life. This is diff different Eli? Yes. Okay. Jasper's Eli. They knew about that. I confessed to the crime for Eli, but they did not charge me. So they know. Now we're thinking who was there. Who could talk. There was us. There was Jasper. There was Kitty, who is dead. There is Nancy. And there is George. When I pressed on law about a rat, the undersheriff blamed it on someone named Button. A Your dead orphan? Yes, now you tell me this. Pete, answer me this question. Since the law blamed it on Button, what does that mean? Uh, I'm afraid uh, I'm, I'm lost on that. I'm not sure I follow. All right. It means that whomever the rat is, is still alive. So it cannot be Kitty. If it was, they would have used her name instead. But they used someone dead to protect someone. They also knew about that. What's his name again? The one that I hammered. Bolo. Bolo. That was the one that Alvin admitted to, right? Well, that's the thing. Wait, what? When Alvin was speaking to Law about all of those stupid things, he was telling him they had. He was there for Bolo, and he was there for Jojo and everybody else. What I don't know what the hell that boy's been doing. What exactly did he say? I have no I have idea. A I, I have a telegram. Uh, I can go get it right now if you'd like. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Yes, I'd like to see that. I'll come with you. Come on. All right. It, it's it's not like in depth, but it, it it has bullet points of like what exactly he told, or the situations. I remember his name coming on on the law. Oh, they play funny games. Yep, uh, Rabbit was. Questioning me about Bolo as well, and uh, well, 
said that they had the name or they had three people placed there. Now I don't know how true that was. Here's the thing. They were trying to pin me for Bolo, but they couldn't. Yeah, me as well. So, maybe someone saw us leave with the body, which was Moxie. But I don't mm. think she would talk to Law. Even though I shot her. <laughs> Here's the thing. Nancy, George, Moxie, they could all be totally innocent, but we're dealing with a very paranoid individual. Have you, uh, very paranoid. To her That's since gonna be the key. last time you saw her. What? No, I haven't seen her since I shot her in the back. I see. Gaff, go clean yourself off. You filthy. Moxie is alive, yes. She telegrams Wallaby. And Alice is just chilling. I love it. I hope she takes the job, dude. I really hope she does. We'll just make her our assassin. That'd be sick. Can we like hang out for like 10 minutes? I know, well. Just, 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 just here. Before we just go like to the minutes. Program. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like, I feel like, yeah. Go ahead. I'll meet you in Annisburg. Yeah, yeah. Wait, fireworks. 7 p.m. Eastern. Oh, it's happening now, is it? Never mind. Three minutes. Oh, shit. For some reason, I thought it was going to be midnight. I thought they were going to do it at midnight. I guess not. Okay. I wonder if we'll see him from here. Oh, hit you All right. It's midnight EU. I see. So they're going to do it at... Oh, I see. They're going to do it at 7 and at 12. Gotcha. Oh. I see the gap and stretch my legs, bro. Eh. <laughs> Bert's oh. is my daddy. Oh, fuck. Uh. Eh. Fuck me, getting old. <laughs> getting old. I guess we'll see. I don't know if we're gonna see. I don't know. Oh. They might put fireworks over here, but I doubt it. We might. Mm -hmm. We might not see it. <coughs> Has uh, Harry spoken to you since you've been around, Alice? I see. Straight links, thank you for the nine months. I don't wanna... I don't wanna bother her if she doesn't wanna talk to me. Yeah, of you course. You talking to Mel. Harry. If, yeah, if Harry had spoken to Alice Why since she... Why wouldn't she talk to you? She was pretty angry with me the last time I saw her. What because of... It was because we were fighting the bastards. Uh, I know that, uh, Harry and Scout spend a lot of time with the bastards. What is he doing? No, I do not know. <laughs> I hope we see him. I'm sure knowing, knowing, knowing Are we staff, waiting for him to do this? They'll probably make sure I that there's some event or they know this. that people hang out here. They better have oh, we're fucking We're supposed to be going somewhere and uh, he said, One hold minute. on. We got Happy New Year. I don't have a song. I've got nothing prepared. I've got nothing prepared. Maybe yeah, stretching, I don't know. He plays the coder? That would be butt Rito. 15 seconds, actually. Oh, okay, then. I trust you, man. Any second now. It's hit the, it's hit the clock. Where is it? Well, happy new year, EU. Happy new year. 
Well done. You made it. <laughs> Welcome to 2024, boys. Took you long enough, you slow motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to the lighthouse and see if I can see any fireworks. Sure. Mm, I guess we'll all go. See, we're going to the lighthouse to see if there's any fireworks. What a nerd. <laughs> One year closer to GTA 6. Yay, man. Yay. There's not a single fucking firework here, man. Wow, bro. They didn't provide Van Horn with any fireworks. What the fuck? Boo! <laughs> Boo! It's that Van Horn bias, man. They're probably going to provide us with more cover for lore around the outskirts as a celebration. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Obviously. Don't, don't get... Don't get upset with me. I'm just joking, okay? I swear to God. Oh, there they are. I see the fireworks. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. So pretty. Should have bought our own fireworks. Because you can buy. You can buy fireworks. Hell, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. They got Siska fireworks for all the prisoners. <laughs> for all the crooks. The scumbags. Well, isn't that pretty? Seems so, yeah. Much more than last year's. They really upped their game, huh? I wish they made sounds. Lovely. Not really midnight yet, though. Mm -mm. I guess it's New Year's somewhere in the world. Yeah, across the water. <laughs> Over in Mexico. Yep. <laughs> oh, What's that one song? La Cucaracha? Shut up. <laughs> uh. Was it everything you hoped it would be, Alice? <laughs> well... The fireworks, sure, but... That's cool. It would be nice if... I love it. You know. Yes, I know. Pretty! Does this mean I can end stream now? I saw the fireworks, guys. Does that mean I can end? I mean it's over? No. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> no, no, we're sticking around. Can you face cam the camera at Wallaby? Face for a screenshot? Oh, the fireworks. Oh, of course. We made it! Two-year-old character. Oh, the folks are dying. Perfect timing. They're dead. <laughs> ah, shit. Whatever. Such is life. Well, that was lovely. Rolling. Usually they go longer. Isn't it like a tradition that you got to kiss somebody? I'm not kissing either of you. <laughs> Why not, Alice? Because I'm married, Dakota. You can oh, kiss my yeah, ass about too. that. <laughs> I would rather not. <laughs> and plus, you... It's not even midnight yet. Oh, you fucking bitches. You, you fucking... Well, then you've still got time to find somebody to kiss your ass. <laughs> Where's Pete? <laughs> Where's Scout? I'm sure Scout would be honored. <laughs> Not really Scout's thing to be the one doing it. You can get Peyton and get Scout to watch. Let's see some TV. Oh, more. Out of the way.
don't the sound effects for you guys. There you go. Very nice. So beautiful. Almost makes me forget that we're all gonna die soon. <laughs> Sorry, dark sense of humor. I am no humor. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> Let's see some titty! Oh god oh. damn, there's more. They're all over the place, huh? You know what? I this? guess so. Yeah. That's nice. Man, you know, it gives me nostalgia for the... Back. Sometimes the people in Van Horn do know how to party. Yes. You know, without bullets. Yeah, we killed everyone already. Yeah. I've never seen so much death early on. That was ridiculous. Uh, no, yeah, it was a lot. Look at these two. Huh? Enjoying your front row seats. Hey, yeah. Hello. <laughs> she fucking scared a wallaby. Oh, don't blame her. <laughs> Where's Bean? Oh. Vert is my dad. Still going. I sponsored the Vert. Hey, Vetrix. Thank you for 21 months, bro. How are you doing? You guys enjoy the show? No. I am. Oh. Mm. Like halfway enjoying it. It's not even New Year's yet. Fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fuck this guy up. I swear to God, I'm gonna machete his fucking face off. Yeah, happy new year motherfucker there's not even new years yet what the fuck are you talking about what the fuck are oh you wait, yeah but about? somewhere in the world it is well that's fucking nice there was somewhere in the world probably yeah. 11 hours ago where you're dancing then too <laughs> no i didn't think so Come on, we got some fucking work to do. We get them fucking dollars. Listen, grand. I ain't from the future. Well, why are you dancing like you are then? You're right. You're right. You're right. Beautiful dance, Pete. What was that all about? I encourage him. Okay. Oh, don't worry. Just a bit of a premature celebration. That's I'm forcing them all to stay up, man. You do things I'm prematurely a lot. Yeah. I tell you this right now. You are all staying up till midnight with me. What? I don't have it you any other me. way. If you think I'm doing this alone, you've got another thing coming. You do, you're do. you doing it? Oh, God. And you're all doing it, too. We're all doing it. Don't know about that. And then when Scout gets out, he's doing it, too. I'm going to fucking face down in the dirt by then, goddamn. I'm not going to ring, then. Happy New Year, what motherfucker. The um. Um. Uh, what? Um, don't run into me. Do not run into me. Don't have run a into you, Wallaby. Don't run into you. One second. Relog. Hold on. Let me see if bringing it back helps, and then I'll do that. Nice fireworks. Very nice. It's fucking scuffed. Right, I'm gonna relog. Run into Pete, please. Damn it. Okay, relog. Man, I was. Why couldn't staff just let me do my little mini rant about the anti Van Horn thing? Why? Man, you could do a whole stream just looking at this screen here and just seeing all the slash me's and then judging people. Great, never mind. <laughs> Nothing's happening. All right, fuck. Fine, you can't do a whole stream, but it could be a good one one day. Have you logged on to any of your dead characters? No, no. Only on the creative, only, only on the creative branch. I've done that. Glances over to her, 
then back at oh my god what was going on man some sexual content <laughs> nah never mind let's go ah some sexual deviancy for some reason i assumed wallaby got lifetime but now that i saw a stream about him i was proven wrong got lifetime what do you mean in jail oh you fuck oh wrong walk Fix it, fix it, fix it. 70? Uh, I wish you could save these so they just automatically... I guess I, they, they might be doing that, actually. I need you to take me to the stable. Sure. Pete. Okay, I'll meet you there. No, Pete, I need... Uh, what? I'm no, on your horse, no, no! You can't do that with your bad knee, you know... Oh, God. Take me to the stable. De Deaf a big horse. I gotta have a little nap seat. Why? I don't know. I'm tripping balls. Is that in him as well? Did the fireworks fuck it up? <laughs> it's like I, I, like I can't hear nothing. <laughs> it did like fuck I got him cotton up. in my ears. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think the fireworks fucked up the sound, man. Oh god, that's a shame. I'm gonna take this opportunity to take Luna out to the. She needs to go outside, and then I'm gonna get myself a drink, and I'll return in one minute, guys. One to two minutes, okay? All right. Be right back.
What's going on? Uh. Let me just, I'm just playing around with something right now. Give me one second, guys. Get myself situated. Okay. Alright, sorry about that. We're good. I'm going to make a coffee in a little bit. Right now I've got some water. Make sure I got my H2O intake. That way I'm hydrated. Hopefully this the audio is fixed now. I didn't get notified, man. No! Well, that's the beauty of VODs, brother. That's the beauty of VODs. Uh, today has been good, man. It's been good. Uh, pretty much what I was, I was hoping was going to happen would be uh, some story beats. Important stuff. Get things, you know, uh, set up. Nothing too crazy, but some big, important things that have happened today. And we're going to keep riding that wave. We've got some more info to uncover here about Alvin. Um, now, I know that Law brought up Alvin in regards to Bolo. Some people might be wondering why Wallaby's acting like he doesn't know. And I, you'd be right to assume that I forgot, but I actually didn't forget. Um, there's reasons why I want them to think Wallaby don't know everything. And it's part of the paranoia thing, because I want to see how they react and how they give info and shit like that, right? Um, well, the character wants to do that. He's studying everybody at the moment. See how they, see if they spin it. Yes, exactly. So... Um, I know that Law brought it up with Bolo. Um, but I brought it up. I, I kind of shift, I shift this information around a little bit. Because Wallaby wants to have all the cards while not having everyone know the cards, right? Is she on Duke? Yeah, she is. Alright, I'll wait here. Alright, I'm gonna go to the gun store. Do you need anything? No. <laughs> Should wait a little longer. Maybe I should wait a little longer. Maybe I should wait a little bit longer. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait. I'll wait another 30 to 40 minutes and we'll have another one. Yeah, Wallaby gave uh, Duke to Dakota because he can't ride him anymore. He's too, um, too burly of a horse for his injuries. He's riding a smaller horse now. What's wrong? I'm a dumbass. Ryan, what'd you do? What? Why? You'd have to agree. Oh, I thought you said right. Because I had I had the uh, telegram on my horse the entire time. Well, I see. All right, well, mm -hmm. let's take it to Van Horn. Okay. I have one every hour. You're making me want to have one now, man. <laughs> You're feeding my addiction. Why does Pete look like the son of Odin? Because he is the son of Odin. What the fuck is he doing? What are you doing? You know what? I'm keeping away from you. I'm fine. I'm not drunk. You're drunk. Thought that was law. I gotta be honest with you, man. Keep away from him. 
<laughs> yeah, look at him. I'm fully caffeinated at all times. Probably why I don't sleep. Yeah. I went through a really, really bad phase. How long, how long ago was that, guys? Was that like... That's a terrifying man like a year ago now? I went through that fucking sleep crisis. Maybe it was less than a year. About a year? Yeah, it, I was completely fucked, man. I, I, I couldn't sleep. I could not sleep. I was getting like one to two hours a night and I was still streaming every day. And, uh, nightmare. Hey. You're scaring me. Oh, dark times, man. I had to go to the doctor. I had to get. To, I had to go to the doctor and get like sleeping medication, and just like take three or four days off streaming, and just medicate myself to get sleep, and then eventually I regulated. Thank God, because that was fucking brutal. Touch me. I fucking dare you. Oh my lord. Touch me. That thing's long. What? Oh, Touch you. I'm you're skating on thin fucking ice. What do you mean? I haven't done anything. You bumped into me. I bumped into you. That's right. Did I knock you off your horse? Did I knock you off your horse? <laughs> Did I knock you off your horse? No, I didn't. You're lucky you're a... Never mind. Was he going to call me a cripple? Was he going to call me a cripple? Oh, you. <laughs> he was, he was going to say, you're lucky you're a cripple. That's what he was going to say. Cancel him, guys. Cancel him right now. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make a coffee. I fuck it. I've 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 given in to my temptation. Uh, do you guys think? Do you guys think Harry's gonna tell Scout what I what Wallaby did? Do you guys think he, she's gonna do that? No. Not. Yes, I hope so. No, I hope so as well. I hope that she tells Scout, and I hope that Scout tells me, because then, then, then I'm going to kill Harry. Wallaby will 100% kill Harry if Scout comes to him and knows. 100%. There's zero doubt in my mind. He'll kill Harry. The part of me wants him to do it for the drama, but I don't really want to kill Harry because she'll make me feel fucking horrible. She will make me feel so fucking bad. I'll feel like the worst human being ever. You know what we should do? Make Scout kill her. <laughs> Have Scout do it. <laughs> yeah, just toss her off the fucking bridge, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss Harry off the fucking the bridge just so Sarah has to roleplay the. down the fucking chasm. <laughs> nah, nah, I wouldn't do that to her. That'd be too traumatizing. I'll take her down to the rug store instead. <laughs> hey, we got, we got a spot into the floorboards that's vacant right now. Since my girlfriend can't be there, might as well be scouts. Your joy in being the devil is so funny. I got I got a joke about it, man, because it's fucking depressing otherwise, isn't it? Otherwise, I'll just get depressed. Having time off from him actually really helps. Having time away from it all. Because it's heavy shit, man. And I'm glad I've got uh, a couple of characters on the sideline. that I So I don't have to do wallaby constantly. So I can have those breaks for those light-hearted streams. It's good for you guys, too. I got a palate cleanser, right? 
Because all this shit we're doing today is some really good high tier fucking storytelling. Like, it's great. I love where this is all going. But every now and again, you just want to rob a bank and fuck around, right? I think that'd be healthy for all of us. Just to like, let it sit and marinate and we go do some other crazy shit. All right. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, we got the telegram and then they just decided, you know what? We're not going to take it to Wallaby. We're just going to fuck off somewhere else and do something. I don't know where they went, man. Like, where did they go? We're meant to read the tell... <coughs> It's like they fucking forgot, man. They're like Daenerys. They just forgot. This fucking guy standing there on the goddamn thing, man. Is he AFK? He must be AFK, because it doesn't make any sense. Uh, been re-watching the Bazvods while you're in Sisica. There you go. A lot of those videos, man. A lot of them. I mean, actually, I say a lot. It's like 100. Not 100. It's like 50 something? 58? Something. Boon. Alright. Yeah, he's AFK. Alright. 54. Yeah. It, it was probably more like 57, but we probably lost a couple of the VODs. Where the fuck did Dakota go? Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. See, I, 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 I want to roleplay more with Alice. But I think it's important that we wait until she makes up her mind in character before we push any more. Like if I push too hard with Alice... Um, then, you know, it, it could fall apart at the seams. So I want to let her decide what she wants. Then if she approaches Wallaby with a yes answer, then we can go to phase two. <laughs> but I feel bad just letting her sit up there, but I've got nothing really to say at the moment without, like, potentially harming the chances of her going along with this. You know what I mean? So I've got, I've got to treat her delicately because she's a delicate little flower. And I want her to be my delicate little flower. With some really spiky thorns on it that can stab people for me. Man, I want to make her like the Grim Reaper. I just send her out to kill people. Like, go, my pretty. Go kill for daddy. No, not daddy. <laughs> not daddy. But you know what I mean. <laughs> I'll give, I'll give Mills an actual reason to be pissed at Wallaby, not this fucking petty gun nonsense, man. What the fuck is going on down here? Weird. I mean, I'm just gonna go into the rug store and just hope that they eventually fucking come up here. Yeah, Happy New Year's if you're in Europe. We're marching towards EU, not EU now, uh, Eastern. We're trucking along. Space trucking. Meme time while we wait. No, I'm going to save meme time for that moment in the stream that we all know is coming when everyone fucks off and leaves me here high and dry. And we got like an hour left on the stream and I'm running on empty, that's when I pull meme review out of my ass and be like, okay, this is going to distract us for a little bit and then I'll pull it out. Right now, we've got RP on the way, so we're going to wait. I haven't watched in like six months. Who is still alive? Oh, God. Uh, pff, bro, I wouldn't even spoil it for you. Like the last six months of Wallaby has been some of the best RP I've ever done in my fucking life. And you absolutely should watch it. I will have to watch the VOD later and to catch the memes. Yeah, I guess so. Go get your meta tags in the Discord and ask them. Yeah, if you got meta questions, 
link under the stream for discord join the discord you have access to the um you get the tag for the me uh, not the meme the um the meta and you can check out the meme channel all that shit do that also if you are into merch not everyone is but some people are we have a brand new merch line for wallaby to celebrate the new year and also um him returning if you type in exclamation point 2024 in the chat there's a link to the merch and some fire fucking art man someone in the discord did it and it's incredible it might be my favorite wallaby merch honestly that on a white fucking shirt and by the way for all the fellow fatties out there it comes in 5xl i hooked you up boys i hooked you up i hooked you up man i'm looking after you 5xl baby <laughs> That's right. That's right. Psychosterope. What? Psychosterope? Is that how you say your name? Thank you for continuing your sub man with me. Appreciate that, mate. Converted from a prime to a tier one. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That looking out? I mean, that. Yeah, that is looking out. How's that not looking out? I'm always looking out. They're just so good. It's so fucking good, man. It might, it's my favorite wallaby design for merch. In my honest opinion, I think it's the best best uh, Red Dead uh, design for, for like a hoodie or a shirt since the um, the Baz one. The good, the bad, and the besmirch. This is the best one. And it's so... It's, it's not technical like at all. It's, it's horse, clean, but man. But I like my horses dead twice. <laughs> Thank you, dude. 5XL? Nice. Now I'll have something to cover my car with. Whoa! Don't be a douchebag, man. Your car at least needs six or seven. Tadpole! Da, 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 that just because her fella is missing all of a sudden she's bringing some other fella to come super sad or that don't sit right with me sorry by the way i uh yeah, i went no, no. i went for a piss and realized oh, I that know. i guess i pissed my thoughts away because <laughs> yeah. i couldn't remember what the fuck we were the doing brain just he came go. out like a kidney stone now didn't it yeah yeah <laughs> it hit some metal and it made a pating sound <laughs> all right so this is from Alvin, yes. Yeah, like so. Basically, Dakota told me that he. Uh, oh fuck this! What took the fall for no, something? No, no, I can't read this. Okay. Dakota's gonna read it for us. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot to ask of me, Wallaby. Yeah, well, better than I. I'm struggling to see it. <laughs> New reason not to read. Yes. Would you like a drink? No, I'm good. Remember his voice, though? Many, many years of abuse. <laughs> and smoking cigars. I, however, will partake. Happy New Year, motherfuckers. Why is there so much word? Mm. Let's see. Him. All right, it says, no problem, of course. Only said exactly what you and S said. Who's S? Scout, I would assume. S? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, S is Scout. Cryptic motherfucker. The story we should tell oh, if we ever got... Wait, 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 wait. Pete, Pete, move the fuck over. Your ass is in my face. Why are you looking at my ass? Because it's right in my face. All right, go ahead. Well, I didn't put it there. I was just standing. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right, I'll restart. Only said exactly what you and said. The story we should tell if we ever got caught to avoid S or D being charged. I want you all to know if this doesn't make any sense, it's Alvin's riding, not my fault. <laughs> Though I did not say anything about any others being involved or their actions, only told them about my actions. Uh, and then it goes to bullet points and it says, I was there for LJ getting shot. It did not say anyone else was there besides them knowing Matt was there. 
LJ was shot and he was with one lady that was knocked out and one other lady was there, but I didn't know what happened to her. Said I did shoot first after they attacked us, but didn't know who I shot. Said on the 30th I was there. Said I did shoot after they attacked us, but I didn't know who I shot. Then I got news and went out hunting to relieve stress. They asked about Edwin being killed and I said I wouldn't comment on the matter. On other matters, I admitted to killing Bolo by myself and sending a tip to law to send a message. Send a, said a deputy sent Bolo to get information and we don't appreciate law sending spies into Van Horn. And that is why I nailed the telegram into Bolo. I did not inform on who the deputy was. That is all they asked about and all I admitted and told them. All right, so this is something that you agreed with him. Huh? Well, he said in the telegram that you and you and Scott made an agreement with him what to say if he was caught. I'm asking you if that is true. Uh, I mean, I, I, we don't ever have conversations of, about what goes on if we're caught. We're fucking dead end we know exactly what to do if we get fucking caught so why does he say repeat that part of the telegram for me this time yeah repeat yeah repeat it <laughs> fucking davy only said exactly what you and s said the story we should tell if we ever got caught to avoid s or d being charged mm, they are d b dakota okay of course. It's <laughs> fucking Christ, man. Oh, so, is that true? I mean, yeah, if he says so. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, I don't remember that fucking conversation. It was probably like a fucking, like a brief, very brief thing. Alright. Yeah, damn. Alright. I don't put that. I, 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 don't particularly remember any big fucking plan or any like information that we were supposed to spill or not mm -hmm. deliberately not spill. Here's the thing. Someone somewhere funked up. I admitted to Eli and Ganon. The law only charged me with Ganon. So they know details they shouldn't. Right. Now, the only ones, not one of us, is Nancy and George. Kitty's dead. Eli's dead. So is my question. Does Nancy, do you think she would tell her sister? I believe um, my memory might be incorrect, but a while back, while it was all happening, uh, Nancy spoke to Scout about something. Uh, and it was something about Nancy telling somebody. Man, we just, I'm about to kill everybody. It. I don't exactly remember what it was. We'd have to ask Scout about it. I'll be honest with you. I am not opposed to just being safe and killing all of them. I don't need a rat chase. Mine just killed the whole damned lot. I mean, problem with that wallaby is we kill the whole damn lot, there's gonna be a whole a whole other damn lot to kill afterwards. Unless they're all completely alone and isolated. Who was there when I killed Ganon? Uh, I, I wasn't. Jimothy. Mm, 
Mother is my daddy. I can't remember if horse was there. It's gone. And it wouldn't be gone. The coward's dead. The Zarvan still didn't talk to him. What's the girl's name? Annie? Annie. I think. Um, I ain't too sure. They both haven't been around town, and the only time that I see Alvin with them is when they're in town. You ain't doing his secret bullshit again now, is he? Not that I know of, no. Good. Mm, I mean, no, 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 not that I know of either. There is just the, uh, his friend cropped him back up. What was his name, Dakota? Chester. Jester? Chester. Chester, sorry. Yeah, apparently his old gang mate. He was like carving fucking signs into poles around the It's a mindfuck, man. It's a fucking mindfuck. Turns out it was this Chester guy and well yeah, I haven't met I haven't met him. He hasn't made his appearance. Have you met him? Hmm. Dakota. Yeah, I have. One. What is bothering me is the button situation. Law, if it was the coward or if it was Kitty, anyone that was dead, they would just say it was them, but they didn't. They made up a fucking lie to protect someone. Yeah. That is what's wrong. Somebody me. who's already dead can't be killed, neither. <sighs> They're not very smart. They could have just used Kitty's name or. The cowards. That would make sense. But this is throwing me off. Someone's yapping. Someone is talking. <sighs> A fucking rat. Everywhere I turn. Nancy's nowhere to be seen. I mean, I honestly thought, thought so too. After that that day, after that fight night, I mean, she did say that she wasn't going to be putting on the fight nights, but I took Hi, that Christmas as she was, but you know, like, you. uh, maybe going out of state for the holidays or something. It and does, I kid. started <laughs> seeing her around here and there. Mm. So, I, you know, I don't know who she talks to, but I'm sure she has a uh, great many friends. You're, uh, what, you think, uh, yeah, her sister. I think the safe bet would be to kill all of them. Mm -hmm. Take them out to the woods. Dump them out there. They're never seen or heard from again. I am becoming sick and tired of pulling on these weeds. Well, I suggest that to cut, to like you dig them up by the roots, as in kill them in isolation, and then we do not speak of it afterwards. It's more complicated than that. What is Alvin's association with those girls? Is he going to... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't is he going to do what has to be done? He fucking better. Yeah, I agree. He, he better. Or else we'll just put him beside him. Where 
is at home. And... He won't be around. He went to sleep. Hmm. Fuck. Okay, he won't be around too. Probably the morning. What I would like to know is if Law knew about Bolo before or after Alvin admitted to it, because Alvin admitting to things muddies up what we can find out. In the Bolo yeah. situation, the only other person that wasn't us was Moxie. She was outside the front door when we took the body out. I see. But again, Law didn't have enough to arrest me on it. You know how they are yeah. with witnesses, if they had one. Said something about Moxie though, where were you kid? Like, Moxie wouldn't talk to Law. Didn't you put a fucking knife in her or put a bullet in her for talking to Law? Yes, but she's Van Horn through and through. She knows better. She'd rather die. Bolo. I don't think they had a witness. If they did, I would have been shot. Yeah, I they, believe uh... the only information they had was what Alvin gave. They probably mm -hmm. didn't buy that it was just Alvin. They were convinced that we were all involved in trying to get a confession out of me. That's not my concern. My concern is Ganon. How the fuck did they know I killed Ganon? Yeah. But not Eli. Yeah, mm -hmm. I admitted to both, but they charged me for one. But like, if, if someone else, if someone else admitted to it or gave them other information, that would obviously muddy the whole thing up for them. And also, even if you did admit to it and uh, and are responsible, would you forgive me? Are you? I wasn't there that day. It can't be somebody that was there. It wouldn't be Jasper. Right. It wouldn't be the coward. Sure isn't Scout. So, maybe someone within our fucking group spilled the beans to somebody else that told the law. Who has motive to tell the lore about Ganon who cared about Ganon? Jasper. Jasper didn't lift a fucking finger for Ganon. He wouldn't risk his life to tell the lore, I assure you that. He's got no fucking spine. Who else? Nancy. See? I think Nancy Nancy's, and George. Nancy's too smart. She knows better. George. And George has this. You forgive me, Dakota, if I'm wrong. George is the one that has the whole beef with James. James, what? What? <laughs> Jasper. Um. <laughs> hidden. Yes. Dude, I know this that is a mystery is sort of inside Jasper of a riddle. I love this he, shit. The theorizing. Was, uh, spending time around Van Horn, regardless. So George's potential. Yes. <sighs> he spent a little bit of time around us, and even came on a job with us. He didn't get much information from us. However, he should have got a good idea for the way we fucking work. Hmm. What exactly did Alvin say to his girlfriend again? Does anyone remember that? I have no idea. I was yeah, so I don't focused know. I don't on him and Irene. He told me something about her. Uh, it must have been, well, either I forgot it or uh, it must have just been Fuck, between you and him. He said something about it, but I didn't kill him. I'm trying to think if that was what it was. Fuck. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I need to talk to Alvin. I need a refresh, man. It's been a long time. It's been a long fucking time. I need to talk to Alvin again. Now, if... 
if there is a risk, then there's a leak. Unlike Nancy. But she will not take kindly to her sister being killed. They both will have to go. We won't know until we talk to Alvin. Hmm. Yeah. If the deed has to be done, is any broad? Do you agree that Alvin doesn't? If he doesn't, I'll do it for him. Alvin is a we all know this sorry to cut you off but we all know this Alvin is very sensitive <laughs> very sensitive do you know what that is what that is weakness I, I, yeah I thought weakness you were going to say that is vulnerability vulnerability will get all of us killed do you remember my weakness when I drove a knife into her neck? I will never ask something of somebody that I am not willing to do myself. If it comes to light that she is possibly a leak, he will do what has to be done or I'll fucking bury him beside her. We will not have weakness in Van Horn. This is why the Wesley thing was important. This is not the light-hearted. Hey, you ain't wrong. I hope that that doesn't come to that. No, gone for a bit. God got nothing to do with it. We have. Given Alvin a lot. We've taught him a lot. Yet, he knows our ways and he should. Yet he's still sensitive, as you say. Yes, but I'm but I am curious what where the point is where like and what happens when he does break. Will he Will he commit to us, or will he falter? I'm very curious about that. Mm. He has not. You have put him in some difficult situations in the past, but this might be, you know, this might take the cake. Mm. And what did I say about Van Horn earlier? Survival of the fittest. Of the fittest, yep. If he is too weak, he will be weeded out. He made this bed himself. Not us. <clears throat> Man, 
my voice is starting to go, but I can, I can keep going. We're talking about weeds and I don't want to, I don't want to call out in that. I think that's beneath <laughs> him. But if that happens, then we got to take care of Chester too. Agreed. What I was, where I was coming from earlier regarding Nancy and her sister is that I am worried that maybe she has a lot of friends in our world. She seems like the type to me. You are worried about retaliation. I'm worried with that. Uh, yeah, that. What I was going to say earlier was that uh. I think we can, like, if we do that date, we don't speak of it. Once we do it, we do it in isolation. We don't speak of it. They literally disappear. Agree. We don't allow a, for any trace back to us, or else we will end up having to repeat this process. We'll have to weed them out again. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong. I'm naive. We're all naive for thinking that that won't happen again in the future. Someone is going to snake their way to fucking in here. But we are going to be as fucking safe as possible about that and as protected as possible and as uh, mm. brutal as possible. And this is why when we bring people in, we need to be absolutely sure. I agree, but Wallaby, what, what about Wesley? Does not did not make you sure. Was it just that He's that father. final proving point? Yeah, that. Okay, okay. Yeah, fair enough then. Same situation like, as Alvin. He has someone close to him that it despises us or is actively against us. He's gonna choose us over him, like Alvin will choose us over her. They both passed the test. Then there's nothing to worry about. All right. On to other news. I have something to tell you in regards to Jasper. He did? No. I am your sister. Oh. Mm. I've always had her. It's so casual, I know. <laughs> Forgive me. Yeah. Who is his sister? Matilda. and I have Jasper here with us is for personal reasons call it therapeutic you should know that Jasper is not who you think he is Jasper Woods is Jasper Tarbox, son of Husky Tarbox. That man took my family, killed it before my eyes. I buried him. But 
but I will do what he did to me. And his family will suffer and die like him. You want to know why Jasper's here? That is why. He is my pet until I put him down. <laughs> Thank you, Wallaby. Oh! Everything suddenly makes sense. Jasper is not around. So I'm going to make some changes to the plan. to enlighten us. I will in time. You are now on the same page. <laughs> I've already had him kill his entire friend circle. Jasper had a maiden with him after Jasper got out of Sisica. When did Jasper get out of Sisica? Month ago, maybe. I'd like to meet him. If anyone gets his telegram, that'd be great. Did I mishear you? Was his name Froggy? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure Nancy has him. Anyway. I need some fresh air. Uh, dude, voice getting hard. I can't. I know he's your pet and all. That information is giving me a lot of, uh... Hmm. I suppose relief. However, considering all this, considering what you have hanging over his head, I'm sure you're in the same boat as I. But you got a gun to the back of his head at all times. And I, I'm just worried that uh, he might take that out on you one time. And I'll tell you what, I promise you, I'm going to stop that before it happens. If he even fucking tries, I will tear his throat out with my bare hands. I know you will. A 
that's good. So I so Pete is Pete's a loyal one, man, but I still have that question about what they were talking about in terms of my leadership. I wanted to ask you something. Sure. You sent me a telegram when I was in Sisigo. Yes. Something about Scout and Pete having a discussion in the wrong store. Mm-hmm. About my leadership, and they told you to leave. They did. How exactly was that brought up? Uh, Pete just asked me to step out of the room. So I did. Did it sound like they were questioning? Or doubting? I think just questioning. I wouldn't call it doubting. Um, it was... Pete being concerned about the way that law react to things that we do here and he was thinking that maybe easing up on that would be a little bit better so that we all don't die here. Mm. If you hear whispers of down to my leadership, you make sure you tell me. I will. Good. I'm going for a ride. All right. If you don't come back in a certain time, should I come looking? I'll be back. Don't All you right. worry now. Interesting. I'm really testing everybody right now. We're gonna go real dark. And I'm curious to see who who makes it through the other side. Resting voice, pretty much. I need to rest my voice if I'm going to... How much longer do I have to go? <laughs> if I'm going to make it, I'm going to have to rest my voice. Four hours. Oof. That's till midnight, right? So we're four hours till midnight, two hours from Scout. Okay. Hopefully, Scout comes out. I kind of want to get to the clothing store real quick. I, I think we might go St. Denis. Did Wallaby get out of jail today? Uh, no, he got out a couple days ago. Uh, the only reason why I brought him out early, I'll be honest with you, is I had to get some role play in to practice the voice. Because if I do not do Wallaby for like a couple of weeks, I, I lose the ability to do the voice. It really strains me. So I got him out of Sissica so I could role play with a few people to get practicing and, you know, get it, get it, get it, the voice going. Um, in preparation for today. And for the most part, it's held out. It's lasted six Versus hours. My daddy. It's, getting, it's getting a little difficult now, but, um, But uh, it's it, it's it's good. Yes. It's still okay. Bert, Bert Glor, Bert Actually, Wallaby should wear Eddie's eye patch. Nah, man, no eye patch for Wallaby. Bandage, bandage or no no covering at all is the two options. Right now he's covering his eye, and the only one that has seen his actual like face is Dakota. And I kind of like that. Go this way. Really, 
I mean, let's talk about the bandana. I could wear the bandana as a mask, but I don't really want to do that. saw you lost. Will you walk with me? Of course. Bert's is my daddy. Oh, fuck. Thank you, Minion Spark. You've been eight months, man. You're an absolute artist, mate. Too kind, man. Thank you. I have some disturbing news. I think Jasper's trying to hurt me. <coughs> Jasper has changed. He's not the same as you think he is. He has dark secrets. He has hurt people. Matilda. He has killed friends of his people. People who were trying to help him. It can't be true. He demanded I tell him where you were. 
I couldn't tell him. I knew that he'd come up here and anyone following would find you and hurt you. But I didn't know. I couldn't have known. That it was him. But, but it loves me. He's a good brother. He's a good boy. I'm afraid. He's not anymore. He is ambitious. He is bloodthirsty. Now it's very important you tell me why he would want to hurt you. I can't understand why. I, 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 I don't think I've ever done anything to him. Neither did I. Neither did Eli. Neither did Ganon. But they're dead, and I am scarred and hurt for life. Look at my eye. It's both wrong. No. I don't know where he is. He did this and ran. He could be searching for you. He could be doing many things. But he has lost his mind. He is dark. He is twisted. Now. I know this is hard for you to believe but it's very important for your safety I care about your brother and I know you do too but he's not to be trusted he has lost his mind You trust me, Ron. I have kept you safe. I have looked after you. No. I'm not sure how safe you are up here. But I'm going to ask you to give me a couple days and I'm gonna take you to where I live where there are people that will look out for you I'm gonna get to the bottom of what Jasper wants but until then you have to be safe okay I'm sorry that has come to this, and I'm sorry for your brother. Part of me blames myself for what he's become. I, I'll do what I can, and when the time is right. I'm going to take you home. Your new home. Okay. In the meantime, keep your head down low. Keep to yourself. And if you see Jasper, and this is very important. You run. As much as you're gonna want to run to him, you run away. Or he'll do to you what he's done to everyone else that's loved him 
can use that in love. So hurt you. I will, I promise. Alright. I'm gonna bring you some supplies shortly. How are you feeling? Cold. Alright. I'm also going to bring you some medicine. It's going to help you. It gets cold down here. Not like back home. Keep you from getting any kind of cold sickness. Thank you. Of course. But I better get back. I have to prepare for your arrival. Come here. It's gonna be alright. We're gonna get him the help he needs. I promise you. We'll take you back. And we'll find him and we'll get him the help. And maybe it's not too late. Maybe he can still see reason. Maybe he can. There is still hope. I'll be back in a couple of days. Stay safe. Thank you. Don't thank me until we help him. Time to get some medicine that's gonna cloud her her brain and her thoughts. Cloud her judgment. What the fuck? <laughs> Brother, appreciate you. Can we go back to still in boots, please? <sighs> Sorry, Tilted Crow. We're way beyond that. What kind of counter do you think she will end up in chat? Oh, container. I thought I read that as counter. Container. Oh. Time to turn her against her own brother. Hey, Panda's got the new wallaby look. Thanks to you, you son of a bitch. Yeah, fucked him. <laughs> Used to be so beautiful. Happy New Year. Yeah, hell, man. Hell yeah. Happy New Year to you as well. I need to see a doctor. I need to see a doctor about brain medication. Demented scarecrow. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. That's creepy. This is what he gets for not being around, man. 
If he ain't gonna play Jasper, then I'm gonna fucking destroy Jasper. <laughs> Change of plan. Change of plan. Now we make her love me. While he's gone. curious about Wallaby's literal thoughts. You'll never know exactly what the character's thinking. I'll, I'll always share like parts of it, but you'll never get the full picture. I think it's better that way. I, I don't, you, you don't need to know everything. You monster. Yeah. Did you just get here? <laughs> Enjoy the ride, boys. There'll never be a big bad like this man again. Sleek would be lucky to be alive next week. This is the Archie file he makes Wallaby bad. Yep. Don't say that, Verts! <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully there's a doctor in the office here, but I fucking doubt it, man. I don't know what the doctors do. They hang around and do things. I don't know. Probably on an island somewhere, secluded, having a fucking picnic. That's what they do, man. Fucking picnic RP. There's no horse. Big fat spider around Saint Denis looking for a doctor. <laughs> we have morphine addicts on other server, that's cool. Uh, my first character had a morphine add uh, addiction, Baz. server uh he might not be the most evil character but he is in my opinion the most dangerous because there's no telling there's some really 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 dark characters so i can't really say that but when it comes to dangerous he's he's the most dangerous alligator with trail what Stopping at the wrong place, and he got to get a stew. We don't talk about kills in here, man. Stop talking about it. Someone up top?
She's not a doctor, but she's got medical experience. She can get it for me. None of them are actually friends. <laughs> I see. None of them felt that way anyway. Just the job, right? Mm -hmm. And what are you doing nowadays? Honestly, not much or nothing. Ah. Uh, might grab a job here and there at the job board. And just kind of wander around. Mostly from grave to grave at this point. <laughs> Feels like I talk to the dead more than the living. Shit. Hmm. Fair enough. It's actually perfect that I ran into you. Because I know you're discreet. I need help. With what? Since what happened to me, my eye, I have been suffering. Migraines. I hear voices. Voices of the dead. I need something. To help me clear my mind so I don't feel this pain. But here's the catch I need it to be secret. Otherwise, people that want my demise will use it against me. I don't, uh, have a lot of information about, um, or like a lot of knowledge about the brain, but, um, I, I may know someone who does. I believe I can, uh, discreetly ask them questions of what might be a good medication to use for such thing. Well, that's all I ask. Do you think you could there. get some for me? I can't exactly go to town and ask. Yeah, uh, I would imagine not, but um, yeah, I could, I can do that. Then you can bring it to Van Horn. If you want me to, yes. 
I would like that very much. How did you get here? All the wrong choices. Some rat, though. I don't really want to end up in an early grave. And I don't necessarily want to watch more people die. I don't really know where that leaves me, does it? Do you? <laughs> I, I feel like I don't have a lot of purpose right now. She could say that. Everybody needs a purpose. for me. Bring it to Van Horn. Discreetly. And I'll help you find your purpose. Alrighty then. Happy New Year. Where is my daddy? Yo. Happy New Year. the 23 months bro jeez wasn't she a deputy what did i miss she's not a deputy no more and she's always had a soft spot for wallaby always had a soft spot for wallaby and the way that wallaby thinks is how can i use this to my advantage how can i use this to my advantage is she useful can she be useful what in what capacity can she be useful is she long-term useful? Short-term useful? Right now, she's short-term useful. She can get me brain medication. That was perfect, actually. She was his first girlfriend. Yeah, those of you who don't know, that was Wallaby's first girlfriend. <laughs> Before Missy. imagine why she feels lost though because she she had a lot of criminal friends she was had a lot a lot of criminal ties and a lot of those criminals died so she went to the life of law and that hasn't worked out for her so now she's like in this weird spot where it's like all my crim friends are dead and i don't really feel a connection with the people that i worked with all right so she's kind of lost, which is like perfect. No outfit? Ah, oh, fuck it, man. <laughs> fuck it, man. I got a burger. Shut up. I made a mistake. Oh! Wallaby, even when she was law, Wallaby never hurt her, so that's interesting as well. Wallaby's always liked Lucille. 
Now, is she gonna be a full-fledged crim? No. Nor do I really want her to. But she's got uses. She knows medical. Which is fucking important. But let's see if she passes this test first. Let's see if she can get this medication for us. Another quest given out, man. Love this shit. Lewis! 28367 coming in with five gifted subs. How you doing, brother? Thank you, Lewis. Hey, wait a minute. Is that a male Lewis or a female Lewis? Here's the thing. Here's the kicker. It'll be very easy. Very easy to get her to become loyal to us. Does anyone want to guess how? Because right now, she's going to have morality issues. Yeah, she's got a soft spot for Wallaby. But she's not someone that's... She, like, she will tell Law if I do something really bad. I, I, I got no doubt about that. She'd have morality issues. But... This is the kicker. The way we get her... If I want her in Van Horn, and I want her to be loyal to Van Horn, I don't have to do a fucking thing. Because the Law will do that for me. I just got to make sure it gets out there that she hangs around Van Horn and they will cast her aside like a fucking, a, a, like a bad date or just trash and she will be eating out of my fucking hand. That's what Wallaby's thinking. I don't have to do, I don't, I don't have to do anything. Just let Lord do it. As soon as they start treating her like she's a criminal without her actually doing crim shit, she'll be 100% with us. Seed, see what happens. Let's see if it grows. That medication will come in handy for the Matilda situation. Man, I made a mistake biting into that burger, bro. That's going to make me want to go to sleep. <laughs> Fuck. What did I do? It's a good burger, though. When do we roll for a migraine? Uh, next time he's thinking real hard about anything, like plans and shit. There's Pete, he's still here, good to see. How are you doing? Well, um, was doing pretty good until uh, Dakota and Pete sort of got upset at each other. About what? Pete said something and they were worried about you. And Pete really? said something about no. Pete said something. Yeah. <laughs> you go and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk over you again. Do it a good do it. Go. I d I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking hit you. I don't care about how you are right now. <laughs> Yeah, get him. No, I'm sorry. Um, I, a cripple can beat another cripple, all right? Listen, it's fair. Listen, I didn't mean to talk over you. I apologize. I was just going to say that uh, Pete said something about Eddie, and it just... I don't think he meant it in a bad way. But, you know. Well, that's great details. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was much it. I mean... <laughs> Alright. We were just because you were gone for so long. Mm. Well... That's a problem. Lanza! Of course. Thank you for $10, brother. He looks short. Is, uh, he's like half oh, crouched he into the about step. Dear redacted chat it. and Great Britain, oh the Adelie Sim, I wish you all the best for 2024. Happy New Year from the Netherlands. Thank you, brother. 
Happy New Year from Australia. What did Putin say? He was sharing that he had a problem with you going out by yourself because of the state that you're in and told him that <laughs> I'd let you go because I trust you enough to not do something stupid and put yourself into trouble. Uh, and then Pete said that Edwin also went out on his own and look what happened to him. Oh, well, his arms in the right place, but I'm just fine. Yeah. Does anyone know who this fellow is with Harry? Uh, his name is So. He's, he's been sitting with Harry all day. I think the that they're canoodling. Store with me. Hello. Mm -hmm. Would you like him to join us? Um. That's kind of a big ask. Why? <laughs> I'll ask you to join me to the fucking rug store. I okay. What do you think? I just. What do you think of no, I just. I just don't want to impose. I mean. I'm just gonna find out if he's a fucking snitch or not. Okay. All dramatic. right. Jeez. He like uh, Big. I can't say that. He need he needs a nap. Yeah. He needs a nap. Okay. Well, uh, when His he wakes hurts. up, where are Harry? You? Yeah. You're under the rug store. Can you no. tell him to come to the rug store? No, I want to talk with him to the rug store. <laughs> <laughs> this is there something wrong? No, I'll tell him. No, Dakota will tell him. Wait here, Dakota. Sure. What the fuck are you on? <laughs> this guy's just fucking shadowing me, man. What the fuck does this guy want, man? Fuck out of here. <laughs> I want to bite this burger again, man. I can't trust him. His name's Sue. Fuck. It's a burger. Mmm. It's like a... It's like a truffle... Ang Angus or Wagyu burger? It's one of those two. I need coffee now. Oh, I don't want to have a dude. I don't like drinking like coffee while I eat. I'm weird like that. I can't. Is there a Five Guys in Australia? No, no. The only like big takeaway brands we've got is like KFC, McDonald's, Burger King, Subway. Pizza Hut. Out of curiosity, what did you think I was asking you? No, I, d I did. I just... I don't know. You yeah, like it's a big Threw me off. Wanted me something. in here. No, I just... I worded it wrong. I knew you were talking about this. Right, and didn't you do some thinking about what I asked you? Yeah, I did. Still thinking? No, I'm... Um... He's gonna say no. Um, I'll do it. Oh! We'll talk about it. Now I'm done with this, Sue, fella. Oh shit, I'm fucking hype. Dude, 
Sorry, what was that? I said once we're done with this Sue fella, I'll talk to you about it. Alright. Her name's a boy, Sue, anyway. Now you're gonna die. Ah, oh boy, oh boy. A little assassin girl. Yeah, man, we have to bring in some more girls to meet the quota. <laughs> so, you know, Alice, Matilda, Lucille, there you go. Lacey, thank you so much. Happy New Year to you as well, even though you got still like three hours to go. I'm trying to make it to New Year's American. I'm trying, I'm trying. <sighs> She's a doctor too. Yes, she is. What the fuck is taking so long? Give me a moment. <sighs> Was he like re-logging? What the fuck? Oh fuck, they're still waiting for him. I might as well finish this burger while I wait, eh? <laughs> okay, let me just... He combat logged as soon as he heard. As soon as he heard about the fucking rug store. Alright, let me just... I'm gonna finish this burger real quick, guys. I'm gonna play this song, and by the time the song's done, I'll be, um... I'll be finished. Uh, let's put on, uh... This one. This is nice. Go right back!
Tell you what, could have I could have fallen asleep that fucking song, man. So 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 beautiful. Gene Wilder, man. Oh, he's so good. Is that fella still over there, or is he? Oh, I don't know where he is. Okay, Pete was inside, by the way. Is oh, my daddy. Right, right, yeah. I think he's waiting. Coming up, but. Oh. Dude, I'm actually tired. <laughs> I shouldn't have eaten the burger. I fucked up. I'm gonna be fine. If I just push through. All right. This Sue fell off. We gonna. Hurt is my daddy. We gonna go test him out a little Sorry, bit. Sorry, could you give me? Could you get? Could you give me twenty seconds? Yeah. I gotta push through. It's one of those things, man. It'll make me tired, but then that food is going to ball up into energy. And that energy is going to push us. <laughs> and it's going to propel us to New Year's. Surely. <laughs> you know, science. Hey, that's the way I'm fucking spinning it, man. I don't give a shit. That's how I'm spinning it. Sorry <sighs> about that. Are you alright? Yeah. Alright, no. When this Sue guy gets here, we're gonna make sure he's not a fucking informant. Right, if, okay. If, yeah. If we have to get physical, I'm gonna have to rely on you, Pete. Do you want us down? Just give me a signal. Any fan. Signal, I'll just fucking tell you. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that works as a signal, I suppose. <laughs> I'm trying to surprise the fella now. We'll just see if he holds up to questioning. Maybe we'll just beat him up anyway. See if he spills his guts. Might be easier than asking him. What? What about him makes you suspicious? Is it just the fact that he's a uh, new face in town? Yes, Pete. And okay. he's there with Harry. Now, if you were a lawn dog and you were trying to get information, who in Van Horn would you try to talk to first? Hmm, I see your point. Hmm. And his name is Sue. There's no way that's a real name. It's an alias. <laughs> I mean, maybe we had like a we had like a hour long conversation, me, Sue, and Harry about this, like about like, you know, like girl names and guy names like have you ever met a girl like yeah you might have met a, a guy called sue or whatever have you ever met a girl called david <laughs> <laughs> or john dude i've never even met a guy named sue till today i mean i'm not gonna lie neither have i <laughs> but I could see it though, you know, as soon as he said, if a girl came up to me and said, my name's David, I'd be like, what? Okay. You know what? I suppose then I would open my mind to that fact that she called David, but still, I, you know, I, I you want to sit down, David I want to would sit down, calm more. down. Oh man, i got to push through this fucking what? fatigue wave. Oh God. What? Never mind. Never mind. All right. Uh, the fella had a bit of a headache. Uh, well, oh, yeah, he, headache, he, so. yeah, he, he having a lot of issues. Yeah. I saw him almost like, I don't know what happened to him earlier. He's like, his entire body just started shrinking away bit by bit. Mm, lady killer, I think right. the 21 months. Let go for okay. another two years. Hell yeah, thank you, lady killer. Try. I, try, I know what I saw. Try Alice. the ancestor, I think, I mean, 14 months. Yeah, Famous sure Lucas here. Thank you for the gift. Something. Uh, I'm gonna make it, man. Hell no! I'm gonna I mean, make it. Yes, I was. Hell yeah. But. <sighs> what? 
Shut what? the fuck up. What? What? You know shit about my cure-all, my weed, all right? Come on now. This danger, Kush Kush, ain't no danger to anyone. Why'd okay. you call it danger, okay. Kush Kush? Because I thought it was funny. It was a play on danger, danger, puss, puss, puss. <laughs> Danger Kush Kush. You know, sometimes you just say things that makes me want to fucking strangle you. The truth? The truth? Are you afraid, afraid of the truth, Wallaby? Yeah, this is one of the moments. Fair <laughs> enough. You know, I don't blame you. I'm not gonna lie. To that. You know what? While we wait for this motherfucker, might as well talk to Alice. Hello, Alice. Hello, Pete. Go on, Wallace. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. Are you, are you in a, are you in a fucking mood? Listen, it's New Year's Eve, uh, and I'm having some uh, drinks from time to time. <sighs> All right. Alice. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why I'm asking you is because I know what you are capable of. And I think this is something you can do. How much did we agree upon again? I don't remember. 1500. Something like that. As a dead or alive, I don't mind. Do you know Eli? I may have met him before, but I definitely know his name. He used to ride with that coward that I will not name. Motherfucker. All right. <laughs> we'll put this off for later, Alice. That's all right. I know you just got yourself in a groove, but it's fine. <laughs> I brought you the boy. I'm just feeling unbridled rage. I need to take it out on somebody. So, join us downstairs. You're going to love it downstairs. Great. It's very impressive. We dug the hole ourselves. One spoonful at a time. You're very proud oh, of wow, that. yeah. They won't allow, they won't sell us shovels up here, so we gotta use spoons. Holy shit. Um, you like it? Yeah, it's... I want you to stand right there. Okay. So is it? Yeah, that's my name. So, do you know who we are? Um, I haven't, like, an inkling as to what you guys do, but I, do I don't know y'all's names. I know your names individually, I guess. That's that's about it. Stop lying. Um, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Okay. Do not lie to me. We have oh, I won't. ways of finding out the truth. I understand. Are you law? No, no, I'm not law. Are you associated with law? No, not one bit. What brings you to Van Horn? Well, um. Uh, 
mostly opportunity and work. I, I've known Harry for a bit, and I know she's from Van Horn. She said she has a lot of friends in Van Horn. Uh, I'm going to be quite plain and honest. I got nothing going for me. I'm damn near broke. I got nowhere to live, and if opportunities presented themselves to me in Van Horn, I, I guess that's that's why I'm here. How old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. I hope you're not playing me for a fool. Sue. What did you say your last name was? Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Oh me. What yeah. kind of opportunity are you looking for? Well, I mean, whatever presents itself to me here well, in town, I... That is a dangerous desire. <sighs> yeah. I understand that much. I just... Like I said, I got nothing going for me. I'm, I'm flat broke. I, I got nowhere to go. No people that I know outside Where's of Harry. your family? I got none. I got nobody left. No mother, no father, no sibling. No. no. I've been a, on my own for a very long time. Just a boy named Sue. Yeah, let's, let's see, just a boy named Sue. Well, how do you fucking do? <laughs> Um, now I'm you're gonna okay. die. I'm kidding. I, uh, I'm uh, not gonna kill you. However, oh. I have my concerns. <laughs> concerns? Mm, you see, we have. Oh, Pete, what do you call it? A. Infestation. Infestation is the word. You see, people tend to ride into Van Horn. They see too much, they hear too much. And most importantly, and this is something you must know, they talk too much. You say you want opportunity and there's a lot of those around plenty of people looking for work plenty of people with nothing to gain nothing to lose looking for hope Shows a very dangerous place to look for that hope, Mackenzie. Oh, uh, I know this place ain't sunshine and rainbows. I'd be a fool thinking that for a town with a sheriff station burnt down to the ground. Well, uh, Rick and Law don't like me any more than they would like people like you. And what is it you've done which would anger the law? 
Well, like I said, I've been on my own, so nothing, nothing crazy, nothing up there, just simple robberies of whatever presents itself to me. I used to lie down in the middle of the road with my horse sitting next to me, make people think that I'm injured and come up with a gun in their face, see whatever <laughs> scraps of food or... This boy is after Byron Hart. You know, that sounds a lot like me. Uh. I had my time playing games. Doing one I had to learn. Boy, did I do a lot of learning. Yeah, I guess I got a lot to learn. You want an opportunity. Say that again. You want an opportunity. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm here. I, I don't know how to convince you that I'm not. I can tell you that I'm not. And that's the God honest truth. We have ways of finding out. Mess him up too bad. I, the boy is pretty. Of course not. Well, uh, what are you? Uh, what are you doing? Tell us. God, I swear. Fuck. I think he messed him up a little no, bit no, badly. No, no, no. Go wake him back no, up. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Leave him. I want you to break a couple of ribs. Ah, don't forget uh, uh, a little bit more. Uh, Ooh, yeah, I felt that. <clears throat> Yes, sir. Dakota. Yes. Drop him off to Harry. Sure. We'll see where this boy falls.
guy's got a very chokeable act. I thought about beating him up, but honestly, yeah. I kind of just wanted to wring his neck. Yeah, that'll do. Naive children like that need to learn young. Mm -hmm. Did him a favor. He comes back here, gives his mouth fucking shot. I'll give him something to do. I guess time will tell. Time will tell indeed. Oh. Mm. Yes, Alice. What? I don't know. You got that judgmental arm <laughs> folding going on. No, no. I'm sorry, that's not judgmental, I swear. Right. Teach them young, they make less mistakes when they get older. I don't necessarily disagree with you. <laughs> Everyone gets beat down sometime. Right. Right. You lie. I haven't seen him recently, dude. What's he looking like nowadays? I haven't seen him in a couple of weeks or a couple of months or whatever, but... Uh... <clears throat> Honestly, kid. I wouldn't be able to point him out in the crowd. <laughs> Short beard. Yeah. Like, click back here. Mm. Uh, very generic clothing. Very, very nice. Thank you, Pete. Very awesome. <laughs> you might have just told it just to fuck us off. Listen, well, well, I mean, do you know his last right. name at least? No. Come on, Lego. I don't. I don't know it either. Though, I'm sure you're. Your resource will you find out what you need to know. Right. He might be going around looking for help. He's looking to harm one of mine. He was married to Jojo. The Anderson girl. Mm. He wants uh Revenge for her death. Does he run with anyone? None that I know of, but he is dangerous. He is resourceful. If we ride out five, six deep, we'll probably never find him. He's smart. Which is why you come in. You're smart too. You bring him to me. I'll pay you in cash. I will do my best. Oh, uh, well. I know your best is well and good enough. a moment won't be long yeah Listen. don't think for a moment I do not know what this means to you I do no do not intend to take advantage of you I recognize what it means, and I appreciate it. You helping one of mine live means a lot. 
she see someone behind me? Who is she seeing? Who is she seeing? I told Dakota earlier. And I know it made some people angry here. But I still care about you guys. Despite everything. Mm. Yeah. We have been through a lot. Yeah, we certainly have. Feels like many lifetimes over. It really does. I'm here if you need anything, if you need at all. The same goes for you, you know. I know. I have so much on my mind. And sometimes I forget to stop. Well... The only advice I have for that is just hang in there. Doesn't get any easier. No, it does not. Thank you, Alice. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Who did she see? Was it Muppet Mills? <laughs> Was it Muppet Mills? Gas. Gas. Oh, it's just it's Dakota. Dakota. Hello. 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 All right, let's get out of here. All right. It's gone. Gets released in how long? I have no idea. Fuck. Is it half an hour? Harry might know. 35 minutes! I think it's 30 minutes or so. Not too much longer. Oh boy, oh boy. Creepy, creepy Alice seeing her ghosty ghouls behind me. I should react like, uh, Polly Walnuts. The fuck you talking to? <laughs> Meme time to lift the energy. Yeah, maybe. Alright, let's see. Go. Let's go see how fucked up Harry is. <laughs> Beat up a friend. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Where is the boy? Did you take him to the doctor? He's, um, he's having some problems. All right. Make sure he gets help. Is he dead? No. I need a few minutes. I'll be back. All right. Uh, we'll see, man. We'll see what uh, Sue does. Oh, that's a pretty interesting way of um, introducing him. To uh, Van Horn culture. How's the voice holding up? It's it's rough, but um, we're okay for now. I really did not expect to do like a an eight to ten hour stream today. I wasn't really planning for that. It was going to be like a five hour thing, but here we are. Here we be. All right, let me. We'll do some memes. Give me one second though.
Okay. You didn't really plan at all. <laughs> you would have started at like seven, dude. If I knew I was gonna do like, if I knew I was gonna do this, I would have slept for another couple of hours and started a little later. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, if you know my streams, if you've been here any sort of time, you know that anything over like seven hours is like, that's like my subathon bullshit. <laughs> Oh man, oh man. Okay, let's let's load this bullshit up. All right. This will this should uh, this should at least uh, grind us past at least hopefully to to scout. Okay, we've already seen these. Terry when Teddy gets shot. Okay, this is where we're at. This was the last one we saw. All right, Terry, Terry, when Teddy gets shot. Yes, I can. Um, I've been having some bad stomach cramps, and I don't, I don't know if I'm up for sparring. That's fine. You don't have anything to prove. You don't have to fight. As a matter of fact, I've got something that will help you with those cramps. Go ahead and loosen your belt. <laughs> Just hold that for a second. It's nice not to have a good belt. No. In ancient Japan, women would wear pink belts to help soothe their lady pains. I'm going to tie this. I'm going to keep it nice and loose. Okay, that's not too tight, is it? No, it's fine. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, now go ahead and sit down with me. Oh Just my stay with me. God. Okay. Good. Now I'm going to put you on your side. That way we don't put any unwanted pressure on your ovaries. Okay? And when you're ready to fight, you can put your orange belt back on. Oh my god. What's this from? I know that Master Ken, he's a he's a YouTuber, right? This looks like it's a TV show. Does he have his own TV show? It's like the office. That was fucking funny, man. We'll put you on your side to protect your ovaries. <laughs> Dude, I have to use that in character. I, l I literally have to use that in character as Terry. <laughs> that was nice. That was good. Well done. Rest in peace, Peaches. Peaches under the floorboards. <laughs> Not anymore, man. Not anymore. Not anymore. Wallaby dodging those bullets during the Siege of Van Horn. Law, Neo Wallaby dodge. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. A couple shots, not too bad. God. Oh, my God. That's loud. Holy shit. Are they going to kill some... Oh, God. Am I going to die? Oh, fuck. Fucking run, bitch. All right. <clears throat> Where was I? Okay. This one. 
What is this? Oh, there's, there's more. There's fucking more. Oh, is it medical room? Oh. <laughs> God, it's, there's more. There's fucking more. Oh, is it medical room? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. The switch up is crazy. Oh, fuck off. I know what this is going to be. Shit. Five ten to dawn the mask. Let's rail some fools. I hope you all, I hope you all br brought lubrication. Because there's going to be some Ready. anal penetration. Can I say a prayer for Teddy? <laughs> Absolutely. Of course you can. Absolutely. <sighs> well, dude, you know... I c Bro, we're going to get those comments. I prefer the old, uh, old Vertigo. <laughs> Duncan Ruben wanting peace. <laughs> it took me a while to register what that was about. Okay, yes. <laughs> what You'd the? shoot a man in the back. Well, it's the safest way, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh shit! Oh shit! Dude, I did him a favor. He really fucked up in that fight. He really fucked up in that fight. All right. What a creeper that character was. Long time ago in a stream. Oh, juicy flake! Wait, wait, where is he? Ah! Fuck. Ah! He doesn't even know I'm here! He doesn't even know I'm here! <laughs> Don't look at me! Don't look at me! I think the moral of the story is that I'm good against role players. <laughs> yeah, Wallaby 2024. Oh, you're doing him dirty, bro, but you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. Harry kindly making Wallaby a post migraine meal. Max, what do you want for dinner? King hell. <laughs> the fucking hat's back. What the fuck is this piece of shit? <laughs> I love Joe Pesci, man. The wallaby kid.
It's a must watch. You make me not want to watch it with your demands. Oh, Johnny, shut up, man. Mr. T? He's going to kiss the fucking blade? What is going on? He's going to make out the fucking razor. <laughs> yeah, he's going to fuck he's going to fuck the razor. Now he's just sound like he's fucking Sparrow. All right, well, now we know the origin story for Edward Scissorhands. He wasn't created by some old guy in a cookie factory. He had, his dad had sex with a fucking razor blade and popped out Edward came, man. God damn it, man. Thank you. <laughs> you can't keep getting away with it. Yes, I can. You can't keep getting away with it. Bro, that is literally every conversation that the fucking bathhouse has about me every fucking three months when they decide there's got to be another war. <laughs> don't give a fuck, man. I'm sick of you always thinking you know what's best for me, dog. You ain't my fucking father. I'm a grown man. <laughs> God, that sounds like Pete, not Wallaby. Get out of here with that. And one more. 28 stab wounds. <laughs> I didn't want to leave him a chance. Dude, oh. it literally happened a minute ago. How? How? Fuck you guys work fast, man. Let's see this again. <laughs> 28 stab wounds. <laughs> I didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Nah. Oh, Did you feel anger? Yes. Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Oh, please, please leave me up. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please, please stop. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it. <laughs> Just say you killed him. Just say it. Don't accurate man, I would have killed this lawman by now, he's getting too aggressive. Good stuff, man. Jeez, I can't believe you made a meme that quickly about that fucking machete murder. Whatever, man. Some type, listen, some people have it coming, and that guy had it coming. Uh, fuck. Good stuff, guys. Fucking well done. Well done. My friend. My friend. My friend. Dude, that's all that's all I got in my fucking head now. Well done. <sighs> Can someone calm these fucking horses down? Jesus. Why, why can't we get this, these horses calm? Settle. <sighs> All right, did you telegram Scout? Uh, not yet. I can go now though. He'll be out soon. I got a oh. telegram from him just now. Look at that. He's gonna go soon, is he? Yeah. Well, we better go pick him up then. Did he give a specific time? So it could still be like an hour? No, he gets out shortly. 
does he not? I, I think I think so. Yeah, I, I think it's within the next half an hour or something like that. All right. All right. Where's oh, there it is. Cigar's getting out in the next thirty minutes or so, maybe less. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. No, that is very nice. <laughs> I should pay my uh, I should pay my rent while I got money on me. Fuck, oh, get a carriage. Yeah, dude, he's not getting the carriage treatment. He's not royalty. Fuck yeah, I need to stand up and stretch my legs. Give me a second. Oh, oh, my legs. Oh. Wallaby wearing shades would be cool. Dude. Shades? I already know the answer. Do you have any tobacco? Shades. Got weed. Oh, no. Ugh. Thank you, Old Dolphy. Man Dude, I've been sitting here God in the damn. same spot for seven and a half hours. You try to do that and tell me you don't want to get up and stretch. Right? Oh. Did you hear the crack? Oh. <laughs> just trying, I'm just trying to get the blood circulating, right? That's all. Blood circulation is important. It's how you get, uh, what do you call it? A blood clot. I sat here the whole stream. I tell you what, if you've been sitting in the same spot for seven and a half hours and you didn't get up to do anything, I question your sanity. Because at least I'm streaming. What the fuck are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? You don't have to sit here for seven and a half hours, you damn lunatic. Watching. I don't know if I'm going to make it to this midnight bullshit, man. Fuck. Okay. What are I doing? That's right, rent. Movement speed, 70. Also supporting. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. You'll die if you sit for that long every day. Thank you, man. Thank you. For, that's very nice of you, because that's what I do every single fucking day to work. It doesn't fill me with confidence in life, man. Only 2 hours and 13 left. That sounds like such a long time. Unless Scout's gonna come out with like a bunch of RP. I think I think we've explored everything there is to explore in RP today. Which was a lot, by the way, but I mean Scout have he might have more information that, that Pete has forgotten. Let's be honest. Pete's forgotten more than he remembers. <laughs> Okay, let's deposit $200. I don't know why it's making me take, do the whole thing. That's very annoying. Take out 50. Okay. What gun is this? The Reaper. The Reaper. Vial of blood. Um, Two gold bars. Interesting. Okay. Put the shovel in here. Uh, by the time you read this, what the fuck is this again? I assume the news would have reached you. I am terribly sorry, Wallaby. It happened. Oh, right. This is when we are telegram about his death. All right. I'm going to get rid of this. It's fucking depressing. It's Jack Reed's gun. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. I got to find, find a reason to give it to Archie. Maybe Archie just asked for a gun one day. I'll give it to him. Uh. He didn't remember shit, so he didn't forget anyway. He didn't forget any. Yeah, well, that's. Yeah. Kind of the Pete mantra. So basically, we beat the shit out of Sue. Poor guy's crashing constantly. So now he's not only crashing, he's knocked the fuck out. <laughs> poor bastard. I ruined his day. I ruined that. Oh, that poor guy's, poor guy's life. It's ruined. All right, I want to uh -uh. go to the clothing store real quick, so we might as well go. Well, I want a pet gorilla, but I don't get one, do I? All right, let's go. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. 
I don't want to know. Okay. What? You guys don't want a pet gorilla? What? No. Did you say pet or something else? Pet! <laughs> What do you think I'm What? Oh my god. I, dude. Oh, my voice. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm going to do two hours. Fuck. I want to. I do, but man, we've already seen the fireworks. I mean, fuck it, dude. We'll just see Scout and then we're calling it. Fuck it. Fuck your New Year. <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't even be here for New Year's. Like, go fucking celebrate or something. I'll suffer not with that attitude, you're not. It's the damn, it's that damn burger. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna we're gonna see Scout, and we'll see what happens. Uh, well, your saddles I'm on gonna fucking kill this man. I'm gonna uh, fucking kill this man. Take it easy on the voice. Couple of hours of Terry and you'll be fine. Terry's even worse. Oh, shit. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see Scout and we'll go from there. But I am, uh, I am feeling... I don't know, we'll see. I swear to God, man, he's trying to fuck me up. I swear to God he is. Duke's a beautiful horse. He really is, man. She's got a really good horse there. I'm gonna miss him. Sleek New Year's? Nah, man. I can't play Sleek until the parole's over. Because let's be honest, there's no way I'm playing Sleek without doing a crime. There's like no chance. You get a new horse? Nah, I got a horse right here, man. Omen's a good horse. Nothing with Omen. We got this horse from the train robbery. We're missing Pete. I don't know how. Well, he knows where we're going. I'm pretty sure Sleek is on a mission to find a certain deputy a sausage. Uh, he probably already forgot about that by now. He's on to the next chick. <laughs> Verse, that musical from the meme is Sweeney Todd, 2007. It's better with context. Maybe watch the trailer. Oh my God, man. You sound like one of those people from, uh, what's that, that fucking meme, Rick and Morty? The Rick and Morty meme? That's what you sound like right now, Crook. Oh, sorry, Rook. I, I don't know why I called you Crook for. I'm sure it's a great movie, man. I'm just saying that he was trying to make out with a fucking razor blade. It's kind of weird. Your girlfriend in a jar. Yeah? What's your fucking point? I didn't fuck a razor blade. That's a little bit more weird, don't you think? You're telling me that oh, if you heard two so that stories, one time. about some guy that killed his cheating girlfriend and the other story about a guy that fucked a razor blade, you wouldn't be like, oh, that fucking razor blade guy's kind of weird. Right?
you haven't found the right blade yet. <laughs> Razor blade guy, less weird. Uh, I'm gonna kill this man. He's purposely trying to run into me. Is someone like gifting him subs saying fuck up, like fuck up Verts, like run into him? Verts, trust me, watch the trailer. If it's not good, then you can tire me out. Oh, I see you're starting to concern me, man. I'm getting some clothes. Oh. Okay. And then we'll pick on Skull. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Forgot about that. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good, man. Come on now. He's in a fucking mood, dude. Incredible, really. He's in a fucking mood, man. <laughs> eh, shit. All right. I think I might make a coffee. That might be the play. I'm gonna make a coffee. We'll make it. We'll make a last ditch effort to save this stream. See what happens. caffeine injection i'm gonna inject caffeine into my veins i sent a video of a guy getting a firework stuck up his ass today i mean uh, maybe johnny Depp should make a musical about that <laughs> dude rook rook is in my chat just fucking fuming right now <laughs> you me. You bastard. Personally, can't stand musicals. Yes, I said it. I think the majority of them are shit. But there's some good ones. I think I think musicals on a stage can be good. I think movie movie musicals are kind of weird. For the most part. I mean, there's some good ones, obviously, but... I think, I think musicals belong on a stage, like Broadway or something, right? Otherwise you get that, uh, name one. I mean, Grease would be a good example, right? I think everyone can say Grease is probably a good musical. I mean, look at, look at Phantom of the Opera. Go look at fucking uh, uh, Gerard Butler as the Phantom of the Opera. It's fucking horrific. Sweeney Todd. I just see Ice Rookie Chat saying Sweeney Todd. <laughs> oh, God. This poor bastard. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's giving a name of a good musical and, and, and Rookie's still on the fucking Sweeney Todd bandwagon. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> all right let's uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this outfit and just change some couple things around 
So I want to change the shirt color. Like that. Yes. And we'll change the vest color as well. Like a black. Black? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Now the coat. I kind of want to keep this. Oh man, I don't know if I should go with this one or the classic leather. Because I kind of like the idea of it being tattered. Is That's why I picked this. But let me try the leather one. If I can make it look more like dirty, then I'll be happy. There it is. Uh, right, I can do it actually. Like that? Yeah, that looks pretty good. There we go. That's all I wanted to do. <sighs> Way better. Ooh, really? What the fuck? Are you in a fucking mood or something? Where am I? Huh? Uh. <laughs> hey, do you know what year it is? See, this looks like Wallaby's, like, recent yeah, outfit. It's just... Then, it looks okay. like it's mm -hmm. tattered and dirty and rough. It's it's good. I like it. Davey's so fucked, man. <laughs> 1903. It's going to be 1903 in, a, in less than two hours. <sighs> less than two hours until 1903. Pete. Whew. He's. I don't think he's gonna make the two hours either. <laughs> I don't think he's making the two hours neither. I'm gonna be honest with you. No pressure on Scout, but he has to provide something exciting. <laughs> and no one's Scout. He's going to have so much, man. Did he just say 2024? Did he, did he say 2024? Oh my god. See if he's on the dock. I feel for David. It's 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm telling you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty ready to stop. I might, I might just, me and him might just bail <laughs> and be like, yeah, you know what? I was here for the 7 p.m. fireworks, man. I did my part. Silent since the Sweeney Todd incident. Nice. Nah, you know, uh, Rook's fine, man. Right? Oh! It depends if he gets picked up by law. If he doesn't get picked up by law, he'll probably get dropped off at the swamp. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, he's fucked, guys. He's completely fucked. 
I shouldn't be keeping him awake. This is what happens. This is what happens when I keep this motherfucker awake. Look what he's doing. What is he doing? <laughs> We gotta stop him, man. We have to tell him to go to bed. Hello, beautiful. Uh, howdy. Did you find anything yet? Not yet. I'm still looking into, into it. Oh, so oh my God. I'll patiently wait. No rush. <laughs> Over here, you fucking horse. You fucking horse. Really? Why? <laughs> How do I tell this guy he's gonna get himself banned? <laughs> because you're you're looking very tired. Because of me? <laughs> no peace. I'm, ha I'm having a, I'm having a laugh. I'm I'm actually perfectly fine. I'm not that drunk or anything. I'm just having a laugh do and having some you, fun. Do you hear what you're saying right now? You sound like an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, no, I do hear what I'm saying, but the funny thing is, is I'm telling the truth. <laughs> nice buggy. So you're 100. Thank you. It's sober. brand new. It's nice. What's that? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Kill that man. What? Jesus. Not in the fucking city, Pete. Where the fuck did my horse go? Right. Yeah, it was actually quite a soft landing, we got considering. We got a salty class. Um, that wasn't funny at all. Not funny one bit. Didn't laugh at all. Never, not even a sneaky goddamn. Fuck it. Where's my horse go? So my horse just decides to fuck off. Are you kidding me? Where the fuck did my horse go? How far did that thing run and how fast? Hey, who told you that we need to go to sleep? No, no one. <laughs> Your actions, Pete. My actions? You're shooting on the city, Pete. I shot at the floor. <laughs> you shot horse. the city, yeah, yeah. There he is. Oh, that's so, that's so terrible. From, uh, from us murderers. Oh no! I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna throttle this man, dude. Oh, worst thing ever. We might as well just panic and all go to bed. <laughs> Let's all go to bed and panic because Pete shot at the floor. Oh! Oh! Have some fun. New Year's Eve. I think you know what. <laughs> Bert's is What's my daddy. Right? Oh god. Oh shift. Thank you for the Happy 78 man. months. I don't even know what to fucking say to this guy at this point. <laughs> Oh, I love him so much. Directly behind us. I know they could be dropping him off at the swamp. He got his second wind. Well, I hope mine fucking kicks in soon, man. I just want to watch the trailer so you can see it's not that fucking racist. <laughs>
You've made Sweeney Todd a meme. How? I need to make I need to make Rook a, like an MVP at this rate. But gold being produced right now. <laughs> Rook's New Year's resolution is, is going to be to get Vertigo to give Sweeney Todd a chance. Thank you for the tier three. Tier three. 20 month, 20, 21 month reset. Thank you, brother. This motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck, this is really close to Sisica, eh? Say, Pete? I said bam ba bam. Okay. Bam ba bam 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 bam. Hey, Wallaby, leave those kids alone. Pete, are you sure you're all right to make it another few I'm hours? So sure. hello, god damn. All right. God damn. All a bunch of Marty asses, god damn. Come on now. Bunch of what? Uh, Marty ass, I've had what like the, what does fucking that mean? four beers. I'm fine. God damn, a couple of whiskeys and something else on the side. Right. But it's fine. <laughs> got so dramatic. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> Oh, it's worth staying up just to fucking witness this shit show. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. I fucking can't with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> song too oh god I, I do i hate that fucking song oh, oh. can i send this log probably not right They take him to the sand and he, we all gonna be pissed off right now, just me. No, if they, they take him there, I'm sure he'll say something the way. Oh, God. 
You're very antisocial nowadays, Wallaby. What the fuck? I've been social for almost eight fucking hours. I've done enough socializing. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, you just turn your back on people now. It's <laughs> like, fuck you. Pete. Yeah. The last thing you told me was leave them kids alone. <laughs> Says the guy that kicked in some 18 year old's ribs. <laughs> Maybe you should be leaving the kids alone, Pete. I didn't pay attention to his age. <sighs> now don't worry, Harry. You'll live. Probably. Where is he, by the way? Did you take him to the Nongdo? Yeah, he's in St. Denis. Oh, lovely. There you are. When he gets better, I'm sure he'll turn back up. Good as new. Maybe. Pete. Yes? You want to sing a song by the campfire? Not particularly, but I mean, uh, I could probably it sing It sounds more. like you're in the mood. Let's hear it. I got bitches up on my dick every day. Sucking on my balls. Licking on my balls. Would you like me to continue? Whose fucking horse is that? That's really good, Pete. I'm glad it brought from a rail up. The Duke? It's Duke. Calm down, bro. Is there a fucking snake around here? He's just pissed. He's just pissed. Okay. Well, there's nothing I can do about it, dude. Who's this? The scout? Scouty, 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 scout. Is that the scout? It is. Well, then go on. I wouldn't get too close if I were you. Why? Very sick. Oh. Yeah, Ron, we all. Oh, the gang's all back together now. You got poop butt again, or? Right. Oh, yeah, welcome back there as well. Uh. Thanks. I don't know. The guards threw me in the hot box and contracted something. Been there ever since, till they released me just now. Well, that's a lot of them. I don't want to catch nothing. 
Thank you, Harry. You're welcome. All right, well, let's get back to Van Horn. Yeah, back to Van Horn, god damn it. I'm curious to see if uh, Harry tells him what I did. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. To the land of the free. Man, DG's back, boys. we are back. We should watch it so we can end this because yeah, chat is making memes right. about it now. Well, whose fucking fault is that, man? You did this. <laughs> you did this. What did you do to get You turned into Meanie Todd. You think Harry will be too scared? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Star. They didn't take too kindly to that. Wait. Oh, right, ah. Star. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. That's who. Fuck that guy. However, we need to get you warmed up or something. He sounds like Wallaby. How does he sound like Wallaby? The poor guy's sick IRL, man. He's sick in reality. He ain't put on a voice. This guy's sick. I'm surprised even he's even playing, honestly. He sounds like fucking shit. <laughs> Of him. I do not want to be in front of him. I don't want to be in front of him. Jesus. It's on a fucking rampage. Oh my god. Fucking horrendous. I'm sad that you're sick, but you know, what can I do about it, eh? Apart from what you suffer. You wanna get changed? No. I'm just gonna filthy everything else up if I do that. Alright. Go have a bath! Motherfucker. Yeah. No, give him a bath, Harry. Make sure he blows his nose. Go with Harry, go get his off clean dog. I won't give you a bath. I know you can bathe yourself. Yeah, damn. The restraint on that woman. <laughs> What if he gets us all sick and then we just die from the flow or something? I think we'll be fine. Oh my god. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll be fine. Alice is still up. Oh my god, she's fuck she still is up there. Holy shit. Dude. Love Alice. She's just overwatching everything. Like an owl. <clears throat> Honestly. Fuck these fireworks. What? You can't be doing that now. Come on now. Come on now. We only got like an hour and a half. That's a long fucking time. Yeah, well, it was fucking three hours ago when... Or like... It was three hours at the point where you told me it was a long... Uh, I said to you it was a long time. No, it wasn't three it's hours. It's gonna be fine. That was like six hours ago. No, it wasn't. It was like... It was like three hours ago. I told you two and a half. It was at midnight for me. No, what? it was it's... off. No. <clears throat> wasn't it? I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Time into the about. voice. <clears throat> it was like no. at midnight somewhere at some point in the world. <laughs> there was like five hours behind this time. He's right. He probably is. So therefore, it was about three hours ago. <sighs> all right, all right. Yeah. Fuck is all fine. That is my so daddy. Good. Come on, man. Go get yourself some coffee. <laughs> Already on coffee. Uh, yeah, get it up. What about another one? No, I'm all right. Thank you. Another one? Yeah, mm -hmm. two. Another one. It's gone when you feel up to it. I need to talk to you. All right. I'm good now. All right. Come with me for a moment, Pete, as well, Dakota. All right. Everyone but Harry. Everyone but you. Bye, Harry. Now, I'm Love hoping you. that he fucking knows what's going on because Pete doesn't know shit. Now, I'm hoping you can shed some light on things. Because Pete apparently knows fucking nothing. Alright. Crip Crow, thank you for the 10 month resub. Beckenstein, Steam, thank you for three months. Oh, stop. This one. <laughs> What's that funny, Pete? Shed some line because Pete doesn't know a damn thing. Can you please tell me not who but why is that he dead? He is dead. Because he went after he who shall not be named. From what Matt told us, if I'm recalling. So he did tell him. Fucking hell. God damn it. He thought we were going to kill him. Eddie went to bring him back. As to why he was killed for that, I don't know. Hang on, hang on. He thought that who was gonna kill him? Us. Uh, the people in Van Horn, I guess. Why I don't know. He, why did he think that? I don't know. And Eddie went to what? Bring him back. Looking for him, bring him back. I don't know. I don't recall. And that's why he's dead. As far as I'm aware. Who the fuck put it in his head that we want him dead? I have no idea. Some man did tell you. Tell me what? Tell me that? Yes, that.
Yeah. Then why didn't you tell me? Because I forgot. You forgot why Eddie done. It's not why Eddie died. Don't even try and put that on that. Come on now. Then why? Then why? I don't have an answer for you. So we'll if never not have that, an then what, Pete? What? You say that's not why he died, but then you don't know why he died? Wait, so you're saying that he died because Eddie... Because Eddie went out and... So it's for LJ. Because... That's why you think he died. Is he confused? Alright, well that leads us to the exact same... People. What? Why are you looking for an answer from me? I told you already. Matt has the answers. Matt was the one who was having the conversation with him. You know what? We'll have, um... We'll have this conversation another day. What do you mean? You're confused. Yes, I am confused. Which is why we'll save it for another day. Or you could just enlighten me right now. What? Or you could just enlighten me right now. We just What did. am I confused about? It's all right, B. What? Then what's the problem with enlightening with enlighten me, me in again? Can someone please help me. Um, you're oh, drunk. fuck off. <laughs> Why are you getting upset for? Did you mean ridiculous? How am I being ridiculous? I told you that I wasn't I wasn't sure. Just tell me exactly what you're saying right now. You Just told me earlier that Matt right? didn't tell you why Eddie was killed. Then Scout just told me that Matt did tell you why. So I asked you why. Did why you was tell that, me? Scout? I don't know if Pete oh, was there oh, when it happened. He doesn't know. No, he doesn't know <laughs> if you were there when it happened. When Matt explained it, I don't know if you were there or not, Pete. It was a while ago. Well, that's all I needed to hear then. Pete wasn't in the room. There you are. Problem solved. You could have just said that when I asked you. <laughs> There's so much miscommunication here. He's gonna flip. I'm not even saying all that much to make you're, him flip. You're being ridiculous, you're saying. I had a little bit of fun earlier. I've had a few drinks. I'm still fucking me. I'm still. What's he talking about? Totally fine. I wasn't listening when Scout said that. All right. That's why I didn't know. Okay, because right. I wasn't listening. I wasn't paying attention because, to be perfectly honest, <laughs> it he, doesn't matter. Why is like, he pissed at me he's for? He's still fucking dead, Wallaby. Right. And there's nothing I can do to change that. And there is nothing I can fucking do <laughs> to, to rectify that in any way. It, it happened on my fucking, uh, on my watch. I'm very aware of that. I have blamed everyone under the sun, including you for this. But all I can fucking come back to is me. Why is he angry at me, man? I just asked. Is I blame me. And the funny thing is, I know that I shouldn't blame myself. He was guilty, yeah. It was not my I just fault. Don't, I just don't want to get overwhelmed, OOC, because I'm not trying to push him. It was fucking LJ's fault. That fucking asshole who should not be named, I'm sorry that I named him. 
but it was his fault. We put far too much trust in that motherfucker. That motherfucker should have been dead before he exited that, exited that cave. And now we're paying the price. And, and for some reason, all the fingers are being pointed at me. No one is pointing a finger at you. What are you talking about? It's not what it feels like. Did I point a finger at you? It's not what it feels like. When did I point a finger at you? I'm not... Uh, I'm, uh, you, you didn't. It's not what it's not what it feels like. That's because you are taking something out of context. All I did was ask out what Matt told him, and you're freaking out about it. Yep. Well, all right. Well, then there you go. I already told you why I'm freaking out about it. Because I blame myself. Because I think that. If I had done something, if I had put a bullet in fucking his head without even questioning you, without listening to you, Wallaby, or Eddie, none of this would have happened. If I had trusted my gut, none of this would have happened. Well, and that's why I blame myself. Your anger needs to be directed at whomever put in his head that we were going to kill him. <laughs> I have my suspicions. That's the fucking problem, Wallaby. That might be that might have been me. Why? Because I told him after you left that if he ever crossed me or if if he ever did anything to threaten Van Horn that I would kill him. And I didn't trust him. And I never trusted him. I told him this. Right here. <clears throat> so maybe it was my fault. Maybe I should have welcomed him with open arms and kisses. We'll get to the bottom of it. One way or another. I'm sorry, I just needed to let that out because it has been preying on my mind like... Uh... <clears throat> I assure you, no one is pointing the finger at you. If I thought it was your fault, Pete. You wouldn't know about it. Would you not? I think I probably would have by now, yeah. Um, if I thought even that it was 50% your fault. Oh, You'd yeah, I know. Oh, I'd be dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do not think it's your fault. <sighs> All right, well, then maybe... May... <sighs> we direct the anger where it needs to be. We take care of Eli. We take care of Dahlia. I want to talk to this... Barkeep. I want to know what this moving pictures changing ending bullshit is. And we wipe that motherfucker's name from the history books. And that is how we honor our fallen friend. The last thing Eddie would want is us tearing each other apart for Elden. For his... Cowardly deed. Understood. Agreed. 
thanks for for you don't need for to hearing me, me out. You didn't do nothing wrong, <clears throat> as I told you down below. <clears throat> I brought him in. Right or wrong decisions. When I bring someone in, that stops with me. You didn't bring Elm. You didn't bring him in. I did. My weakness for nostalgia blinded me. It blinded Eddie too. There is well, no... you respect. Mm. I don't think it was nostalgia it was that brought you back together. Eddie, Eddie was a paranoid motherfucker, just like me. There is no way, period, that that coward would get one up over on Eddie unless Eddie had his guard down because of his past love for that, for that boy. Eddie was a cold-blooded killer who never thought twice if someone needed to be gunned down. But for that coward, Eddie bent those rules, as did I. If I was out of Sisigo, this still would have happened. In fact, maybe all three of us would be dead. Maybe the only reason I still live is because I was in jail. He would have killed me too. Wallaby, I don't believe that. I feel like we <clears throat> you putting yourself down there. I'm with not. your lead with your lead there's you are a leader, brother. With your, your leadership. Don't get me wrong. It's not 100%, but there was at least a chance. But my leadership, like I said, I don't know. I couldn't trust the motherfucker. I couldn't. At least your eyes were open enough to have some amount of faith in him, whatever, whatever it led to. These are all he's doing. He walked into my office in front of everybody and he gunned me down. This was not his first offense. My leadership had nothing to do with it. That coward took advantage of my trust in him once and I paid the price. I put my trust in him again and I paid the price. He would have killed me too. I assure you of that. But I'm not dead. I have no more nostalgia. I've been doing this a long time and the only times I've been got was by people I trusted. We all have 
blind spots. It wasn't your leadership that caused his death, it was mine. That is the curse of leading. At the end of the day, the buck stops at you. So when I say things like, Wesley doesn't walk in here unless I say so, it's because that will be my decision, my burden to carry, whether it's a right or wrong decision. dealt with as I told you in Sissacom we deal with your life first then Darnley so he hasn't been taken care of yet I think he's hiding I don't blame him his opportunity to kill Matt has passed I huh. have sent Alice to find him. While she does that, we build up Van Horn. I have plans and ideas that I'll share in the coming days. We'll send Phil down there too to find where Dahlia is, where she resides, where she eats, where she sleeps. Like Dakota said earlier, we do have some very recent information on that. Uh, Harry went to Guam uh, not too long ago, I believe it was only a couple of days ago, and saw her there. Really? There's only one problem with that. What? She's friends with the bastards. I was thinking about this for a while. The only way Dakota and myself got locked up for this whole ordeal, they pinned us with being there. The only person that walked away alive on their side was Dahlia. She would be the only one, unless it was one of us, who put us there. Oh, yeah. She spoke to law for sure. And here's the thing. Don't you worry about the bastards. They're not going to want a war with Van Horn over Dahlia, I assure you of that. Sure, but we can make it easier than that. What do you suggest? They wouldn't work with the rat. They wouldn't want to be friends with the rat. Ooh. We're closer friends with them. Ooh. At least myself and Harry are. If they know that she is a rat, they are likely to just step aside and let it happen with no issues. Or maybe they'll do it themselves. Perhaps. We sit on this 
no one utter Darnley's name until Eli is dealt with. If Eli gets wind that we are hunting Darlia, he might change his tactics. Can I ask you something, Wobby? Where did you get the, uh, the idea that she was a snitch from? Because you got locked up for it. You all knew. Right, 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 right. Someone right. had okay. to Me spoken. and Dakota did. No, it, it was just the way he said it earlier. I thought he had, like, past experience with Dahlia. No. Also, this, what's his name again, Drummer? Yes. Speaks to Elm Jane. Vanishes from the saloon. Dahlia's in Guam. I have my suspicions there too. Would not surprise me if Drummer is back in Guam. I'm gonna say this about him. I got into speaking to him a little bit. He said he was here because something happened with his daughter. And uh, he had some business to take care of, but he managed to do all of that. So I asked him why he hadn't gone back to Gorma yet then. And he said he just felt like staying around a little bit longer. Felt Gorma wasn't calling him quite yet, which automatically raises the hairs on the back of my neck. Never trusted the man. Still don't. I have a I don't funny know, uh, feeling Drummer ain't gonna be coming back to Van Orn. That woman that showed up on the dock that one time and tossed you a little bloody bag wallaby that you were speaking to, I know that uh, Drummer knows her as well. Which but I don't woman? know who else he knows. Uh, some woman came uh, to speak with you a, a while back. The witch. Uh, I think so. She gave you a little thing. I don't know what it was. You said he knows her or she knows him. What? Uh, he knows her. I was asking him. I was talking to him while you were talking to her. Just if you still have contact with her, maybe you can see if she's seen him. Interesting. Leave that with me. Uh, what a tangled web. What a tangled web. You lie first. I do not want Matt hunting Eli. He's liable to get himself caught. We'll bring Eli to him. Yeah, and hey, what about Henderson? Is there any updates on that? Not that I know of, but he knows where to find us. Yeah, well, you made this truce with him. I'm assuming Dakota's already told you about him breaking it and waltzing in here. Mm, he hasn't caught up with me. He might be gone. Maybe he don't care no more. Henderson has a habit of coming and going. We'll deal with that if he arises. Till then, we focus on Van Horn. We need guns. We need good people. And we need money to fund all of it. But these are things we'll talk about in the coming days.
scout. I'm saying this because I don't trust my memory. I really don't. Is there anything that Wallaby should know that Matt told us? I'm not gonna go help him. But why are you following him then? God damn. Uh, I think Do you actually need a fist? Oh. Okay, Somebody just making sure. Earlier, like, Wallaby asked what had happened. I couldn't think of anything, but I swear, Matt. Matt did tell us something. How bad is it this time? Pretty fucking specific. Uh, At least if he did it's okay. call. But I do remember him saying something about L. Jake. We've been doing a lot today, so. Struggling to find, like, God, God or something. I know, I'm sorry, Wallaby. I don't know. I don't remember anything of the sort. Well, if you don't, then I must have just... Imagine it or heard in him passing by. Maybe it was. It's going. Okay. It's going. Sure. You alright? Let's pause. Help me out. Of course. Yeah. It's hard seeing you like that. No, all right. You want to go around? Of course. You always do. Is pissing. Yeah, of course. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's a really cool wrinkle in this in the character. I really dig it. I dig it. Is there anything else of importance? Probably in bun. We are an hour away from New Year's. Let's save it. We'll have all day in the coming days to talk about business. Yeah. You should probably get yourself all fixed up. You look nearly as bad as me. <laughs> No point in cleaning up if I'm just going to get it all dirty again. Mm. Not till I'm healed. Could do with like a haircut, maybe. It's almost 11 p.m. Yeah, I know. I I'm, I think I'm going to make it. It's just I'm going to be on empty. Yeah, nice to see empty you too. Boys. Empty. Perhaps put some clothes on that don't stink. Yeah, Dakota Bean is, I think, really cool. Yeah. Telling Pete I want to do banks, but outsource, get some people to do the safe so we don't leave our friends behind. We provide the dynamite 
the lockpicks. We just make profit. The hate goes on them. I think it's smart. We do not want to bring hate to Van Horn, you know, they're just waiting for a reason to invade. I'll look for any excuse. Yeah. I need to get a stool. Also be good to get some fresh air. I wonder if the rest of the group would give equal care to Wallaby, Wallaby like Dakota does. Um, I think, I think the others need to see Wallaby strong. Um, I think a lot of them, if they knew how fucked he really is, they may question his ability to lead. Which is what I'm hoping is the route they take once they start to figure it out. Whereas Dakota would follow Wallaby regardless if he was strong or not, you know what I mean? Is that Lucille? It is Lucille. You better have that fucking medication, man. some medication for you. Oh, lovely. What have you got? Follow me this way. Alright. And this will help uh, me. Okay, so this, this one with the smaller tablets in it, it's, uh, it's going to be your pain reliever and an anti-inflammatory after some research, I feel like maybe you might have a little bit of swelling going on from whatever happened, the trauma. Mm. Um, I've also seen maybe some glasses might help. It might help because I, I feel like you got something going on with your eye there, right? I don't know the full extent of the damage, but it, it could be that one's compensating way more for the other and it's causing so much of a strain that it's making the pain a lot worse. So and What about the voices in my head? That could also be contributed from the pressure, if there is pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll find out maybe it, with a couple days worth of this treatment, see if uh, it makes any difference. If not, I'll, I'm also going to do more research and see if I can find anything else out. But um, at least this is a start. I'm going to keep on. figuring something out. But um, Thank you. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, try just uh, one in the morning and one in the evening for now. Yeah. Don't want, don't want to overdo it. I'll try not to. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. If anything else? New happens or any new symptoms, let me know. I will. Are you enjoying the hospitalities of Van Horn? Yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. It's quite uh, homey, I guess. Mm. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. <laughs> you staying somewhere? Well, I just uh, tend to stay in roads for the most part in the hotel there. No, they uh, no. look like they were going to stop for something in the saloon, but I guess they changed their mind. Can't imagine why. Nah, I can't imagine why. Who the 
dog is that? Howdy. Hello. It's a Lucio. Yeah. We met briefly, yeah. Oh, I know we met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, just, I, I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Goddamn. Well, she's coming to visit me for New Year's. Oh, that's nice. Aren't you lucky? Oh, wasn't course. she a deputy? She was. But was today is oh. our anniversary of when I robbed her for the first time. Isn't that right? Ah. Oh. Yes, yes it is. Actually. Mm, that's right. Yeah. How special. Not a law dog anymore, though. No. She used to uh, ride with a group called the Cot. Before she became a solid citizen. You remember <laughs> the Cot, Alice? How could I forget? <laughs> Solomon, right? Yeah. Walk on. I didn't mind him. Robbed him too, though. <laughs> yeah, I remember he was very angry about that. Mm. Another year goes by. They seem short every year. She was law, but treat her with respect. She is an old friend. Okay. You're not getting robbed today, Lucille. <laughs> You're not getting robbed today, Lucille. Uh... Well, this medication is not what I was looking for. But maybe it can help with Wallaby. But then again, if you give someone enough drugs... I just need to get her to... Ah, man... I think what we need to do is, I think Wallaby should take this medication and then we tell Lucille it's not working so we get stronger stuff and that's the stuff we give her. I think that might be the play. That may be the play. <sighs> 50 more minutes, man. Oh my god. It's another fucking 10 hour stream I'm doing. Uh, I don't have people do it. Fucking maniacs. Actual maniacs. She did say pain meds. It's good stuff. And back then it was. Then she could be real messed up. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm probably going to give the meds to Dakota. And she can treat Wallaby. Bert is my daddy. Oh, the hairy Celt. Well, I'm going to bounce. Have a great night or NYD wherever you are. Hell yeah, dude. Good to see you, mate. How you been? How you been? It's been a while. I haven't seen you. I think for 16 months. Happy New Year, my friend. Dakota and Pete are just everything to me outside of Wallaby. Well, that's nice, Dottie. Wallaby needs them shrooms. No, 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 no. Matilda needs the shrooms. Being good, being busy. I mean, busy is good, though. You gonna make Matilda a junkie? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, we are. What, are we gonna wear glasses? No, he's fucking blind in one eye. That's not the problem. He's... He's 3K subs. I know, dude. We hit the goal. I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Um... Wallaby's problem isn't his eye, his left eye. It's, uh, it's, he's literally got damage. Like, brain damage of some kind from the, uh, the wound to his face. 
Um, there also could be like trauma on top of trauma. You know what I mean? Like this guy has, I mean, he had his whole face wide shut from Jack, like years of this abuse of getting uh, shot up, injured, fights, all that shit builds up, right? Just sort of rub some dirt into it. That's the Terry technique, man. Holy smokes, Virtus still doing Red Dead Redemption 2? Yeah, man, I've been doing it for almost three years now. Has it been three years? I don't know. Can someone get, you guys know the dates better than I do. It's from hitting his head on that sign. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Cool thought from the doctor, healthy eyes over compensating for the blind. Yeah, 100%. Um, but he gets the, he get he gets, he gets him from thinking too much. Like, uh, that's gonna happen in scenes and such where he's planning or thinking ahead and, and all that, all that good stuff. Um, a little under three years, yeah, that makes sense. But I'm getting there though. It's been, it's been a long time. I've never played on a server this long. I mean, Lucille, the thing with Lucille is she's only done wrong by Wallaby once. It was a big fucking deal though. Like the Jack thing, like we can't under, we can't undersell how fucked that was. Like she, she is responsible for Jack beating the shit out of him, right? But the thing is Wallaby kind of saw that as a lesson. So he doesn't hold a grudge against her. Uh, but since then, she's never really done wrong by him. She's only ever helped him, really. Like, even when she was law, she helped him. So. You know. He doesn't dislike her. But the, the thing is, he sees use with her. He sees that she could potentially be useful for Van Horn in some capacity. And again, we could get her loyalty and we don't even have to really earn it. I think she'll be pushed into our arms. We just gotta, we just gotta just do our thing. Let her hang around. As soon as Law finds out she hangs out here, she will be fucking outcasted, man. <laughs> Wasn't Lucille Wallaby's first wall? You see the quest for titties, man, ended with Lucille. <laughs> that was the news resolution and uh, Lucille provided. Do you remember the time when he woke up in the bed in the manor? <laughs> and fucking Effie May was chasing him around the manor. <laughs> Good times, man. Good fucking times. I need to use the fucking bathroom, guys. I need to use the bathroom, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay? A couple of minutes, and I'll be back. Uh, let's see. All right, be right back. Hold two minutes.
All right. Ah. Thank you for your patience, guys. Appreciate you. Oh boy. Okay, we're in the home stretch. Hell yeah, man. The uh, the coffee did help, by the way. The coffee. It was a really rough patch there after that fucking burger. I tell you that much. The fact I survived is a goddamn miracle. Miracle, man. Uh It's almost New Year, man. It's almost New Year all around the fucking world. You're all very talkative. Oh yeah, we're having so much fun <laughs> talking about shit. You're talking about me. Of course. <laughs> What's the matter, Harry? Don't even ask. Don't even ask, Wallaby. Goddamn. Nothing. Is your friend all right? Is that what the problem is? Yeah, why well, um, would he beat up some woman named... What was her, his his name? Sorry, Sue. Sue. <laughs> no, Sue's fine. I'm not that close of friends with him. Then what's the matter? Nothing. Scout, you might want to. Look after your girlfriend. She seems a little intense. Aren't we all wallaby? Given the circumstances. Oh, she doesn't have to worry about all that. She gets to live her life out here. Without a care in the world. Isn't that right, Harry? Yes. <laughs> I feel like she's already told him the way he's acting. What? I'm gonna go into the lighthouse. Get a good spot for the fireworks. I know I'm early, but fuck it. It's very early, early goddamn. It's better than standing around a box. Ladies, before it hits midnight, make your way up to the lighthouse for a good view. She's already told him, man. He's acting weird. Oh, we got the perm of Harry. <laughs> yeah, I got just the tool for it. I'm kidding. Harry. 
sorry, no. Yeah. Nah, Harry will be fine, man. As soon, uh, you know, as long as she keeps her mouth shut. Keep your fucking mouth shut, man. Bad man. Yeah, he's a bad man. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But he's a good guy at heart, though. <laughs> yeah, chat would freak out if I killed Harry. That's why I'll make it, that's why I'll make Ethan do it. That way we have to we can share the pain. And the bully. The bullies. We get to share it. Deep down, he is a good guy. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. There's a lot of light up. Well, I haven't been up here in quite some time. Yeah. Where's the seal? Uh, according to Pete, she took off. Uh, we, I'm not too sure. Thank you, May. Appreciate the kind words. Thank you. A Somebody found today, a, a note. Um, and it sounded like she was heading out for a little while. We're assuming she's gonna come back eventually, but not too sure where she went off to. Fucking letter. Yeah, less than before though. Still all around the box. Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna stand here and look. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> oh god. Uh, Wallaby is clearly the hero of the server. <laughs> He's saving Matilda from all from her evil brother. Uh, yeah. Why can't people see it that way, man? Wallaby is the hero no one deserves, but everyone needs. <laughs> oh, shit. You guys are so eloquent. Some alone time with Dakota. Man. We're just going to plod along for 35 minutes. <laughs> we're going full plot. I uh, overheard something when I was walking into the saloon. What? What uh, was that medication about? I asked Lucille for some remedy for my migraine. I see. Did you get me these? Good to try anyways. Mm. Hopefully it does. She has some medical experience. She could be an asset. Of course. She has a thought born for me. 
I'm sure she does. I, I heard your uh, your story about <laughs> her. You have a good memory. Hard to forget a story like that. <laughs> Point being, it wouldn't be hard to get her loyalty. If yeah. she hangs around here long enough and we'll get wind of it. They'll do the work for her and push her right into my hand. Medicine is very handy. It is. But until then, loyalty is proved. Portion. When the time comes, I'll have her prove that loyalty. But until then, everyone needs to keep their mouth shut around her. Yeah. Fuck is that? It's not the Alvin, is it? I think that's the Alvin. Ah, uh, boy, oh boy. Basically, ibuprofen. Uh, yeah, I suppose. It's too big to be Alvin, yeah. Oh boy, running on empty, running on. Whew. Verts and chat, happy new year. Happy new year to you two cheeks. I am so ready to end. <laughs> I mean, I was ready to end four hours ago. Like, like, like we didn't have enough. Like, I, unless I went out and started pushing, like really pushing RP. I, I didn't I didn't intend to have nine hours of fucking story. Hey yes, Pete. Right. We're up top, Pete. All right. Well, anyway, there's a guy called Caleb West here looking for you. Why? I don't know. He just turned up. Said he was looking for you. Oh, you better go see him, Dakota. I'll be fine. Okay. Up here, I promise. I'll All keep right. him company. Don't worry. <laughs> Fuck me, man. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh. I'm going to squeeze past each other. Sweet. You have to go back squeeze to the bottom. The okay. Oh, my God. There you go. Maybe well, maybe maybe versus into ice buff, dude. Listen, the Sims. It's just, <sighs> it's a lot of dark RP and a really difficult voice what to do for nine hours. Okay, it's not my fucking. I didn't need an ice buff. <laughs> Bert is my daddy. Yeah. Happy New Year. What are they talking Have another about great down RP there? year. Cheers. You. What are they saying? Everyone be bitching about you, saying Wallaby, what a dick. What an asshole. What a what a Joey. What a little what a little marsupial you are. Yeah, no. Right. Now everyone actually pretty chill down there. We uh, there's been quite some questions coming up about Lucille, why the fuck she's here and why we are allowing her to be here. But apart from that Well, if someone has a problem, they come to me. Well, what are you gonna say to the to, to him though? No, like, okay, she took my virginity, therefore she here. <laughs> no, that's not what I'd say. Oh, okay. Fair enough. But you'll get better answers than whispering in the shadows. 
Indeed. Like a couple of teenage women. Scout, go get changed before you <laughs> stink. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. Team Attila, I'll take it for 15 months. If I am sick and coughing in the same old outfit, it's gonna get just as dirty, Pete. You wait till the sickness is over. Wouldn't the sickness heal better if you were clean? Damn right! Instead of rugging yourself up in the sickness and filth. Hearsay. I heard you had a problem. I don't have a problem. But Provid it's pretty obvious there's an ex lawman who tried to kill us in the past sitting in our town. It's a pretty obvious problem. When did she try to kill you? When she was law. Mm. When she swore that ridiculous oath that they swear mm, really no you know you know so little enlighten me me no go way back she has helped me many a time even when she was law <laughs> Bish bash boss, goddamn. Yeah, bish bash boss. I forgot to tell you earlier that the preacher is dead. Thank God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did. Oh, but yeah, there's still God. a lot of people mentioning his name. A lot of people. Uh, I, I met some guy. Shit, I can't recall his name off the top of my head. I have a telegram from him. I met some guy in Cisco who was apparently part of his outfit or something. He wanted some help. Right. Well, anyway, that's, that's neither here or there. Anyway. This 25 minutes can't go fucking fast enough. <laughs> Fuck the preacher. How about we count the seconds one by one no. from now? Okay. But again, Scout. I wouldn't have her here if she didn't have her uses. I'm not asking you to trust her. I'm asking you to trust me. You're a piece of shit, you know that. <laughs> Smelly! Smelly mm. asshole! That's right. <laughs> Uh, Fuck you. What? Smelly asshole, goddamn. Come What's on, your Dale. Problem? You're a piece of shit. <laughs> what? No, I don't smell like one. God damn. <laughs> you really I'm sure you've got plenty of before. uses for whatever. Mm. It's not my concern. What is simply it? saying? Just do something for Harry's sake, god damn! <laughs> Pete, you are on a different page and have been ever since I got here with everyone. <laughs> what? What is happening? Are you okay? I'm the only one not complaining about how Scout smells. I haven't smelled him in 
Oh, are you sure? Are you sure I'm the I'm the one on a different page? He's like, you're like the page. first person who says that. I'm, uh, it's pissing me off. <laughs> Maybe people are saying that, Pete, because you fucking are. <laughs> How so? Because I, I called him know. smelly after I you know. called him smelly. I that makes know. me fucking I, ridiculous. I, Fuck off. Yeah. Everyone's okay. Calm down, Pete. It's New Year's. God Chill. damn, motherfucker has a beer and everyone freaks out like, oh god, he gonna the die. Beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple of Oh, dozen, he maybe. gonna die. Oh, it's the end of the world. He's fucking insane. He's Is he... talking gibberish. He's... Like I don't do that normally. Dude, he's an angry Fuck. drunk man. He's an angry drunk. He's one of those angry drunks, man. He comes paranoid and shit. <laughs> you all bitches. That's what you are. Yeah, you hear bitches? One of, you're one of those fucking paranoid drunks, aren't you? No, you new New Year bitches. That's what, no. I'm not one of those paranoid drunks. I'm one of those drunks that reacts to the things that people say and think I'm blind to because I'm drunk. You're right, Pete. New Year, new bitches. <laughs> Sorry, honey. <God> damn. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <sighs> Should I sing my song again? Can you do no. something? Can you do a different one? No. Great. Ah, <laughs> uh, were there fireworks happening? Yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be fireworks in. No, I can't. About 20 minutes. It's the only one I can think of, like and seriously. Then I'm ending, I got I'm a block. I just dumb. got bitches on the brain. Every day, sucking on my balls. Licking on my balls. That's wonderful, Pete. And you wonder why we have a severe lack of women in Van Horn. Severe lack of women. We got we got a bigger percentage of women than most gangs. God damn. Really? Count it's how many. probably because we've killed them all. To be fair. Who the fuck are you talking about? Well, the obvious, and then the other one who was blown to bits by talking, Jasper. You are talking way too loud about things around Harry right now. Shut and you think she's not aware? I saw you. I saw you with Peaches' body. I don't want her to hear anything about it, regardless if she knows or not. It, 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 it's smart. What he's saying is smart. I know it's okay. it sucks, Harry, but what he's saying is smart because then then you can't. You don't have any information to give. You don't have any information to be taken from you. If the worst. Do I not understand. Mix business with pleasure. It's gone. Otherwise, you're gonna end up like Alvin. It's. I just want to say that the, it's the deputies that t took me aside and told me all this, and I was That's there the not day that. What I'm saying. Okay. Okay. You want to know? as least as possible believe no, I, me no i know that i'm not arguing that i'm just saying on these particular things they're things that i already are, are am aware of i'm gonna throw them both off the lighthouse and what happened to alvin what makes you say that and he's doing it again he wants us to talk about business in front of harry i'll go over here didn't realize it was business. We'll talk about it another day. You're the one who brought it up. We will talk about it another time. I'm confused again. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even know what fucking day it well, is. I'm in a constant state of confusion until, like, you know, little bits of information fly over me. I'm like, oh! I catch them and I'm like, oh. And what was that I'm bound to go on? Uh, it was apparently some fellow who was told that I wanted to speak with him, which I Wait, guess technically was him? the speak. 
Oh, speak! I didn't hear yes. you say that. Like, yeah, okay. Nothing else, word, Pete. Davey. Thank you. Davey. Um, apparently caught wind of that from some woman that I have no memory of, but I'm starting to think maybe it was Harry when she got drunk in Valentine. Oh, um, what? He was telling me that there was some drunk folk telling him that I wanted to speak with him. Anyways, that's besides the point. He was just some fellow who seemed sane and capable, so I wanted to know if he was looking for uh, any work or something like that since we were poking around for people. Maybe get some guns off the wait, 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 wait. The name rings a bell now. Did we like meet him on a drunken night out and did, did we That's try what and I'm set thinking. him up with you? Yeah, I'm assuming yeah. that it happened when y'all were nude. I don't know. I, wait, I feel wait, like wait, wait, I feel wait. like. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about when you were nude? We, we, um, we took our clothes off. It was we. I don't know. I can't remember. There's a fog. Does anyone want to? If nobody does, I'm gonna do it, and then there's gonna be all sorts of problems. Do it, Dakota. Do it. Uh, I think it was Scout, Harry, Pete, and Jasper all took their clothes off in town because they got drunk and I was there and then I left. One town. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember now. Dakota was a party pooper. Dakota was like, oh, man, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna sleep in me, me, me. I didn't say that. No, it's something like that, though. Man, man, Jesus. man, 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 Something like that. I said I was gonna go see Edwin. <laughs> oh, um, I'm sorry. Very good. Hold on. Way to keep the image of Van Horn intact. Would you want me to kill someone? We can kill someone up here. We can do it right now. Yeah, maybe you. Right off the fucking balcony. Onto them rocks. And now you'd all be very depressed afterwards. And I wouldn't want to do that to you. No, we'd get over it. <laughs> Yeah, after a couple of days, but those two days would be fucking hell. All right, well, we've got to position ourselves over this side to see the fireworks. And now we wait. Okay. Awkward silence. <laughs> oh, God. I wasn't being serious, like, we don't need to, you know, fulfill that. I don't mind silence. Neither do I. Yeah, but you just made it awkward now, because <laughs> I feel awkward, and it's awkward now. Come on now. Come on. Pete, I, I think you're just self-conscious. Yeah, 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 yeah relax a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm fine, fine. 15 minutes, yeah, man. I just, I just 15 look out minutes on the and Actually, wait. You. Yeah, that's what we're all doing. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, fuck. Actually, I'm just gonna stay. I'm just gonna stay. I was gonna do something real quick, but I'll just wait. I'll, I can wait 15 minutes. It's fine. Oh, DG never says die. Let Wallaby pushes you over the rail. Well, oh, less. Right. Well, it wasn't. It was never DEG, man. That was DEK. DEG says die all the fucking time. This is fine. Shut up, B. This is very fun. It is. <laughs> I'm looking at those two boats over there. Are they about to like, you know, fire the cannons that like going alongside each other? I don't know, swim out, go ask them. <laughs> I won't chuck you off the fucking tower, Dakota. I'll chuck <laughs> you <laughs> off the tower, Pete. Put you in, come on now, son of a bitch. At least I can, no. I can, I'm thin enough to be lifted. We'd have to roll you off. We'd have to get a little ramp, roll you off. Now I know you're bullshitting, because I look great. Right. I look great. You're the fat one now, Dakota. <laughs> you're the fat one. I'm fat where it counts. Oh, my God. All right. Please, for love of God, shut up, both of you. Enjoy the serenity. You hear that? Oh, it's nice. <laughs> ah, the serenity. Alice, what do you think of the serenity? I think that it would be a lot better if it was more serene. 
That is not the spirit. Dakota, the spirit of right now is silence. <laughs> this is the most jovial group on the server. Oh, God. <laughs> I just can't wait for these fireworks. Get this fucking charade over with. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> It's so awkward. It's so fucking awkward, man. Could this could this clock go quicker? My God. Ah, it is nice though. Just listen to the sounds of Van Horn. Davy's killing me, dude. Davy's been hilarious all night. <laughs> Honestly, he's been gold. Oh shit. Ah, oh. that was a mistake. Okay. Cool. Well done. <sighs> my he the voices in my head are saying to just jump. Yeah, probably wouldn't make it, man. Who's it gonna be? He's gonna bet the silence first. Taking bets. I reckon it's gonna be. Well, it's, it's gonna be Pete, isn't it? <laughs> it's gonna be Pete. It's gonna be Pete. Oh. <sighs> Fuck. Well, so how's everyone's life going? How how you all doing? You enjoying uh I don't know, New Year's? Exciting stuff, eh? Aren't you glad you 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 spent the last like hour of this build up here to see these fireworks? They're so good, man. They're so good. I'm so fucking Ugh so so ready missed over nine hours of the stream well lucky for you granny uh most of the story stuff is the first like six hours the rest of it's just been me coping with having to do the, the fucking yeah. four hours after it. i ain't feeling too good told you told you throw up in the corner you Pete? <laughs> What's you why you why you sound like a seagull yeah <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me. Oh, God. oh no. Oh, you're <laughs> sick. You're sick. Don't do it. Don't do it. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's, there, that's him right there. Kick it yeah. off the side at least. Okay, he's still going. Oh. Two beers, huh? Two fucking beers. Uh. Oh. Never oh. said two. You might have back it. Ugh. I said four. <laughs> oh, it's foul. Uh, You're foul. Right, fuck right, you. Right where I was fucking standing for the fire. Yeah, you kind of threw up in the best <laughs> spot for the. I guess it's my spot now. Yeah, damn. Oh. That fucking reeks. Oh, you... I said smell so bad. You're fucking Push some, feral, you know that. Kick it off the kick. Yes, kick it off the side. Off the side with your yeah. boot. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can do it, guys. You're gonna have to do it for me. Uh, I am not, not touching that, Pete. You're gonna have to do it for me. Scout, yeah, come here. here. No. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It adds to the decor. Yeah, Does decor usually have a smell? Yeah, Potpourri really. does. I think, I think that's... Really. Is that decor? Like sometimes. Yeah, damn. Well, since I puked there, I might as well just take a piss here while, uh, whilst we're at it. Why not? Jesus Christ. God damn. See if you can hit the ship from here. Don't encourage him. I can do it. 
Pete, I don't even think your really packer is going to make it past the bars. Is that you trying to pull it out of your body? Or... <laughs> Bobby, can you look as he pisses on himself? I think because of the weather out, he's having a hard time finding it. <sighs> That's better. God damn. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Even at the crisp of new crisp. Do I mean the crisp? I don't think I mean the crisp. This. It's, the, it's, stop saying crisp. Crisp. Don't, don't say it like that. It's, it's crisp. What do you mean? What's wrong with crisp? You, uh, Let me fine. pee, Alan. Fine, fine. In peace, fine. Okay. for fuck's sake. Oh, you should take a shit next. Me. You were just complaining about it being too quiet. Now you want to. Now you want peace. <laughs> I'm getting conflicted messages here. I'm not listening. I'm peeing. Yeah, damn. I'm going to say this one time. You are about one minute away from spending the fucking fireworks on the ground with no fucking teeth. <laughs> I don't think he can hear you. He's pissing. You'll be gumming the New Year's fucking song. Does anyone know that song, by the way? I was, I was gonna say, there's a New Year's song? There is a New Year's song. I made you fucking sing it once. Oh. Oh, God. Um. That just brought back memories. Um. What's it going like again? What are the lyrics? Uh, no. <laughs> Scar, do you know the words, Ron? Harry, you know the words. I don't, I don't want to sing the song. What's it go along again? I'm sure Pete would love to sing the song. It don't. Start it for me. I should all the acquaintance be forgot. For Christ of what's his name. Yeah, that's the words. Exactly. I gotta sing that when the fireworks happen. Dakota, do you know the words? Um, absolutely not. Are you sure? Yes. I think you do. I don't think so, Oliver. You've never heard that song before? Uh-uh, not once. What the fuck is going on here? That's her lying voice. Get over here, you're singing it. I don't know the song, I swear to God, and it's not my lying voice. Ask me anything. Do you know the <sighs> song? No. What's, what, what's the, the song, song you're talking about? May the all New Year's acquaintance song. be forgotten. Da, 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 da. You know the song. Is that it? Is that it? Sort of like that, yeah. We're doing that when the. Isn't that Hosanna? What? <laughs> I'm gonna knock you out in a minute. I am fucked up, but I'm gonna fucking no. knock you out. Ho Hosanna! Like, isn't oh. that the song? Like, the hymn? Yeah. Hosanna? Da, 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 you're, mi you're mixing da, da, two songs da, da, together. Da, 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 oh, no, no. Da, 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 That's the same. Da, 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 no. I know the Christy no. lyrics. Someone knows the fucking lyrics here and someone's not owning up to it. Who the fuck is it? It's Lucille! No, I, <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> it's Lucille! I have how, no idea what how, you're talking about. I don't understand how the words are weird. of tradition it's, it's, yeah, it's has weird. slipped the all words, of you by. It's because the words don't make any sense. I don't care if they make sense. You're fucking singing it. Get over here, no, Harry. I'm... Yes, you are. Get no. over here. You're singing no, it. No, please. You are no, fucking I don't singing it. <laughs> please. 
What's his name of the song? Please. No, you are doing no. it. Come on. What's the name of the song? You do know the fucking word. You sung it a second ago. Get over here. I only know the first part. When the fireworks start, I want you to sing it <laughs> for all of us as we watch. <laughs> Come on. Started at the very least. Yeah, you start singing when the fireworks start. Now get over here in the middle of us. It won't group up. It's about to happen. Get over here. Everyone over here. Everyone over. Move over. Come on, Scout. All right. Now when it starts, she's going to start singing. And we're all going to start joining in once she... Once I start going, we'll all get involved. What if we don't know the word? Uh, yeah, what if we don't know the song? Just fucking sing the, the hymn. I don't give can a we fuck. Have can a we have practice in the past? Can we like, it? No, we no, have three minutes to you, practice. No, we're not fucking practicing. We're doing on the fucking spot. We can hum it if you wish. But we'd let her kick it off. All right. What's the song Oh, Maybe I'll remember it all of a sudden. Harry, what's it called? <laughs> It's called All Lang Sign. There you are. All what? <laughs> See, it's hard because it's like Old English. Ald Lang Sign. That's like A-U-L-D. It's weird. Yeah, it's yeah, like a u Old Lang Sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Mm -hmm. I gotta look it up. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. And sign isn't like a straight sign or nothing like that. Right. Found it. Okay, well, I, I have no knowledge of this song, but yet I feel like I could probably sing along. Goddamn. I think. <laughs> I do this, I've magically remembered the lyrics, so this will be good. That's good. All right. So I don't have to sing? No, you are. You know, you, yeah, starting. you're leading it. You are the leader of this. <laughs> this is going to be so shit. <laughs> So what we do is when the fireworks happen, we all yell out Happy New Year, and then you start all right, Harry. I think we should do a countdown and then Happy New Year, you know, like 10, right, nine, you do, okay, eight, you, you do, yeah. You do the countdown, then you start. Yeah, it's going to be a really accurate or, countdown. Like nine, I don't know if that's going to be like accurate. nine. Maybe like, so, it, it, like six, five, six, five, six, wait, four, oh, shit. Three, wait, seven, no, two, one. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Year. Happy yeah, Happy New Year! Year. Happy New Year. Oh, wait. Take no, it away, no, Harry! No, 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 wait for the fireworks. There okay, is. okay. Go, 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 go. Yeah, wait. Okay. But should Take it away, all Harry! all acquaintance be forgotten and away, never Wally. brought to mind? mind. Should all should acquaintance be forgotten? Be forgotten. For what's his name? And be one. I don't know where we are. Something, something, something. For old acquaintance, be forgotten. Shall we pet? What? Honestly, uh, I, I fucked up. Did you just make that <laughs> yeah. up? I think that's part of it. Should all the acquaintance uh -huh. be forgotten? For is that the only lyric you know? Brought to D mind. Yeah, there you go. Should old acquaintance be forgotten? And old uh -huh. lang syne. For Beautiful. old inside, my dear. For you know, this song is fucking terrible. Fuck this. It is. This is probably why nobody knows it. The words are awful. Fuck this. I've seen the fire. Is it over already? Oh, there they are. Oh, look, look, look. Look at that. Happy New Year, everybody.
Happy, happy, new, happy new, new Year. Happy New Year, year chat. Oh, there's some Honestly, good. happy fucking Ooh, year, Ooh, a lot of fireworks. Oh, god damn. <laughs> Oh god, there are a lot. Oh wow. Happy New Year, chat! It's exciting stuff! Yeah. Wow. Well, what about? That's a lot of fucking fireworks. Do you yeah, know how much those so. cost? Wow. They're in Mexico. You got a good point. That's like. That's like. Holy shit! More than 100 wow. grand, god damn! We, we should have gone guys, to Mexico and then robbed them all. <laughs> Why are the Mexicans celebrating and we aren't? Oh, she got the same thing. There's so many of them that way. What the fuck do you mean we aren't? We just sang a fucking song that made no well, sense. We, we, oh, yeah, we That's sang true. a song, but did we have fireworks coming out from the lighthouse? No. Okay, you have a point. Exactly. Maybe we can just throw dynamite from here. Wouldn't that be we like the same the thing? Lost dynamite today. <sighs> okay. Hell yeah, Where man. the hell are the ones from over there coming from? Which one? The ones over that way. Damn, man. There's a lot of oh, them. Oh, yeah, there's some back there. It's like just one row. What is that way? There's and nothing over there, I don't think. It was well worth oh, staying up for, man. Mm. It's not over that side, too. They're all around. It's, it's fucking nuts. Over there, the, ele man. the electric place? There's just the trees out there. Oh, there's some behind us too. What the fuck? Oh, wow. Yeah. Goddamn everywhere. Anyway, guys, Happy New Year. Thank you for spending your New Year's with me. It was a much, much, much longer stream than I had planned, but I had fun regardless. I hope you did too. Put some solid RP in. Uh, I'll be back with Wallaby in a couple days' time. Uh, we might have a Terry stream or a Sleek stream between that. I don't know. I don't know. But, Happy New Year. I love you guys. You guys were awesome today. A lot of love. We reached 3,000 subscribers, which I'm, I'm blown away about. Um, but yes, Happy New Year. I hope this next year coming up gives you everything you want. Uh, spend your time with your family, your loved ones. Uh, you guys are awesome. And here's to 2024. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it was as, it's going to be as fun as 23 was. I had a lot of fun streaming this year or last year. Uh, and hoping this coming year is just as enjoyable. But until next time, look after yourselves. Ta-ta and farewell. Bye.